crowd with recursive rhapsody, the Battle of the Bands event where bands from Sia Society go head to head. Later, the Bite You Can Dance event takes the spotlight as modern dance groups move the crowd with their graceful dance numbers. Finally, the event calls for glamour and charisma as the contestants for Mr. and Miss CS strive for the crown. And Taylor Swift's The Eras Tour in Singapore officially begins tomorrow at the National Stadium Singapore with special guest Sabrina Carpenter. The pop star is performing in six sold-out shows from March 2 to March 9. The country is the only destination in Southeast Asia. This is a highly anticipated event in the country and Singapore expects many tourists flying over for the concert. Singapore has citywide events and promotions ready for fans and excitement of the pop star's arrival, who landed on Tuesday. This is Swift's first time back in Singapore since 2015 for the 1989 World Tour. These are the stories of the day. Once again, I'm Nicole Trinidad. For more news and updates, just keep it here at Tiger Headlines. Giving you the updates on national and local matters. The station where you hear the roaring news and current affairs. We magnify the truth. Tiger Headlines. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. Santa yung kakain. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> it's <so> exhilarating. And <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy through time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
morning, UST. Welcome to the show that puts the R in your morning. Welcome to Tiger, Tiger Rush. Rush. You're currently with Tiger Rock Zen from the only station where you hear the roar, UST Tiger Radio. And you're with Cal Victoria from UST Tiger TV. And again, this is Friday Rush. Yeah. How do you feel? Well, I'm just really happy that it's Friday. It's been a long, tiring week. And guess what? It's also March. Yes, it's March 1. So happy March 1, guys. But finally, Tigers. It's TGIF. Thank God, it's Friday. Yay? Yay? Yeah, yay. <laughs> so, ano ang pakiramdam mo na magigising, magigising ka tapos sasabihin mo, Oh, Friday na. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm just really happy it's Friday. But, you know... Prelims is coming. How are oh you? Oh my god! How are you coping up with that? I think you know, getting like in tune with my backlog. You have to really be aware of like everything that's happening to you. Pero hindi tayo magsasawa sa na mag-effort kasi narinig ko nga din na in two weeks time it's preliminary season, it's deadline season, and yeah. this and this season is sobrang like gohol na gohol talaga lahat tayong mga students. And yeah, per guys, laban lang. And hindi lang yan, hindi mo na tayo makikita for mm. a while, Tigers, which is, aww. For <laughs> sure, may miss namin kayo during the mor- moratorium, moratorium season. season. So, ano nga ba ang moratorium season or moratorium period? Well, basically, in layman's terms, this means having a pause on student activities before the scheduled major examinations. And kaya kagod lang tayo, Tigers, at samahan ng dasal at pag-aaral. Yes, let's keep faith and bago tayo mag-throwback, naalala ko tuloy yung movie na pinanood ko dati. What movie? Na, you know Sandra Bullock? Yeah, I'm familiar. Um, this movie is called Miss Congeli- Congeniality. Oh, it's a classic. Dahil sa observance natin sa araw na to. So what is the most important thing our society needs? And that would be harsher punishment for parole violators. And... World, World peace. peace. So, pag-usapan natin ang Peace, peace Core Day. Day. So, ano nga ba ang Peace Core Day? Well, according to the University of Central Missouri, this day is to celebrate and promote world peace and friendship. Also, so is your social economic development and to address the people's local needs of people through the spirit of solidarity by training their leadership, language, teaching, and community development skills. And it addresses services in so many areas like education, health, environment, agriculture, youth and development, and community development. So, uh, what do you think about the global initiatives and, you know, volunteering in general? Um, I feel like it's really good, especially for us youth who are, you know, so close to entering the workforce, yeah. knowing about things like peace, about justice, about truth is really important because those are the very foundations our society needs to progress. Yeah. Hindi pwede lang yung work work lang, hindi pwede yung corporate corporate lang. We need to have that like social responsibility. How about you? What do you think yeah, about? I totally agree with you. And you know, volunteering is important, especially for us. Like you said, youth, we have another. We have. A different experience aside from working mm. alone. We get to encounter other people, we get to experience what their life goes, and we can share our own as well. And how about you, Tigers? How can you make a difference for the world? Let us know about your insights here and don't forget to tag us at USD Tiger TV at USD Tiger TV on X and Instagram. And you can also find us at Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube at USD Tiger TV. How about you, Zen? Where can we find you? So for USD Tiger Radio, you can find us on X at Tiger Radio USD, on IG at US Tiger Radio, on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, your USD Tiger Radio. And you can also tune into us on Mixler at Mixler.com slash, slash US Tiger Radio. You can also watch Tiger Rush on every TV screen around the campus, all four corners and you can also watch us or catch us on YouTube which is USC Tiger TV online and on TikTok Live which is Tiger Radio USD. Real. And guys, you should share how you can make a difference. And dahil Friday na, let's Ooh. keep pushing with these exercises. Dahil we have to come back stronger. Let's kick start this morning with Jump Start. What's kicking, Tigers? This week, magfe-feature tayo ng mga workouts ng mga athletes na ating iniidolo. Sino pa ba yun kundi si Mary Joy Tambal, ang iconic runner who won the Milo Marathon National Championships for six years. Consecutively yun, ha? 
she bagged the gold medal in the SEA Games in 2017 for the marathon. So ano pang inaantay natin? I'm Angelo Cabanban and you're watching Jumpstart. In this episode, susubukan natin yung mga workouts ni Joy. We will be doing two sets of six exercises each, with each exercise being 30 seconds and with the break being 15 seconds. So tara na! Grab your yoga mats, grab your weights, get pumped, and let's start! Before we start, don't forget kailangan nating i-warm up ang ating katawan. Kaya, let's do some jumping jacks. So, stand with your feet together with your hands at the side. As you jump up, parang scissors lang na nag-open and close, so bumubuka ka at nagtatagpo lang ang hands and ang feet. This exercise improves your coordination, agility, flexibility, and mobility. Alam kong fave na fave din ang lahat to kasi batang-bata pa lang tayo, alam na natin. Grabe yun! That's the warm-up done. Pero don't worry, meron pa tayong mga exercises. Runner ka ba talaga kung di ka nagsimula sa jogging? Importante rin syempre ang susunod nating exercise Kaya i-practice na natin ang running skills natin with Jogging in place Ayan, so face forward, shoulder width apart, and jog Pang malakasan to pagdating sa ating glutes, calves, quadriceps, and hamstring muscles Kaya don't stop till the beat guys Grabe na talaga yung mga runner Parang, parang ang ko na. Get on that donkey position and subukan natin ang mountain climbers. Starting with a plank position, pull your knees to your chest alternatively. Keep your hips down and run your knees in and out as far and as fast as you can. It targets your core, shoulders, legs, and arms as it also enhances your endurance, core strength, and agility. Very challenging, especially habang tumatagal, pero go lang ng go. Pagod na kayo? Kasi ako hindi pa. Katatapos lang natin ng just a few exercises, but I'm still warming up. Now, let's continue with some mountain climbers extension. Huwag kayong mag-alala kasi tuturo naman namin to. It's very important that we maintain our posture at babalik tayo sa mountain climber position natin. Bring one knee up to your shoulder of the same side and extend it till it reaches the center of your stomach. Tapos i-alternate lang natin to. Just like mountain climbers, this strengthens your upper body and core while improving your hip mobility. Sabi nga nila, feel the burn. That was our what? Fourth? Third exercise? I'm not tired yet. And so are you. You shouldn't be. Guys, how about some toe touch crunches? Lie straight on your back and prepare those weights. Habang hawak yung dumbbell, itaas yung legs nyo, forming a 90 degree angle. Extend your arms, then you'll be lifting your shoulders off the floor. This exercise would help you tone your core and improve your posture and stability. Tumanda naman tayong healthy and happy. Feel nyo na yung core nyo? Kasi ako rin. Pero hindi pa ako pagod. Marami pa tayong gagawin. So, try to rest up and get some water. Ngayon, balik tayo sa pagiga. Pero huwag kang magpapahinga kasi we'll be doing some old-fashioned crunches. Bend your legs while keeping your feet flat on the floor. Tuck those hands behind your neck and bring your torso forward. Squeeze those abs. Hold it for 2 seconds and repeat. It's important not to use your shoulders to lift yourself up. A very fundamental exercise na nakakatulong sa pagpapalakas ng core, lower back muscles, at obliques. Let's go! True to the name nga talaga. Crunch na crunch. Ramdam mo talaga sa core yung crunches mo. Pero hindi pa ako pagod. Just as always. Woo! 
Grabe talaga yung mga workout si Joy. Kaya pa. Kakayanin. Kasi ako, kaya ko pa. Get your water, freshen up, hydrate, rest, do whatever it is that you want. This is your time to take a break. So, we'll be starting in a bit. So, just do whatever it is. Good job, guys! Congratulations! Natapos rin tayo. I'm sure proud na proud sa atin si Ate Joy. And lumalakas na rin yung growling spirits natin. Tayo na isusunod na magbabag ng gold medal para sa Pinas. That workout was actually really fun, but it was really intense. It hit my core, my glutes, my thighs, everything. But before we do end this episode, we would like to thank our sponsors. Manila Cafe, Pacific Synergy, Mark, Mondelez, Smart, and Wingfinity. Thank you so much, guys. And always remember to kickstart your day with Jumpstart. See you in our next episode. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. And congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Brutal. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. plates full of flavors and wallets full of savings. Hi again, I am Ella Gaspi, your host and your plate date for today. Together with me is... Hi, I'm Louie, your resident cook and your plate date who will show you how to have great meals na hindi lang masarap but perfect then when it comes to cooking in small spaces with limited equipment. This is where we will be showing you recipes perfect for students staying in dorms. Kaya let's not keep the food waiting and join us on, on our, our little, little plate, plate date. date. So, El, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay ang stir-fried kangkong with tofu. Grabe, perfect na perfect ata to kasi kailangan pa rin naman natin kumain ng gulay kahit wala tayo sa bahay, di ba? Kahit nasa dorm tayo para ugaliing healthy, di ba? So, ano naman yung kailangan natin? So, simpleng-simple lang din. Kailangan natin ng oyster sauce, kangkong, bawang, 
konting cornstarch tapos syempre yung oil natin. And syempre, yung tofu natin na kailangan dry na dry. Bakit kailangan dry yung tofu? Kailangan na dry yung tofu kasi later gagawin natin siyang crispy or ipiprito natin siya. Kailangan muna siyang tanggalin ng moisture. Mm, okay. So, anong una natin gagawin? So, hihiwain ko muna to into mga kalahating inch siguro. Okay, so right now, hinihiwa yung tofu natin into cubes. So, maganda yan para small pieces, no? Mm -hmm. Para ano? Bite pieces lang talaga kasi... Bite size. Pag niluto tapa. yung kongkong, sobrang liit niya na. Mm -hmm. Hiwain na. Sikit na. Siguro maganda rin tong parang ano, no? Para sa mga beginner sa knife skills. Mm -hmm. Kasi parang cubes-cubes lang yes. siya and then tofu lang naman. So parang hindi ka rin magkakamali, di ba? Yes, that's true. So ngayon na nakita niyo na yung ingredients, I think we should start cooking. Okay, so first prepare your water, your oyster sauce, and syempre yung konting cornstarch natin. So L yung cornstarch, lalagyan natin para medyo lumapot yung sauce pag niluto natin siya later. Oh, I see. You're kind of making a cornstarch slurry. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Tama. Mmm, di ba? Lagyan natin siya. So dito mo siya ihahalo and then mm -hmm. you're gonna add the water into it. Yes. Okay. So make sure na konti lang kasi pag sumobra, may hirapan tayo later. Dadagdag tayo ng oyster sauce na magdadagdag. So pwede siya magbago ng flavor later. Mm, okay. So kung sakaling na sobrahan nga siya, paano naman mararemedy ng mga ano ng audience natin to? Ah, siguro, yun nga, dadagdagan mo siya ng oyster sauce later. Pero we have to be mindful na wag sobrahan din kasi it can ruin yung ano. Pag sobrang dami, for example, ng sauce, hindi na siya masarap kainan, di ba? Okay, oo. Kasi parang konti na lang yung mm -hmm. sahog, so you have to remedy that by yes. adding more ingredients. So, piprito na natin yung ating tofu na super dry with oil. So, important pala talaga guys na dapat pinapat dry nyo siya dahil yung moisture na nasa tofu, it will help in uh, parang creating a crispy uh, exterior sa ating tofu. So, kailangan talaga na pinapat dry siya para ma-draw out yung moisture na yun. Siyempre, para ma-balance dun sa kangkong natin at saka para mag-blend siya well with our sauce. After naman natin i-prito yung tofu, ano namang susunod natin gagawin? So, El, habang niluluto to and waiting for it to be golden or crispy, Pwede pa prepare ako ng plate na lang na may tissue para madrain yung ah, sure. oil. Okay. So, need natin i-drain yung oil from the tofu, guys. So, ayan. Dahil medyo golden brown na siya, we can put it nasa tissue na may plate na may tissue. Okay. Ayan. Tapos, sa same ano, dagdagan na natin siya ng oil. And then, dito na natin gigasa yung bawang. Grabe guys, alam niyo yung amoy ng bawang kapag ginigis na siya. Like, nakakamiss talaga kasi, ay, ito yung lutong bahay eh. So, parang, in a way, you can recreate that core memory na siguro yung grandparents nyo or yung parents nyo na nagluluto sa kitchen. You can recreate it on your own sa mga dorms nyo with this simple dish, di ba? So, El, dahil medyo golden brown na rin ang ating garlic, pwede pa abot ako nung ginawa nating slurry kanina. Okay. Napakabilis din lang ng recipe na to, El. Ilalagay natin yung kangkong, last or ingredient natin. Okay, nafe-feel ko malapit na siya, kaya excited na akong kumain later. Dahil saglit lang maluto yung kangkong, in a while, pwede na tayo mag-plating. I imagine this dish being perfect with a hot, steamy bowl of rice, mm -hmm. parang top over. Tama. And grabe, no? Perfect siya for lunch. And there we have it. We have our stir-fried kong kong with tofu. Okay, just as how I imagined it. Nandito yung crispy tofu and yung kong kong. And then yung parang glazy na sauce ng oyster sauce, di ba? Cheers muna. Mm. Mm. Para talaga siyang lutong bahay. Mm -hmm. Ang sarap niya kasi naano mo yung crispiness ng tofu. And at the same time, perfect siyang balance with the Hong Kong and yung oyster sauce. So, very perfect siya for 
ano lunch kapag ka may rice ka parang feeling ko if you're eating healthy pwede naman siguro brown rice or red rice diba? tama pero speaking of rice ano may rice tayo ngayon kasi this would be very perfect with that talaga yeah. you two should try out our recipe and that ends another episode of plate date your college cooking bestie see you on the next episode guys bye Welcome back to the show that puts the R in your mornings. This is Tiger Rush. And here's another segment of Hashtag OOTD. But before we move on to that segment of Tiger Rush, we want to greet our TMN family in New York. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. So uh, thank you so much for bringing New York all the way uh, to TMN or t Tiger Rush all the way, all the way to, to New, New York, York, even though it's currently 9 p.m. there. Yeah, well, we would like to thank you guys for still supporting us despite the time difference. And yes, we hope you enjoy the Big Apple. So many new opportunities, new people, new cultures to experience. Explore. Yeah, mm. okay. But, if, but moving on to our segment, let's be reminded of the importance of program societies, especially in the guidance of students regarding news within their program. So, are you active in CASA mm, in I, your home org? Well, recently I was active. I played sports for them. I played basketball. Wow. Um, it, the Athena's Cup is over, but it was hell of a blast. How about you? How about your experience mm. in your current org? Um, yes, I'm currently in BASOC as a behavioral science scholar and oh. also a talent. And yes, I really do believe that we don't just um, like help our society or help our org home org in like delivering news but also like bringing the USD and the best culture into the lives of our fellow course mates yeah you know orgs are very great especially for students because you know we get to explore a lot more people and we get uh, yeah. new opportunities for us to learn more uh, and that's OOTD's goal right yeah. It, to guide it, the Mashans in their org journey based on first-hand amusing stories from people within the organization because your choice of org will never go out of style. This, this is, is hashtag, hashtag OOTD. Let's learn more about the organization that is the sole and premier organization of civil engineering students of UST. Here we have a very special guest, the president of ACES, Miss Jessie Mae Allison Co. Hello, Pa. Uh, yes, good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Hashtag OOTD and we would like to thank you for being here today. And we're excited to have you here, Miss Jessie, and as we'll need your help introducing the guts of our fellow Thamashian viewers and and listeners. So let's first get to know ACES the same way engineering students are taught in their program through the fundamentals. So for our first question we have, what does a president do daily in the long term to partake in the activities of the Association of Civil Engineering Students? Actually, um, isa yan sa mga challenges ko, especially nung nagdaang Civil Engineering Week nung Feb 19 to 24. Since kaliwaan yung mga um, projects, mga events, um, one way para mapakita ko na nag-partake nag ako sa isang event ng mga project heads, syempre, um, is to show support sa kanila. And um, aside from that, yung um, paperwork, uh, dun talaga heavy yung, dun talaga naging heavy yung attention ko since um, gusto kong uh, kapag i-execute nila yung event na um, pinush nila is uh, dumaan sa tamang process. Ayun. 
you know, all the paperwork's gotta get through the executives, right? Yes. And for this next question is, to add to that, what does ACES do to construct an unwavering future for the civil engineering students? Actually, yung future jan um, is the full face-to-face um, setup ng um, actually, di naman full face-to-face, like hybrid pa rin, pero mas malaki na kasi yung percentage ng face-to-face. Uh, so, what we do is parang we opened up yung organization namin to um, members of the civil engineering community para parang ma-feel nila na free sila to um, voice out yung mga concerns nila. Like, nakakalapit sila freely sa organization namin. And then, kami yung magiging way para ma-raise siya sa department chairs. Yun on. That's really, like, cool. Especially na, as you said, we're already transitioning to, like, an on-site setup. And, like, transitioning from hybrid or from online to on-site could be quite taxing, especially mm-hmm. for people who got used to staying in their homes. Yeah, it's a very hard yes. transition to make. And, like, the fact that you're there and the aces are there, it just brings, like, a sense of relief and hope, I, I believe, to all of your students. Um, but moving on to our next question, if you meet a Samash and Civil engineering student interested in applying to the organizations or to the organization how would you introduce aces to your fellow engineering students aces is not just an organization aces is a family na um, makakakita sila ng um, people na magshare ng same interest with them and nandoon rin yung parang magiging support system nila Throughout their college life, hopefully. Um, sa civil engineering community, very important sa amin yung may nag encourage may nag-motivate sa amin. Especially sa mga um, assessments namin, mga academic stuffs. Um, so, ayun, yung organization namin doesn't only cater to extracurricular activities, but also um, curricular activities na um, makaka-help sa civil engineering students na um, na ma-hone yung skills nila. And I think that is very good. Very amazing. Yeah. Especially that um, not just like the ACES but the whole university wants to create multifaceted and multi-passionate people and the fact that your org is opening up to so many students to give them more opportunities even outside of you said curricular um, that's an amazing thing to experience while you're in college and before get going into the field of work that you want to go to what do you think? Yeah, I think orgs like ACES are things that are made for us to mm-hmm. feel that we belong, you know. Despite the hardships in education and academics, orgs are there for us to feel that we're not alone in the struggles yes. that we have. And, you know, ACES sounds really, really <laughs> welcoming and delightful, yes. you know. And let's discuss the culture of ACES and fosters within its association and among the students it serves. And for the first question, as the goal of the association is resilience, among civil engineering students, what exactly are you to be resilient from? And how does ACES help civil engineering students to be resilient? Actually, yung resilience na yan is more of sa academic side. Mm-hmm. Kasi, as you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, <laughs> summer capital ang engineering mm-hmm. ang Rowanyo building. So like, um, important talaga sa amin na maging resilient. Like, after ng mababang grade, bounce back talaga agad. Like, bawal. Yes, may breakdown. Pero, we do not encourage students na magtagal doon sa breakdown phase. Like, we really encourage students na kaya mo yan, ganyan. We really motivate them. Tapos, ano, we also offer mga um, academic tutorials, ganyan, to help them rin sa Academic nila. That's that's really cool, especially na 
we hear that civil engineering is one of the toughest courses so in scary. UST. So scary. Nga. It sounds really intimidating. It sounds very intimidating. And the fact that you have your own support system to again motivate and encourage other students to keep moving forward is such a great thing. Especially that, you know, all of you are going through the same thing. All of you are going through the same hardships. And that's just, I don't know, it's, it's really family. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're still gonna be with each other. You're mm-hmm. still gonna be tapping each other's back and say mm-hmm. that it's all right. We're gonna be bouncing back again. Yeah, and from your experience um, of being a um, part of Aces, what traits should every organization member exhibit? Um, for me, parang strong communication skills. Because parang sa within the um, organization, uh ina encourage ko talaga sila na mag speak up and mag parang ma feel nila na their voice matters yeah. and ayon parang feeling ko it is one of the it is one of my goal for the um, members na maging maging open sila sa organization like sa hindi lang sa board pero like ma-feel nila na ma- masasabi nila kung ano yung gusto nila. Like, without yeah. filter, gano'n. agree. Being vocal is really important, especially yes. nowadays when we're experiencing problems. Being vocal is like the first step to solving your problems because mm-hmm. you gotta need, you gotta ask for help sometimes. Yes, and you can't know problems without talking about it. Um, You really have to, like, people have to be aware that even though they are a unit nga pa, you're an organization your members are still individuals with individual needs and also individual struggles so being a, an arena for them being a megaphone for them to be able to voice out not just their problems but their opinions and their feelings is important it's like the very fundament like the foundation of being an organization so I, I I love to hear it yeah me too and for the next question what culture exists within the organization that you would also recommend other student organizations to employ Ayon, just like what I said before parang gusto ko na yung culture namin na nag encourage and nag-motivate each other Ayon, parang it's something to be proud of as an executive board member Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, na yung lalala ko sa mga kanina yung summary capital of the Philippines. You got me laughing a bit. Pero the fact that you're the summary capital and that sa yun sa faculty niya pero yung nagagaling yung mga brightest of yes. the engineers that we're gonna be having mm. in the near future, right? So despite having those hardships, you're still gonna end up being success, su- successful. Yes. And I think the org plays a big part in it. What do you think? I I think so too. Um, but before, uh, since it's already the last stretch, we have one final game before letting Miss Jess go. So, with Jessie May Allison Co. as the president of ACES Civil Engineering, the Mashin students are surely in good hands. So, we'd like to ask you your plans as president of the organization. Mm, my plans um, internally, ay nga parang gusto kong ma-feel ng student body ng civil engineering students na um, kaya nilang magsalita and kaya nilang mag-request ganyan freely sa mga sa organization namin um, externally naman um, I plan to um, broaden my connections the ACES the civil engineering um, students' connections especially yung mga Outside organizations, actually, we have partnership with JPIs oh. and ASIP, um, which are big, um, big organizations as well. Na uh, nakikater ng inter inter organizations like from different um, from different schools. Parang may chapter chapters sila. Um, ayon parang isa yun sa isa yun sa mga goals ko, as well as um, yung community development. Um, important rin sa akin na mag, mag-strengthen yung community development aspect ng organization namin. 
Okay, so thank you so much. We could really see that. Ang dami nyo talagang ginagawa for your organization. Yeah. And we see the love you have, not just for the org, but for its members. So, let's play a game where you can shout out your fellow org yeah. mates. So, this is si President's Accomplice. Accomplice. So, what you have to do is we're going to give you a prompt and you have to share to the audience who that is in your life, <laughs> in your org. So, are you ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, for the first one, sino si Early Bird? Early Bird? Crane Lim. Crane Lim. Sino si Breather? Si Pahinga from Requirements and Workload? Alvin Manuel. <laughs> and sino naman si Most Communicative? Most Communicative? Natalie Pedro. Sino si Most Supportive in Your Endeavors? Jenard de Guzman. And si Walang Pahinga and you wish they would finally find time for themselves to... Um, Arwen Farinas. Ayun, so we finally got to know about the legacy, the culture, and the basics of your organization. And we got to know a few people from in it. So thank you so much for being here. And do you want to invite our viewers to um, support and engage the initiatives and efforts of your organization? Um, um, first of all, um, I would like to thank everyone who have been supporting ACES from day one. Um... I would like to um, encourage other people to support ACES as well, especially yung mga activities namin. Kahit na hindi kayo member, you are welcome. You are more than welcome to join us and our organization. And thank you. And uh, we would like to thank you again, Ms. Jessie Ko, for joining Tiger Rush today. It, it's ha- it has been such an honor. And shout out to the ACES family and all of its teams. And for the for the audience, we hope you learned something. And if you do, you can always tag us on our social medias and comment on our lives. Muli ito ang programa kung saan your, your choice, choice of org, org will, will never, never go, go out, out of style. style. Ito ang hashtag, hashtag OOTD. OOTD. Tiger Rush will be right back. start off by asking you to describe to us what is actually the human eye how do we actually able to see so the human eye as you said earlier is one of the organs of our body just like the heart the lungs etc I would like to think that the eye is perhaps one of the most complex organs yes. because even if it is small compared to the heart the lungs etc it is very complex in that it requires a lot of physiological, anatomical, and chemical processes that need to integrate and work well in order for us to produce a crisp image. Mm, all right, so we definitely could see our that I, that our eyes are really is complex. So, at this, at the doc, medyo curious in how for this question: How does prolonged screen time affect our eyesight? Most especially now in their, uh, now in this age, very exposed tayo sa mga gadgets. So, how does prolonged screen time affect our eyesight? Prolonged screen time, to a degree, entails near work, prolonged near work, and as the modern world produces more digital devices, as we evolve, naturally, we have more screen time. Our body naturally adapts to our daily activities. And so if we have a lot of screen time, the eyes will naturally adapt to that. And hence, there will be... Our eyes would result to being nearsighted. Mm -hmm. And this is why... The children these days, according to studies, have increased prevalence of being nearsighted. So, Doc, are there any causes or factors that affect the deterioration of our eyesight? 
That's a good question. There are a lot of causes or factors that affect deterioration of our eyesight. And perhaps the most common and the, the uh, most inevitable cause or risk factor is aging. Mm -hmm. Because of course, as we age, the organs inside our body age as well, yes. and the eyes are not exempted from that. Other factors include systemic diseases such as hypertension or high blood, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and even as simple as infections can also lead to deterioration of our eyesight if left untreated. Could you walk us through naman, Doc, some of the common eye conditions since we've been mentioning um, yung mga factors nito. Ano yung mga common eye conditions that are especially prevalent among people with advanced age? Perhaps the most common eye condition in the senior citizen, among senior citizens, is cataracts. Cataracts. Cataracts happen when the lens inside, inside our eye opacifies. So when I say opa so the lens, in, we all have lenses inside our eyes. Mm -hmm. The lenses, just like the lenses in our camera, they're supposed to be clear and transparent. Yes. But in order for the cameras in our phone to be clear okay mm -hmm. so whenever the lens becomes dirty whenever they they become different in color so like yellow brown white sometimes black th that's what we call cataracts so cataracts happen most oftenly in people within the advanced age but there are also other risk factors for cataracts like again hypertension diabetes, trauma, and a lot of other diseases, which is why people develop cataracts uh, at different uh, times or uh, in their life. So, parang doc, hindi naman siya necessary na it happens sa old age, pero everyone can have cataracts. Yes, some people develop cataracts earlier than others. Even babies can have cataracts, mm. depending on the risk factors. So, Doc, may a curious question. May, there's, is there such a thing as eye cancer, Puba? Yes. Some parts of the eye result also have specific cancers. Mm. From the, the conjunctiva, which is the part of the eye that turns red whenever we have sore eyes. Yes, so, that specific part can have cancer. Um, the retina can have cancer as well. The brown part yes. of our, the colored part of our eyes can have cancer as well. And also, not just the, the eyeball particularly. Um, there could also be two more surrounding the eyeball. Yes. All right. So, uh, are, so now that you've mentioned nga po itong mga diseases natin, are there any alternative home remedies such as utilizing different food or herbs to help an individual's eyesight? Just like other systemic conditions, healthy food, the generally healthy food that you know, vegetables, avoid excess food that are rich in fat, etc. So generally, just, just vegetables uh, to keep our eyesight healthy. A healthy lifestyle, as you mentioned, is also important, especially if people have certain conditions like, mm. again, like hypertension, diabetes. So it's important to control the blood sugar and the blood pressure. Those, the, it's important to control the systemic conditions as well because those systemic conditions can affect the eyes. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly, the ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! Welcome back to the show that puts the R in your morning. So this is Tiger, Tiger Rush. Rush. So we're now down to our last segment today. And we're going to end this day with a bang. Dahil we all love to hear great Tomasian stories nga naman, di ba? And that, that's because Tomasino, kung saan makikilala ang buhay, husay at talento ng isang tunay na Tomasino. So before we start with our segment of Tomasino, I have a question. What is it? Meron ka na bang picture na pang status sa FB o pang IG story mo today? Um, wala pa, I think. But wait lang, is it a bit too early for posting? Bakit ikaw ba? Meron na? Actually, meron na ako eh. With the caption, Time flies so fast but gives us a million stories to remember Aww. from that time with the hashtag Goodbye February, hashtag Hello March, hashtag Good Morning Tamashians, and hashtag USD Tiger Rush. So make sure you guys like my post. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> Even though it's giving 2016, I'll still like it. Hater. <laughs> Fine. Alright, so I can see that you're, uh, you've already started March at a high note. And surprise, Tamashians, we are already in the last month of the first quarter of the year 2024. And you know, time flies so fast, Nyalaman, just what Zen just told me. 
Yes, that's so right. So let's start the month inspired and motivated by the life and leadership of our guest, Samashan, as she shares her insights on today's celebration of a new month and that of Peace Corps Day, only here on Tomasino. Kung saan makikilala ang buhay, husay at talento ng isang Tomasino. And with leadership experiences all the way back from high school, our guest for today is an information technology junior and a fantastic Samashan student leader. She is an active advocate of technology education and empowerment advocate dedicated in fostering a flourishing community of Samashan information technology students. The face of Samashan leadership in the College of Information and Computing Sciences. And let us all welcome USTCIC as Society of Information Technology Enthusiasts Miss Francesca Flores. Hello, Seska. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, before we start, how are you feeling at the moment? Actually, I'm pressure ako sa inyo, guys. Kasi sure. So, <laughs> I'm talaga yung English nyo. Barda lang tayo. <laughs> All right. Pero I'm feeling okay, naman. That's good to know. Good, that's good to know. But before we get into that juicy stuff. Let us go to our question and answer portion. Right. So, are you ready? Oh, I was born ready. Wow. <laughs> so, Samashans, wake up. It's the first of the month. <laughs> it is said that the first day of the month is a chance to reflect from the previous month's happenings, reset your motivations, and realign your goals. So, for Miss Seska, do you believe that how you start your month determines how your month will go? Yes. Um, siguro... Because if you start your month right, the whole month will be okay and it will be good. So I think and believe that when you start it right, then everything will follow in a positive manner. All right, that's, that's that's so solid. Um, for you, ba, what is the perfect start to a month? Um, waking up early. Yes. And doing something productive. So, kanina gumising ako maaga for this. <laughs> Wow. Thank, you thank you so much. You. <laughs> um, what else? What else is a, like a perfect start to you? Start of your month to you? Like, what's the first thing that ah, maganda yung March ngayon? Mm, seeing things in a positive manner. Yeah. Because Feb was so draining for me, especially okay. for my majors. Mm -hmm. So right now, no March prelims mm -hmm. period, right? Yeah. Yes. So I think starting March in a way na. Be aligning my mind in a state of in a state of positivity. I know that March will be good for me. Yes, and we manifest it for you yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Manifesting yeah. a good March for everyone for also. Everyone. Yeah. yeah, especially with what you said, February being something oh, yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> so a new month presents us with new opportunities, new adventures, and of course, new challenges. Yeah. So what is your way of navigating through uncertainties and the unexpected, be it good or mad, bad every month? Uh, let it come. Yes. So, hayaan lang natin na pumunta yung mga positive or negative energy mm -hmm. sa kada mm -hmm. month. Kasi, you know, it's normal mm -hmm. having highs and lows. It's very yeah. normal. And uh, I think as an individual, nasa sa atin na yun kung paano natin itatake yung yeah. ano, uncertainties or challenges or mga opportunities na ibibigay sa atin ng mundong ito. I love that. I love when you said let it come. Let Kasi it come, yeah. the universe won't give us something na hindi natin kaya yeah, eh, that we can't right. handle. So, like, what do you think, Kyle? Um, I think we should just let it come, you know? Because we don't really have control over what comes to us. We, mm -mm. we just have control on how we handle it. Yeah. I love your answer right there. And so for the next one, your leadership journey started in high school. Wow. When you spearheaded various projects and initiatives, you continue your le leadership here in the university, extending your services as the president of the U.S. ICS Society of Information Technology Enthusiasts. And how has your leadership style evolved over the years? Um, sa pagiging pabibo. Yeah. Love it! Not it's that. not That's a bad not thing. thing. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Even though there are some haters, you know. Yes. Yeah. And daming talagang magsasabi, kahit wala kang gawin or may gawin ka mm -hmm. man, there are people who will tell things about you. Pero that's who you are. That's I, that's I am, di ba? Yeah. You can make everyone happy. Yeah, yeah, if it's naturally coming out, di ba? Then so be it. Yeah. So if gusto mo maglead, then go. If gusto mo maging tiger job, then go. Eh, so 
I don't care what people say about what I'm doing as long as I am happy with it and as long as the community benefits it yeah. and the people that surrounds me benefits it then go I I think that's very important like to have in ourselves na yeah. gagawin ko yung gusto ko yeah. like yeah. if you're not stepping on anyone you're not releasing negative energy yeah. into the world and you're not harming anyone then why do we need to listen yeah. to people who are saying madami ka masyadong ginagawa ang pabibo mo naman what they say doesn't really matter yeah. what we're doing you yeah. know? as long as we think we're doing what's right for mm-hmm. us and for the people around us I think we should not mind what other people are saying yeah. for the three years na I'm serving CICS uh, I've been in various orgs also and I think it has been a training ground for me with who I am right now yes so I thank the organizations that I've been with also I've been in TMN also oh yeah director's pool shout out to Nate <laughs> to the whole director's pool hello everyone I've been with them also. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Like we earlier talked about being multifaceted and multi-passionate people. And there's nothing, again, nothing wrong with wanting to do so yeah. many things yeah. all at once. And I have a question, Naman. Like as an information technology student, uh, student and like, sorry, as an information technology student and a technology education and empowerment advocate, in what tangible ways can technology education aid in achieving social change? I think technology has become such a platform, especially in our generation. Uh, it's so fast-paced, right? I know na and daming platforms sa ano, internet na grabe yung nangyayari. And it's so fast-paced that we are so updated with things, bad ways or in a good way. Mm-hmm. And sa ibang bundo, alam natin kung ano nangyayari, right? So, it's a matter of fact. If you want to be educated in terms of technology or you just want to be dragged down with the way technology is being used today. We really need to learn how to adapt yeah. to the changes in the world. Yeah. And like using, again, information technology and like being empowered through that is really important into like progressing and being a progressive person being a progressive society yeah. so it's i'm so happy like to have you here like in advocating for yeah, that advocating for being literate in the, these kind of things especially nowadays that's being literate it's in information is really important mm-hmm. and um, for the next question aside from today being the first day of the month we are also commemorating the service of the Peace Corps volunteers in maintaining peace and fostering empowerment in different nations as we celebrate Peace Corps Day. For you, what is the importance of voluntaris- volunteerism, collaboration, and solidarity in attaining positive social change? Um, those three, three by one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, these are core values, right? So, parang it's on you if paano mo siya deliver for attaining peace to a community. So it's either mm, collaborative effort and active dialogue. Yes. So that's for me. It's it's really important to, you know, know how to handle, know how to be with, and, you know, makisama sa ibang tao, not just in a sense now we have to work together, Mm -hmm. but we have to create a relationship we have to build a foundation yeah. so that we achieve something. Yeah, teamwork is very important, especially mm-hmm. in attaining social change. You mm-hmm. know, social change is a very hard thing to do, yeah. especially if you're alone. Yeah. You know, th- there's not much difference you can make. But mm-hmm. when you're a team and you have people that helps you and you're helping people, it's going to be a way easier task to do. And yeah, and I think that's also the importance of volunteer volunteerism yeah. and having an initiative yes. to start things and having the initiative to start that social change. Because as you said earlier, you can't just be one person doing it. Exactly. Yeah, but moving on, as a student leader, how do you ensure that peace and harmony thrives not only in the community of Thamashian information technology students, but also the entire Thamashian community? Uh... As someone uh, handling a big community, yun nga, IT community, when you see the statistics of CICS, IT yung pinakamadami. Yeah. And uh, handling my officers aside, um, ang dami na rin nangyari, of mm-hmm. course. Ang daming uh, fights and petty ones or sobrang internal ones. Yeah. Pero, you know, um, for me, 
it's hearing their sides, not being one-sided, and uh, having that democracy of speech for them. Na lahat dapat may say, lahat dapat may sasabihin, hindi yung uh, natatapakan yung isang tao. And uh, I think that's one thing that I see for peace and harmony and valuing relationships with my co-officers also. Yeah, you know, fights will always, it's not something that we can mm-hmm. assure that yeah. di mangyayari. Yeah. It's unavoidable. But it's about how we could handle it na lang, mm-hmm. no? Mm-hmm. We should be able to hear both sides and not be biased so that we could solve whatever the problem they're facing. And we should also be helping them. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we're we're part of their family too. Yeah. We're, they're part of our family too. Yeah. And there's no one else to solve, to help them than ourselves. Right? Yeah, and I think remembering that the people with, we're with are also their own people. They're th- yeah. their own individuals. As we said earlier, um, we have different needs, we have different problems, different struggles, and different motivations. It's so nice that um, that people are looking into that first or giving more importance to that before putting in st- stuff like work, work-related things, academic-related things. Um, it's, again, very important to build that foundation. Um, but... Um, our next question is why should the entire Thamashian community become bearers of peace within and beyond the corners of the university? Hmm. First year pa lang tayo, right? Natuturuan mm-hmm. na tayo with the core values of the yeah. university mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. dapat paglabas pa rin natin we still uphold mm-hmm. to that values. So I think it's a natural thing for Thamashians to value that three C's that yeah. we call na ayun if hindi natin iba value yon ano pa yung ano ano pa yung sense to be mm-hmm. called as a Tomasian yeah right? that's so real you know at the end of the day we're going back to our roots no yeah. we're going back to the three C's kahit aling pang values yung matutunan natin at, at ano, ano, you know, in the journey Mm-mm. we're still going back to what was basic to us yes. yeah and I think remembering our identity as Tomasians and as you said always upholding that bringing it outside I think it's important not just because of the label we carry yeah. but also important because that is what the world needs currently yeah. um, we're not doing we're, we're not exemplifying the three seats because we're Tomasians but because we want to bring peace and harmony and social change in to the world um, and that's I think the most important part of having guests like you yeah. in, in, <laughs> in programs like this because it shows people like now you can be something mm-hmm. in your own little ways. You don't have to be like a person in media or a person yeah. in, in the government, in the or, government or the person in IT. You can be anyone and everything all at once and still be able to contribute to a progressive society, to a society that everyone could be united as yeah. one. Yeah, you know, it's just that step of courage that's really important for us yeah. to advocate, for us to start the ripple effect, you know. Yeah, it's, very it's really thing. a ripple effect talaga. It's a very beautiful thing. Um, And we are finally on our last stretch of Tomasino, so we are going to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a fast talk in true right. boy abunda fashion. Yeah. So, are you ready? I'm ready, of course. So, right. for our first question. All right, for the first question, a trait all student leaders must have. Um, servant leadership. Favorite memory as a student leader. Um, meetings na umaabot ng madaling araw. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so fill in the blanks. I feel most at peace when... I'm sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> more akad or more org work? A little bit of everything goes a long way. Alright, more sleep or more hangout? More sleep. <laughs> Build new relationships or strengthen existing ones? Build more while strengthening new, uh, no, the current ones. Alright, so what completes your day? Completes my day having eight hours of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya pa ba? <laughs> Kaya pa. Okay. Um, what completes? Uh, what is your March theme song? Uh, Clean by Taylor Swift. Oh, yes, right. we love a 1989 girly. <laughs> yeah. If every month had a color, what color would March be? Purple for Women's Month. <laughs> Ooh, something you'd like to try for the first time this March? Mm, hiking, I guess. Oh, interesting. And right. for the last question, fill in the blanks. This March, I will 
conquer. Right. Yes. Same. So thank you so much for participating thank in you, our small game. You. We love hearing your stories and we love hearing na nakakapag 8 hours of sleep ko pa sa yeah, isang araw. Are you sure? I think I'm sure. <laughs> um, right. So maybe you would like to share an exp- your experiences in this show so far and maybe baka may gusto kang shout out while you're still here. Shout out to UST site. Hello. Baka nanonood sila kasi alam mm-hmm. nila sila nag-send nung ano pub mats kagabi. So hello to everyone. And hello sa mga classmates and friends ko na nag si, nagla-lecture ngayon kay Sir Mike. Hello. <laughs> um and before we end of course, do you want to plug um your organization and also your sock meds? Mm. You guys can follow our organization, USD site. So, yung Society of Information, Technology, and Tusia. Sobrang haba. So, sa Facebook, <laughs> USD site lang siya. And Instagram, Seska Flores. Small letters lahat. Alright. <laughs> so, again, thank you so much for being here. Volunteerism and thank you, thank cross-cultural you. understanding. Um, these are the qualities that our Peace Corps embodies the best. These traits are supplemented by their commitment, competence, and compassion. And it's what helps them empower various comi- the various communities they serve. This Peace Corps Day, may we all remember that the change we've always wanted to see in this world can always start from us. Even the tiniest of bit, a bit of help can go the long, a long way. And, um, you know, it, it could go a long way. It could cause a ripple effect, as we all know. And I hope we all helped in starting your month, right? As we shared yet another inspiring Thamashian story. Let's all face March with much joy, enthusiasm, motivation, and wisdom within us. Catch us on our next episode where we can learn together from life, love, and leadership of our upcoming Thamashian guests. And for now, this has been... Tomasino, Tomasino kung, saan kung saan makikilala ang buhay, husay, at talento ng isang Tomasino. Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. Santayo kakai. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> it's so exhilarating. And <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
welcome back to the show that puts the R in your mornings. This is Tiger Rush. Rush. And for today, we had Jumpstart and we talked about training like iconic athletes. Like, you know, how about what do you know about running, Zen? What do I know about running? I know it's very tiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, you know, you're just, you're just moving around it's yes. really hard. And like, it's really important to know how to control your breath, to control your core, especially na yun yung kailangan na kailangan when you are a runner. Like, earlier, we talked about J- Mary Joy Tabal, who is an Olympic runner. Yeah, for, so our, for our very old country, right? Mm-hmm. And I heard Mary Joy Tabal has amazing endurance. And yes. I wonder what her training could be. I guess it's so intense. Yes, and if you guys want to know that, of course, keep tuning in to Jumpstart because we showed how to train exactly like like her. Yeah, and for our next one, we had Plate Date. date. So I have a question. How, well, like, what's your opinion on like vegan food? Hmm, I think vegan food is, it's not some, it's not for me, mm. but <laughs> I think people really love them and they actually mm. go the distance to eat vegan food. Yes. How about you? What do you think yeah. about I think it's an amazing option for people who want to st- stop consuming or consume less meat yeah. and our plate date had exactly that we showed how to cook stir fried kangkong with tofu oh that sounds it's, that sounds amazing oh yeah that sounds amazing like especially pag merienda time uh-huh. it sounds really great or over rice yeah, but yeah. Like and it's, it's such a good way to incorporate vegetables and also high protein, um, like high protein food into your daily life, especially now that we need the brain energy. And the best way to get that is through protein. Yeah, through protein. Especially when we need protein, especially now because, you know, yeah. freelance is coming. Oh Uh-oh. my God. And, you know, good luck for you, Sebastian's mm-hmm. out there. And yeah. if you want that said protein, just always tune into Plate Date. And guys, I hope you started your month well. We hope also that you started your morning well with Jumpstart and Plate Date. We really have to take time, especially now, as you said, we are going into ah, a very tiring week. Yeah. Um, we need to start being in tune and being aware of our body and our body's needs. Yeah, and for let's let's move on to the next mm-hmm. one. We mm-hmm. had an R teacher. Yes, O-O-T-D. hashtag OOTD. We had someone from... Aces, yes, correct? the president of Aces. We had Miss Jessie and we talked a lot about, you know, serving the community through fostering relationship, good relationships with the people around you and being multi-passionate, being open to trying new things, even though you're already in like a certain field, like you don't have to be a person in media to enjoy broadcasting. Yeah. You don't have to be um, a person in, let's say, like robotics. To You don't have to be a person in CICS to enjoy something like robotics yeah. or like software developing. We have the ability to hmm. like different things, Mm-mm. you know, even though it's away from what we're currently studying. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what we're studying mm-hmm. because there's always orgs mm-hmm. that's wel- mm-hmm. that would welcome us yeah. with, what, with whatever we want to do during our stay here in college. And just like with what you said earlier, you're in casa, but you still do sports, and you yeah. you were able to do that in your org, even though that's not like the field you want to go to yeah. in the future. Yeah, you know, I never really realized, I never really thought that I would play sports here in college because yeah. you know there's no interims, right? So mm-hmm. high school, right? But you know, despite that. I- Casa still offered me that opportunity and I'm very well I'm very thankful for that. And oh my gosh, the next segment really got me. We had Lifeline and the importance of eye health. So I have to ask you, how are your eyes? My <laughs> eyes. Um they're okay. okay. <laughs> I think they're okay because I'm wearing my glasses, but without mm. them, if you ask mm. me, they're not gonna be okay. Oh, how no. about you? Yeah, um me too. They're very they're quite blurry for like a 19 year old <laughs> I have really? farsightedness which is commonly seen no, in um, like people who are older and I loved uh, our discussion earlier during Lifeline where we talked about eye health because it's one of the most important like things in our life our eyes our vision yeah, is so important because it teaches us how to like it helps us navigate our world around us it helps us get away from danger but it also helps us with like seeing things we enjoy watching movies relaxing and that's why we have to take care of them. There are so many like diseases and illnesses that we could get. Do you know um, computer vision? Yeah, Convusion, yeah. Computer vision syndrome. That's one 
thing that a lot of people are experiencing recently, um, especially that we are still in a hybrid setup. We're using our phones daily, our laptops daily, our tablets also, and that really affects our vision. And yeah. like, what do you think? I think you know, we don't have choice, right? It's uh, hybrid. Like mm-mm. we have to use them. I think mm. we should just balance it out with the rest and proper mm. exercise mm. and diet. We should always, you know, prioritize our mm. health. Always. Do you have any tips for people there who are experiencing CVS, like computer vision syndrome, or getting headaches or mm-hmm. migraines because of straining their eyes? Interesting. You know, I've heard, I'm familiar with this kind of glasses, you know, mm-hmm. the blue. Blue light thing. glasses. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's really effective, especially if you're using your phone or your laptop a lot. Because especially for us college students in hybrid setups, it's uh-huh. really important for us to try out these things. And another tip I have for you guys um, is the 2020-20. What's that? Um, it's look 20 seconds away at something 20 feet away and then close your eyes for 20 seconds. Oh, that's cool. So that cool. you could relax your like your eyes and of course relax your brain. Do you do that? I do that a lot. <laughs> All right, I'll be doing that too now. And for the next segment, we had Tomasino and we had yes. a very, very fun conversation with... Our guest earlier, who is... From the College of Information yeah. and Computing Sciences. Did, w- what did you learn from our discussion today? Um, aside from her, March song is clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I learned that you know we gotta know how to mm-hmm. stand up. We gotta know mm-hmm. how to take the courage to advocate and start that ripple effect. Mm-hmm. Because if we don't stand up now, then who's gonna stand up tomorrow? Or who mm-hmm. else is gonna stand up for us? You know. Yeah. How about you? What did and you I learn love how Miss Seska said that maintaining relationships, healthy relationships at that, is important in you know being a person in society today in achieving social change. Um, we can't just be all about you know leadership and work and yeah. academics and being at the top of our game. We also have to learn how to be with other people, to motivate other people, to encourage other people, and also accept that same level of kindness and motivation from them. And I think that's how we achieve peace during Peace Corps Day, of course. I think during Peace Corps Day, we also talked about friendship and how important yes. it is. You know, you know, I don't really think. I'm gonna be here right now without the support mm-hmm. of my friends and family. Friendship has always been important, and mm-hmm. this day is a day for us to celebrate friendship. So, yeah. Yeah, I have a question for you though. What is it? What was your favorite part of the airing today? Oh, that's kinda hard. I think my favorite part is the fast talk at Thomas Yeah. It was really, it was funny, it was insightful, it was, it was really, I was really, mm-hmm. I really enjoyed her answers and her how we can exchange with her. It was really fun. How about you? What's your favorite part? My favorite part was when we talked to Miss Jessie uh, during our game and she was able to say people who motivated her, yeah, so say cool. people who she got to recharge with and also like say hi and greet her fellow org mates. It's, it's just nice to see other people be that supportive and also like remember the people in their lives with a lot of love. Alright, so um, we want to know we want to your favorite parts of our um airing today. So where can we find you, Kyle? Um, if you want to share what you d- discovered for today's episode, you can find USD Tiger TV on X and Instagram at USD Tiger TV, and you can also find us on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube at USD Tiger TV. How about you, Zen? Where can we find you? For me, you can find USD Tiger Radio on X at Tiger Radio USD on IG at US Tiger Radio on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. We are USD Tiger Radio, and on Mixler, we are Mixler.com slash US Tiger Radio. And you know, this this thing AV is almost ending, mm-hmm. and it's going to be ended with a bang, especially with Salot Salubong on March 2, 2024, from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yes, and also we are Tiger Media Network is going on a quick moratorium, so don't miss us too much because we are going to be back in two weeks. All right, and. This was This was the show that puts the, the R, R in, in your, your morning. This, this is, is Tiger, Tiger Rush. Rush.
of gaming and esports opportunities, can we really have a peek on the world of the gamers? Or are they in the league of their own? Good morning, Thamashians! I am Joe Santos. And I am Rain Berhai. Join us as we open wide the doors to gaming and its opportunities whilst keeping pledge to the Thamashian spirit. So, boot up your battle stations, check your pings, ready players, this is... XP Boost! Sana nga ready na ang ating mga viewers at nakaupo na sila ng maayos dahil makapigil hininga ang episode natin for today. Tamang-tama ka dyan, Joe, because episode 1 presents Teach Me How to Slay. Nako, baka ibang slay yung iniisip nyo dyan, viewers, pero sa laro natin for today, tuturuan ng dalawang pro gamers ang dalawang newbie gamers kung paano mag-slay ng enemy. Pero bago ang lahat, may magtuturo daw na isang lodi about gaming terminologies. sa inyo mga Lodi, ako nga pala si Bertilino, ang apports mo sa eSports. Ngayon, tuturuan ko kayo ng mga basic gaming terminologies. Kaya sa mga eSports noobies natin dyan, makinig kayo ha. Makinig kayo kasi basic na nga to. Ayoko nang paulit-ulit. O, oh, ito na ang first word natin ha. AFK. Uh, ang foggy ko. Mukha ba ako nakikipag-joke dito? Loko nyo, AFK means away from keyboard. Okay, sasabihin mo to pag naiihi ka habang naglalaro, hindi yung mangiiwang ka sa ere. Next. Loob ka naman eh. Sinagsabi nun? Sinagsabi nun? Gusto mo na screen time pre? Noob daw? Noob daw? Sus! Mali na mali naman yung gamit ng term. Ikaw ay immortal ka sa Dota, di mo pa alam mga sinasabi mo. Kinder? Kinder ka? Sorry na lad. Ayan na nga ba ang second word natin ha? Noob. Sobrang simple lang yan. Noob means amateur. Wait lang, andip nun. Noob means newbie. Yan. Ibig sabihin, baguhan ka pa lang or inexperienced. Para kayo lang. Kaya nga nanunood kayo para matuto sa mga master tulad ko, di ba? Yan. Kaya huwag niyong gagamitin yung noob na yan in a negative way. Huwag kayong toxic. Ha? Speaking of... Sige na nga, andito na din naman tayo eh. Next word natin ay toxic. Ex ko po, toxic. Kuya naman, sabi ko, esports to, hindi MMK! Sa ibang live ka gumanyan, ha? Mamaya tuturuan kita paano mag-submit kay Rapi Tulfo. Ha? Huwag kang makulit. Mabalik na nga tayo ah. Ang toxic sa eSports, sa eSports, ay isang player na may bad or unhealthy attitude in online gaming. In short, bastos. Ah, sumusobra na. Ayaw natin ng ganun dito. Ha? Dapat lahat tayo, ikaw, ako, aport sa eSports. Okay? Naniniwala kasi ako na gaming should bring people together kahit hindi mo pakadubugan. Okay? You meet friends who can and will turn into family. Tops! Tama na drama, ha? Ano itong sinasabi nyo na iiyak ako? Hindi ako iiyak, ha? Mas masakit pa nga yung palo ni mama dyan, eh. Next word na, next word! Ayoko na makipaglaro sa inyo. Jobs, ano yan? Kinuha nila karakter ko eh. Bad trip. Oh, one trip. Bulo. Hoy, bata, magbayad ka muna, no? Nakailang extend ka, nasang ingay mo pa. Diyos ko. Sorry na lad. Iyaks na yan. Puto, tawagin yung nanay. Kuya, ano po yung one trip? Ay, ayan, ayan, ayan. Ano ba yan? One trip na lang. Hindi nyo pala alam yung one trip. So, eto na naman yung isang player na isang karakter lang talaga yung ginagamit niya. As in one. Yun lang talaga sa lahat ng game niya. Sana all laging pinipili. Yeah! Ano ba yan? 
Ang hi- ayun na naman kayo, hirap-hirap nyo turuan. Ha? Hindi na kayo nagtuto. Esports nga, esports. Okay, number seven. Time ka na. Grabe naman, Alex Eli. Parang di tropa ni Mama. Sorry guys ha, pero GG's na. Next time na lang. Wala na akong pang extend. Ay, teka, teka, teka. Hindi nyo pala alam yung GG. Okay, so GG is good game. Tapos pwede din pahaba eh. GGWP or good game well played. Mahaba siya pero gamitin nyo pa minsan-minsan, di ba? Ayan, so try nyo. Makulit ka talaga. Sumbong kita sa nanay mo. Ayan, ayan. Wala na kasi akong time kaya sana may nalatunan kayo ha. Ako ulit si Bertilino. Ang upwards nyo sa eSports. Ang kasi mo Ayan, ito na, ito na, ito na. going to the Philippines Birthday ng anak ni Maring Nenet. Nag-uwi ako.
Now that we are equipped with the gaming terminologies, ano pa nga ba ang hinihintay natin? Players, pasok! Presenting our very own Pro Gamers, Teletiger members, Damian Pluma Santos and Richard Sergio. Nandito rin ang dalawang aspiring at hindi magpapatalong newbies na sina, Sami Malyare at Jamie Jimeno. Bago namin sabihin ang mechanic ng games, may interview nga muna namin kayo saglit. So, let's start with you, Damian and Richard. Okay, in one sentence, what is Teletigers for you? Uh, Teletigers is uh, my home, my family, and a uh, safe space I've built, uh, we've built throughout the years for the Tomasian gaming community. Okay, so for him daw, ang Teletigers is isang family safe space for him. Alright, how about you? For me, Teletigers is a place where we, as myself, a player, can showcase our talents, especially in our university. Alright, thank you for those kabog answers. How about you, Joe? May itatanong ka naman ba sa ating mga newbies? Siyempre naman, Rain. Kanina pa ako nag-iisip ng mga itatanong sa kanila. So, sa ating mga newbies na si Sammy and si Jamie, introduce yourselves. And siyempre yung tanong ko, ano yung mga hobbies niyo? Let's start with you, uh, Sammy. Hello, Joe. So, I'm Sammy Malyare and I like anything that is art-related. As in, I sing, I act, I do photography, I direct, anything at all. How about you, Jamie? And so, hi, Joe. I'm Jamie. I'm Jamie Jimeno. So, I'm an avid reader and I'm also a writer and a proud fur parent of six dogs and two cats. <laughs> And so I also cook a little bit and I also, like she mentioned, I act a little bit and also do a little bit of photography. Alright, very interesting ang mga hobbies ninyo ha. Ngayon, medyo nakilala na natin mga, mga, mga ating mga manlalaro rather. Bakit hindi na natin sila mas kilalanin habang naglalaro sila? Rain, ano nga ba ang mga larong ito? So eto na nga Joe at excited na akong makita silang mas stress sa game natin mamaya. Charot. So, eto na nga. Our players will be playing Valorant. Pero, pasensya na sa ating mga pro players dahil hindi kayo ang maglalaro for today's video. Pero, magiging mentors naman kayo ng ating newbies bago sila maglaro. Kaya, teacher mode muna kayo ngayon, okay? Okay, so ngayon, malinaw na ang game. So, ready players? Puesto! So, for our Team 1, we have Bluma and Sami and of For our Team 2, we have Richard and Jamie. So, ayan, mukhang nakikita natin naghahanda na sila. And with that, Teletigers, teach, teach them how to slay. So, sa nakikita natin dito, no, parang nagseselect na yata sila kung anong agent yung gagamitin nila. I see, no? Pero feeling ko ang pinaka ano, yan, basic niyan is syempre, tuturuan sila ng mga controls kung hindi pa sila aware and syempre yung mga skills kasi yun din man talaga yung pinakabago sa Valorant, diba? Sa, sa mga ibang FPS, nandiyan na yung WSD and then yung, yung fire pero yung skills talagang uh, it's very fresh and very new na feature. That's true, Joe. And I would just like to say na parang kakaiba na yung aura ng ating mga Teletigers dahil kakaiba talaga yung Vibes nila pag nagtuturo sila. Yeah, definitely, no? Parang medyo serious talaga. Serious type. Pero at the same time, hindi naman sila masyadong, you know, sinasaturate ng uh, mga jargons or any technical terms na hindi naintindihan ng mga newbies, no? I think so far then parang chill lang sila. Tinuturo nila step by step kung ano yung kailangan nilang malaman. And we'll be right back after these messages. I am going to the Philippines!
galing? Birthday ng anak ni Maring Ninit. Nag-uwi ako. Kala niyo tapos na ako? Diyan kayo wrong! Kasi ang upwards niyo ay nagbabalik dahil oras na para sa laro na hinihintay ng lahat. Umpisahan na natin ang Quiz Me Softly. Pero iisang question lang tayo. Makikipaglaro ako sa live audience sa Facebook. Napakasimple lang ng mechanics ng Quiz Me Softly. Magtatanong ako at syempre, sasagot kayo sa comment section. Oo! Tatayo ka pa? Upo, 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 magi-quiz ka pa dito. Guys, natandaan nyo pa ba yung mga gaming terminology kanina na tinuro ko? Mga lod, siguraduhin nyo na may fast hands kayo at magaganda ang memorya nyo. Simulan na natin ang Quiz Me Softly. Ang tanong, what is the term that is used by gamers to describe someone that is an amateur or poorly skilled in a game? Isa pa, with feelings naman. What is the term that is used by gamers to describe someone that is an amateur or poorly skilled in a game? Everybody type your answers now. Ayun, ayun, grabe. Nakikita ko na ang daming mga nag-comment na pumapasok ngayon. Ba't may nakikita akong pork chop? Uy, gutom ka lang. Ano ba yan? Guys, keep your answers coming up. Pero yung tamang sagot lang. Ayan. Tama kayo dyan. Ayan na yung tamang sagot natin. Noob. Salamat naman, no, at na, 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 nag-participate kayo. Very good. Ngayon, bago ako tuluyang sumakabilang show, meron tayo exciting na paraffle para sa mga manonood na nag-stick sa ating show. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin ay pumunta sa aming Facebook page at sundin ang mechanics na may kita sa inyong screen. The link can be seen in the comment section, ha? Pumunta na kayo, Lord, sa FB page kung gusto niyo magbago ang buhay niyo sa amazing prices namin. Baka may house and lot pa dyan with 10 ounces of corkage fee. Huh? <laughs> Ngayon na, salamat sa mga nakijoin na. Buti naman at hindi na kayo kinder dyan. Anong ginagawa niyo dito? Bumalik na kayo dun sa Teach Me How to Slay. Bako. Kitang-kita na talaga yung stress sa ating mga gamers. Pero, eto na ang pinakahihintayin nating lahat. Noobies, pwesto. Boot up your battle stations. Check your pings. Ready players. Slay your enemy. And begin. Alright. Ayan na nga. Nakikita na natin ang mga battle faces. At nakikita natin, very excited sila. No? Tuwang-tuwa si Jamie and here. Dito si Sammy. Mga talagang gustong-gusto na lang mag maglaban. Actually, parang... Let me correct myself. Parang di ko nakikita yung kaba sa pagmumukha nila kasi parang chill lang sila. Siguro perhaps naturuan sila ng maayos na ating mga Teletiger members earlier. And that's a good thing kasi talagang they are really having fun uh, learning this new game and of course uh, probably a new hobby rin. No? Mm -hmm. Pag talagang mas binigyan pa nila ng time or nag-invest pa sila ng oras dito sa paglalaro ng Valorant, maybe you know, add na nila sa hobbies nila. 
That's true, Joe. I mean, if you ha- really have ano, free time, why not play a game na pwede kang gumamit ng iba't ibang abilities, try out new agents, kung ano yung mas fit sa'yo. And ayan, tingnan natin, parang on this side, sa side ni Sami, parang tinuturuan na siya ngayon kung ano yung mga dapat niyang gawin. Yeah, definitely right now. Yeah, speaking of agents, you know, uh, the best uh, agent uh, that I can recommend talaga sa mga beginners out there uh, first is Killjoy or like Sage. Either of the two talagang very uh, friendly beginner itong dalawang agents na ito. And hindi pa tayo sure kung ano, sino nga ba ang agent na gagamitin nila. I agree with you, Joe. Agree ako talaga na si KJ at si Sage. A bit easy to play, depende na lang siguro kung ano yung mas prefer nila sa dalawang yun. So nakikita na natin, nagkukoach sila kung ano yung dapat silang gamitin ang utilities. Yeah, definitely right. So, siyempre, uh, talagang kailangan mo muna talagang i-read through yung mga descriptions, yung mga information, the ultimates, of course, definitely very essential ang ultimates ng ating mga agents. Uh, talagang kailangan alam mo kung kailan mo siya gagamitin, uh, when, when and where, like, mm-hmm. kung sang spots, talagang essential yon. That's right. And I think kanina lang nagkaroon na tayo ng first kill kasi iba yung reaction nila nung nagkita sila sa mid ng ating map. Yeah, cool. definitely right. And I can definitely hear some, ano, some turrets. So, probably baka may kill joy dyan, no? And naririnig ko dito, tinuturuan na patayin daw muna ang turret bago sa umatake. Da- definitely, that's a good strategy guys. Sana alam nyo din ating mga viewers. And then of course, syempre talagang kailangan talagang maging cautious and at the same time, dito sa Valorant, uh, we must ma- we, we must uh, be sure din na hindi rin masyadong maingay. So with that, kailangan mag-walk para din stealthy and hindi nila malaman yung magiging galaw nung kalaban. That's true. Kailangan talaga cautious sila sa footsteps. Kung hindi, easy kill yun sa kanilang kalaban. And syempre talagang uh, mamala- masasabi natin na pag naririnig mo yung footsteps ng maayos or nababasa mo siya, makikita natin dun na talagang sobrang taas na or yung level ng game knowledge mo when it comes to Valor. That's true. Kasi alam nyo ba guys, sa iba-ibang agents, may iba't ibang tunog din yung bawat footsteps nila. At kapag na-master mo yun, for sure, madali ka nang makapag-strategize, makabuo na sarili mong game plan in order to accomplish your own game. And speaking of uh, another things na very fundamental dito sa Valorant, why not we talk about, you know, the aim. Siyempre, very the most important thing na dito sa mga FBS is definitely the aim. So wala kang aim kung hindi matama naman yung bullets mo. Paano ka mananalo, diba? That's true. Bukod sa aim, kailangan alam mo din or siguro Last at least may grasp ka sa recoil ng baril na gamit mo. Kasi may aim ka nga pero bumabaril-baril ka lang ng hindi mo sure kung paano mo gagamitin yung barel na binili mo, then definitely sayang lang. Sayang sa economy ng grupo nyo or mi- sa'yo lang mismo. Uh, ikaw ba, Rain, uh, speaking of guns, uh, syempre, ito very controversial itong uh, tanong na to or debate. Which is better? Vandal or Phantom? Ako kasi, hmm, personally, parang same, di ba same lang sila ng bayad in-game? Yeah, I think two lines sila parehas. Two yeah. parehas. If I feel like it's going to be a good uh, aim day, gumagamit ako ng Vandal. Pero kapag alam kong wala akong tutok, definitely I go for the Phantom. Kasi parang nag-auto aim siya sa akin. How about you, Joe? So sinasabi mo bang kapag wala akong tutok ng Phantom, kaya lang? That's from my experience like naman. Siguro iba yung experience ng iba. How about you? Ano bang mas gusto mo? Phantom or Vandal? Uh, to be honest with you, Rain, uh, talaga lumaki ako sa Phantom. Gustong nice. gusto ko talaga ang Phantom. Nice Ewan ko dahil ganito nung niya. <laughs> anyway, pero personally, ngayon, ngayon na medyo tumatagal-tagal na rin ako sa paglalaro, pero hindi na ako masyado naglalaro ngayon eh. Mas ginagamay ko si Vandal kasi gusto ko yung, gusto ko mag-tap ng heads. Pero oh, syempre right. yung distribution din kasi nung barrel nung Phantom ay mas even. I, I'm not sure with that. I'm not okay, so that, that let's go back sa ating mga players. Parang last round na yata nila ngayon and nakikita na natin, grabe, intense na nung mga titig nila sa kanilang monitor. Parang wala na nang nakangiti at this point. Grabe intensity na yung nararamdaman natin dito ngayon sa studio. Uh, tumitubok-tubok na yata kanila mga puso at grabe ang kaba nila, no? E 
and it feels so great na talagang nag-e-enjoy ang ating mga newbies sa kanilang nilalaro ngayon and makikita natin na medyo talaga nangangapa pala talaga sila ng kaunti no talaga syempre very complicated naman talaga sila kasi talaga mm-hmm. ang Valorant lalo na sa simula kung wala kang idea siguro ang role mo lang taga plant ka lang ng spike if you don't really have the aim and definitely uh we must see kung talagang mas paghahandaan pa talaga nila or kung ano magiging preparations nila and actually last round na ano kaya mangyayari dito sa last round na ito no I'm really excited to see kung ano yung naging epekto ng kanilang coaching session kanina dahil teacher mode sila bilang pro players may execute kaya nila yon sa kanilang mga tinuruan of course kailangan talaga nilang bigyan pansin yung mga dapat nilang bigyan pansin tulad ng aim at tulad okay. ng skills and fundamentals at all. We'll and it. with that, I think we have a winner. So congratulations to our winner, Nasi PC number one. And that is Sammy. Congratulations sa'yo, Sammy, for winning this game. So magaling lang ba talaga si Sammy? Or talaga magaling magturo ang ating Teletiger member. Anyway, with that, how was the experience? Grabe, sobrang nakaano, nakaano sa heart, parang nakakaba kasi ang galing din niya. Ang galing din ni Jamie. Pero uh, sobrang mabibigay ko yung panalo ko sa teacher ko kasi sobrang galing talaga niya. All right. <laughs> And sa ating competitor, ano naman ang masasabi mo sa naging gaming experience mo ngayon, laro na sa round na to at si Sami ang nagwagi? Ano, uh, sobrang nakaka-enjoy siya kahit natalo ako kasi bagong game to. Tapos doon ko na talaga nakita hindi ako sobrang galing <laughs> maglaro sa mga gantong yung um, parang bari-bari lang <laughs> uh, type of games. And okay, so sa ating mga players naman, ano yung mga comment niyo or mga techniques na pinakita ng ating mga newbies? Wak ba sila or may kailangan pang konting improve? Well, let's start with you, uh, Damien. Well, si Ate Sammy kasi may experience na siya sa mga past games like Counter-Strike, ganun po. And yung tinuro ko lang sa kanya is yung mga parang dinagdagan ko lang ng medyo mahirap na galaw, which is yung pag-swing at pag-strafe. Tapos pagka pre-aim, tapos dahil doon na ano niya, na maximize niya yung paggalaw tsaka yung pagturo ko sa kanya. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that, no? So, Joe, dito naman tayo kay Richard. Anong masasabi mo? Ano yung mga pinakita niyang bago para uh, sa'yo? Since bago lang si Ate Jamie, uh, may basic idea naman siya. On, ay, mabilis niyang makuha yung basic uh, movement, pero kailangan niya lang improve. And then, yun nga, na-prove niya naman na kaya niya uh, makipaglaro pa rin kahit bago lang siya sa game. Tapos, ayun, uh, in, importante nag-enjoy naman siya and natututo. All right, and that's a wrap, guys. So with that, thank you so much. Kela, Damien, Richard, Sammy, and Jamie. And I hope na isang core memory ang experience na ito sa inyo ngayon. And to our viewers, of course, we hope na laughter and knowledge were imparted to you today. And we also like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, our co-presenters, our Cicola, our major sponsors, Akadarina, our minor sponsors rather, La Frontera, Raffers, Rafa's Cafe, and Buzz Premium Internet Cafe. Our donor, Miss Cookie, as well as our media partners, UST Achievers Association, Accountancy Unit, Streaming PH, and What's Up Pilipinas for helping us make this episode possible. And with that, Joe, we're going AFK for now, but this surely won't be our last session. We'll see you in the next one. GG's! Hey, Tamashians, back to school na naman.
Texas Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain! Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! Post for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio. It's another fine day. 
everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! The USD Engineering Dance Troupe is the recognized dance organization of the Faculty of Engineering and is composed of engineering to Mashians. With a sense of pride, strength, courage, and humor, the USD EDT is an organization that provides an environment for creative self-expression where the dance passionate students can perform to entertain, refine their talent, and dance to relieve stress. We all know what a fire is, don't we? Yes. It destroys properties, it harms people, it can even claim lives. Not cool, right? So the question is, 
How can you protect yourself from fires, especially when you are inside the campus? The answer? Fire extinguisher! But the big question is, do you know how to use it? There are typically four different types of sources of fire that you need to be familiar with. Type A involves the combustibles like wood, paper, and cloth. Type B involves flammable liquids. Type C involves live electrical and electronic equipment. And Type D involves the combustible metals like aluminum. So let's cut to the chase. Here's a how-to-do video on the proper use of a fire extinguisher, just in case you know. First, make sure you stand 6 to 8 feet away from the fire. That is in order to protect you from the heat and possible burns. Follow this four-step procedure which we call PASS. Letter P is for PULL. Pull the pin to unlock the operating lever. This allows you to discharge the extinguisher. Next is the letter A for AIM. Make sure you aim the extinguisher nozzle or hose at the base of the fire. The first letter S is for SQUEEZE. Squeeze the lever. This discharges the extinguishing agent and releasing the lever will stop the discharge. The second S is for sweep. Keep the extinguisher aimed at the base of the fire and sweep left to right until the flames appear to be out. Once the fire has been extinguished, make sure to watch the fire area. Again, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, and S is for sweep. Oh, by the way, Make sure to always check the tag and expiry dates of each extinguishers before using them. So in times of fire, just stay safe and calm. Because now more than ever, you already know what you're supposed to do. Now how cool is that, huh? Here are some fire safety tips in the event of a fire. Grab the closest fire extinguisher available in your area. Just make sure that it is the correct type and class appropriate to extinguish a fire. Be vigilant. Always report incidents of fire, whether big or small, to your dean's office, security, or the facility's management office. If you think it already seems uncontrollable, call for help and activate the fire alarm systems which will sound the building siren. After which, evacuate immediately. In an event that your clothes catches fire, stop what you're doing. Drop to the ground and cover your face if you can. Roll over and over or back and forth until the flame goes out. Do not run. Running will only make the fire burn faster. In case you are trapped in a room, feel the doorknob with the back of your hand. If it feels hot, fire may be on the other side of the door, so keep it shut. Retreat away from the door. Close as many doors as possible between you and the fire. Seal cracks or any other opening from the door to prevent the smoke from coming inside your room. That is to avoid suffocation. 
Try to communicate using your phones or any other means to inform others about your situation. Signal for help by hanging or placing an object on the window that can attract responders' attention. When evacuating, walk quickly but do not run. Never use the elevators. If smoke, heat, or flames block exit routes, stay in the room with the door closed. If you get caught in smoke, get down and crawl, taking short breaths through the nose. Cleaner and cooler air will be near the floor, so get low and go. Do not lag behind or return to the room to get your personal belongings. Upon exiting the building, Follow the instruction of the marshals and immediately proceed to your assigned evacuation area. Report any missing or trapped person to the authorized emergency personnel. And report any injured person to the Crisis Management Committee, First Aiders, or the Security. Remember, fire safety is of utmost importance and being prepared and knowing what to do can save lives. Stay safe and alert to Mashins! Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain. Mine is the red velvet latte. <laughs> I'm so so ecstatic. <laughs> it's <so> exhilarating. <laughs> the start is exhilarating. For today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go set, go set, go set, go, 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 go. The front runners. First in line, Legacy Bruta. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity, and that healing comes from. What are you previous? Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio. Okay, so you put on the
It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly, the ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! The UST Engineering Dance Troupe is the recognized dance organization of the Faculty of Engineering and is composed of engineering to Mashians. With a sense of pride, strength, courage, and humor, the USD EDT is an organization that provides an environment for creative self-expression where the dance passionate students can perform to entertain, refine their talent, and dance to relieve stress. We all know what a fire is, don't we? Yes. It destroys properties, it harms people, it can even claim lives. Not cool, right? So the question is, 
How can you protect yourself from fires, especially when you are inside the campus? The answer? Fire extinguisher! But the big question is, do you know how to use it? There are typically four different types of sources of fire that you need to be familiar with. Type A involves the combustibles like wood, paper, and cloth. Type B involves flammable liquids. Type C involves live electrical and electronic equipment. And Type D involves the combustible metals like aluminum. So let's cut to the chase. Here's a how-to-do video on the proper use of a fire extinguisher, just in case you know. First, make sure you stand 6 to 8 feet away from the fire. That is in order to protect you from the heat and possible burns. Follow this four-step procedure which we call PASS. Letter P is for PULL. Pull the pin to unlock the operating lever. This allows you to discharge the extinguisher. Next is the letter A for AIM. Make sure you aim the extinguisher nozzle or hose at the base of the fire. The first letter S is for SQUEEZE. Squeeze the lever. This discharges the extinguishing agent and releasing the lever will stop the discharge. The second S is for sweep. Keep the extinguisher aimed at the base of the fire and sweep left to right until the flames appear to be out. Once the fire has been extinguished, make sure to watch the fire area. Again, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, and S is for sweep. Oh, by the way, Make sure to always check the tag and expiry dates of each extinguishers before using them. So in times of... In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord your, your grace into our hearts, that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is finally Friday at and nga, nilalook forward natin ang Friday because of the academics and personal endeavors na meron tayo. Pero, alam ko mga tamasino, deserve nating magpahinga. And I know a great way to kill time through missions, hindi lang basta-basta pampalipas oras ito dahil mananalo ka pa ng mga prizes na abangan nyo for today. Hey, hello from Ashens. This is Milford Supnet, and welcome to a new episode of Streak. Ang larong susubo sa inyong pagkato masino. Before we formally begin, we would like to make an announcement. To all bring on the roar applicants, head on to USD Tiger TV and USD Tiger Radio social media pages because the results are already out. Wow! Congratulations to all who made it, and sure, hashtag work with TMN. And speaking of congratulations, we would like to also congratulate, of course, the winner from our yesterday's episode. Andy from OFAD, ayan. Nakareceive siya ng GCs from Lake Hatsu and Sweet Tooth. So, we would also like to thank our sponsors for today's game, Lake Hatsu and Sweet Tooth. Ayan. Katulad lamang ng mga nagdaang episodes ng ating streak, 
Super simple lang ang ating mechanics for the game. I bet almost everyone, if not all, is familiar with Kahoot, hindi ba? So you guys just have to go online, access Kahoot.it, and enter the game pin by by our pin shown on your screen. So yan, mag-flash sa inyong screen mamaya ang ating game pin. And secure na ilalagay nyo ng tama ang ating game pin because our game pin for today is 696-1613. Once again, 696-1613. You may also scan the QR code which is also shown on your screens, whatever is more feasible to you. Yes, guys. So, again, please follow the instructions na 696-1613 ang ating uh, game pin for today. And also, put your name dot college or faculty. But in this kind of QR code, which is also shown on your screens, whatever is more feasible to you. Then again, kindly set your name to name, dot, faculty, or college so we can easily distinguish and verify your identities in case you will win at the end of our program. But please be mindful to not use any unnecessary, rude, or unprofessional names and only follow what is instructed earlier on. Para naman sa ating mga mananalo or sa mananalo ng ating prize, please go to the Communications Bureau on the 12th floor of BG Pop near the Pinoval Gate and please present your USC ID and the screenshot of you winning our Kahoot game for easier confirmation and verification na kayo ang player na nanalo sa ating episode for today. And to remind lang everyone, the last opportunity for claiming your prize is only at 3pm on the same day. Once again, 3 p.m. on the same day. Ayan, tingnan natin kung sino yung mga nasa waiting list natin for our Kahoot game for today. Ayan, nakikita ko napakarami na ng ating mga Thumashians na maglalaro for our streak. We have Shout out Ju from the College of Science. We have Owe from OFAD, Mel from OFAD, Abigail from the College of Engineering, Faculty of Engineering, of course, L. Ofad, Cherry from NYC, Mac from NYC, and Tinay from Commerce. Wow! Shout out to all uh, to Mam Faye Abugan, also with uh, the TM and staff who fled to New York for the IBS conference. Sila ay sumasali sa ating streak for today. Kaya naman, papatalo ba tayong Thomasians na nandito sa Espanya, nandito sa USD? Huwag na kayo magpatumpik-tumpik pa at sumali na sa ating streak for today. That is 696-1613. Kaya sa mga gusto pang sumali sa ating game, sa mga viewers natin, invite natin ang ating mga classmates, friends, and orgmates na sumali sa ating episode for today. Once again, go to kahoot.it and enter our pin. 696-1613 or scan the QR code and set your names to name, dot college or faculty. That is name, dot faculty or college. So, we are back to recap sessions, Tamashians. Ano nga bang pinag-uusapan natin kahapon? Kung hindi nyo na maalala, worry not because Milford is here to remind you na ang pinag-usapan lang naman natin kahapon ang USC Education High School kung saan natutuhan natin na training ground din pala ito ng ating seniors from the College of Education. But for today, for Friday, it is time for us to give way to the virtuous women, not only of the world, but especially of our very own university. I think, oras na para i-play ang Run the World ni Beyonce o kaya ang The Man ni Taylor Swift. Well, if may idea na kayo kung ano man ang topic natin for today, for sure, piece of cake lang sa inyo to at makakakatch up kayo sa set of questions natin later on because this March, ayan guys, happy March 1 today, this topic is... The International Women's History Month. Alam naman natin na women have been fighting for their rights ever since throughout the history and napakarami, na, napakarami nating mga women figures when it comes to uh, leadership uh, in the leadership side of things. We also have in the different films and shows. We also have um, recently, di ba, nagkaroon tayo ng mga Barbie film. So actually, that is one way to show how much women deserves a seat at the table. So... Also, with, when it comes to the Women's Month, syempre, nandito yung pumapasok kayong mga mothers natin and our household and family. Shout out to you, mom. And also, marami din tayong mga favorite um, women um, figures na tinatawag nating mother. Nakapagitan, that's my mother right there. Meron tayong mga ilang singers like Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift. Kanina, di ba, meron tayong song na The Man by Taylor Swift. And napakarami nating isa-celebrate for the International Women's Month. And... Let us see kung ilan ang players natin. Wow, we reached 10 players for today from the different faculties and college. And I think everyone is all set for today's game. One thing, good luck sa ating mga Tomasino players for today. And let's play Streak 
ang larong susubok sa inyong pagkatamasino. Buena mano, question number one. The National Women's Month celebration has roots in the recognition of International Women's Day on the 1st of March. Is it true or false? Ayan, the question is flashed on your screen. Is it on the 1st of March? True or false? Let us see. Ayan, makakasagot na ang ating mga Thumashians. You only have 15 seconds to go. We have zero answers. Siniguro iniisip pa ng ating mga Thumashians kung ano nga ba ang tamang sagot dito because grabe, buena man ang question pero true or false agad. And when it comes to the International Women's Month, we are celebrating women. Um, hindi lang women ang nag-celebrate ito. We, across all genders, we also have men who were considered themselves as feminists. So actually, um, consider that women deserve their rights. Women deserve uh, a seat at the table because kayo ba, sino ba yung mga tinitreat yung mother? Ako kasi, uh, mother figures ko. Siyempre, ang aking mom na uh, nasa family ko ngayon. Uh, shout out to you, mom who is in Bulacan. Kasi nga, um, all the sacrifices they have made, all the sacrifices, all the efforts that she has made for us, talaga nga namang commendable. And in this in na international or National Women's Month, they are deserved to be celebrated. Actually, mother ko, magkapareha sila ng birthday at hindi magkakapareha sa sagot niyo dito dahil false ang sagot isa lang ang nakatama sa ating mga Thomasians nako 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 but the answer is false because it should be on the 8th of March and not the 1st for our information the National Women's Month celebration has its roots in the recognition of the International Women's Day on March 8th a historical event stemming from women's organizing efforts in the early 20th century Warm up pa lang yung question guys. Pero ang kung counted yan sa points natin later. And let us see kung sino ang mga ito. But, let us proceed to question number two. What is the theme of National Women's Month celebration from 2023 to 2028? Is it We for Gender Equality and Inclusive Society? We for Gender Equity and Exclusive Society? We for Gender Equality and Inclusive Community? Or We for Gender Inclusivity and Equal Society. Nako, nakakalito. Kahit ako guys, nalito sa pagkakasabi nito. But, yung mga Thomasians natin, may makasagot na. And the answer is, We for Gender Equality and Inclusive Society. Congrats to the three right answers. The 2024 National Women's Month celebration aims to capitalize on the recurring theme, We for Gender Equality and Inclusive Society, introduced in 2023. Now, question number three. What does we represent? Is it women energizer, women energetic, women and everything, or women and everyone? Nako, nagkakaiba-iba tayo ng letter E dito kasi puro women ang una. But, mabilis ang ating mga Thomasia sa sumagot sa ating kahoot today. At kung mayroon pang gusto sumali, feel free to join our game pin at 696 one, three, and landslide, seven right answers, women and everyone. Yes, napakarami nung um, sumagot ng tama for this question. But we will see the scoreboard for this round. Ayan, titignan na natin agad. And wow, hailing from the New York City, Mech.NYC with 1,404 points. Grabe na talaga, even from New York, makakalaro kayo ng streak for this episode. And, hindi pa pa tumpik-tumpik pa guys. Let us proceed now to question number four. The Philippines is the first country in Southeast Asia to sign and adapt the International Bill on the Rights of Women. Is it true or false? Nako kanina sa true or false, marami ang hindi nakatama. Titignan natin ngayon kung makakatama na ang ating mga Thomasian players for today. So, first country nga ba ang Philippines in Southeast Asia to sign and adapt international bill on the rights of women. Okay, so time is up and the answer is true. Siyempre, the international bill on the rights of women, also known as the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, was adapted by the United Nations in 1979. It was signed by the Philippines in 1980 and ratified also by the Philippines in 1981. We are halfway through. This is question number five. Which college or faculty among the selections has a female dean at the moment? Is it Faculty of Arts and Letters? Is it College of Science? Is it Faculty of Engineering? Or the College of Information and Computing Sciences. 
Guys, we have 7 seconds to go. 6 seconds. Napakarami pa rin mga sumasagot na ating mga Thumashians. I'm so happy na marami tayo for today na naglayo ng streak. And wow, what a landslide, right? Answer, it is the Faculty of Arts and Letters. Tamang-tama, guys. Because... Faculty of Engineering, College of Science, College of Information and Computing Sciences are the right answers. And na proud na in this time and age, in this time of the month, alam na alam na ang ating Faculty of Arts and Letters Dean, I see Professor Melanie Turingan. She was appointed as the acting dean of the faculty in December last year, but she is now the dean of the USD Faculty of Arts and Letters. Nako abante ABE ka nga. And the scoreboard, we have Darwin TC from FOP with a streak of four correct answers in a row, but DJ from IT has 3,259 points, reigning supreme in our streak for today. And now, we are proceeding to question number six. When was the Philippine Commission on Women established? Is it on 1975? Is it on 1976? 1977? Or 1978. Many years to count, many years to go, guys. But we have eight seconds left for you to answer. Is it 1975, 76, 77, or 78? Lock in your answers because the answer is 1975. Formerly named National Commission on the Role of Filipino Women, it was established by then President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. through the Presidential Decree Number 633 issued on January 7 of that year in response to the UN General Assembly for member countries to establish a government agency for women's concerns. Hindi na natin papatagalin pa. This is question number 7. What USD-affiliated organization held a concert last March 26 for the Women's Month? Is it the Conservatory of Music? Is it the USD Wind Orchestra? Is it the USD Singers or USD Musicat? Medyo mabagal ang mga thumashes natin sumagot. No, iniisip pa nila kasi lahat related to the field of music. But you only have 4 seconds left to go. Lock in your answers, thumashes, because the right answer is USD Wind Orchestra. Nako, magkakahate ang ating mga tomasino dito ngayon. But for now, let us see our scoreboard. Nagbabago ang ating top 1. It's from t from Commerce with 3,657 she beat DJ na kanina nasa number 1 But Abby from Engineering has a streak with 3 correct answers At sa tingin ko makakahabol pa ang ating mga Thomasians for today But now, we will proceed with question number 8 Nako, ito naman, UAAP The USC Golden Tigers has fails to defeat against DSU Lady Spikers Is it true or false? Nako, madali lang to sagutin kapag nan nanood kayo ng UAAP game nila recently Tignan natin kung Tunay nga bang nanood o tunay nga bang updated ang ating mga Thumashians when it comes to the UAAP scene? You only have 2 seconds to go, 9 answers, and the answer is false. Na kasi nang isang sumagot ng true, but the answer is false. Our fierce women's volleyball team, the USD Golden Tigresses, survived the scare of reigning champions DLSU Lady Spikers in a 5 set thriller dubbed as the Battle of David and Goliath in the UAP Season 86 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Talagang hard over height, diba? So now we are on question number 9. Back to the topic. RA6949, an act to declare March 8th of every year as working special holiday to be known as, is it National Women's Unity, National Women's Day, or is it National Women's Advocating Event or National Women's Holiday? Mabibilis sa magot ang ating mga Thumashians because we are nearing the end of our episode for today. Nagahabol na tayo ng mga right answers para makaangat sa tuktok ng ating episode. But the right answer is National Women's Day. Tamang tama yan. Because this is to be known as the National Women's Day as signed by President Aquino on April 10, 1990. And another USC-related news question of the day. Question number 10. USC produced 77 mechanical engineers on the licensure exams. What number spot did the leading student place nation nationwide? Is it second, third, fourth, or fifth? Ayan. Napakabilis ulit ng ating mga Thumashian sumagot. 12 seconds pa lang, but we have 9 answers. Tignan natin kung magbabago ang scoreboard later with this question. Dahil from National Women's Month, pumunta naman tayo sa USC-related questions. And the right... 
its fourth spot. Nako, walang nakatama sa ating mga Tomasians. But, to give you some knowledge, the University of Santa Tomas produced 77 new mechanical engineers in the February 2024 licensure examinations for mechanical engineers, including one top notcher. This was John Carlo de los Santos, who snagged the number four spot nationwide with a 91.85% score. Wow, congratulations. And, the Thumashians, that wraps up our episode for today. Grabe, hindi na talaga nagpapahuli ang mga Thumashians sa pagpapasiklab ng inyong mga talino. We hope you enjoyed this day's episode, but before we end, let us give a big round of applause to our incredible contestants who brought their A-games for today. Now, let's rev up our excitement as we unveil who won for our episode 55. On the third place, we have L from OFAD. For the second place, bag in silver, we have DJ from IT. And the first and the winner of our GCs for today is t from College of Commerce. Yeah. We have our runners up, Darwin and Owe. Thank you for thank you so much. But once again, congratulations, t for getting the highest points among all of our players for today. You may claim your prize at the Communications Bureau on the 12th floor of the Beach Pop building. But reminder lang ulit, t na claiming of the prize is only until 3 p.m. within the day. Please take a screenshot of your Kahoot win ngayon and present it with your USC ID for confirmation and verification. Nako, ang nanalo for today. Once again, congratulations, t from Commerce. If you guys want to be the next Streak Live winner, napakadali lang di ba? Kitang kita nyo. Kaya naman, make sure to tune into your lobby TV screens in your respective colleges or faculty buildings and participate in our Kahoot game every day. Iba't ibang mga topics, iba't ibang mga challenges. Super easy lang, super simple, and super dali lang manalo ng papremyo. And with the Mashians, we will miss playing with you. But of course, dahil papalapit na ang prelims, season, we have to focus on our studies first. Huwag kayong magalala, hindi kami alas, hindi kami alas, I stand corrected, but we will be back very soon. And again, so all bring on the roar applicants, head on to USC Tiger TV and USC Tiger Radio's social media pages because the results are already out. Hashtag work with TMN. Once again, congratulations to all passers. Once again, this has been Milford Supnet. This is Streak. I'm Lono Susubok sa inyong pagkatamasino. See you next time, Tigers. Good luck on your prelim season. Bye-bye. Back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar, USD. USD.
USD. USD. USD. USD. Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio. A fulfilling meal and some refreshing drinks is truly one of the best ways to hype up your day. Kaya on this episode, we will be bringing you to another cafe that I'm sure you've missed. This cafe has finally made its comeback and I am just super excited for the Tamashians to get a glimpse of what Manila Cafe has in store. Especially for us students who need a new place to hang out and chill. And by the way, I am Pau Cruz. And I am Marquis Candelaria. And kami ang magbibigay sa inyo ng sagot kung saan. Saan? Saan? Saan, saan tayo kakain? Hi, good day. I'm Aramis, Marketing Director of Manila Cafe. Hi, I'm Marcos Ga, Marketing Specialist of Manila Cafe. Manila Cafe, especially is for the students. We always tend to listen and accept uh, criticism and suggestions ng mga students. We always welcome them to uh, come here, not just a coffee shop, but it's like a second home para sa mga students na sineserve namin. Ang goal kasi namin is maging part ng routine ng students every day. So, kung after class, they, they are looking a place to stay, to study. Manila Cafe is uh, inviting students to 
go here para maging part sila not, not just sa uh, a, a coffee shop na pupunta lang just to drink coffee we always want to welcome students even other guests so we are inviting students Tomasians to come and visit Manila Cafe to experience a unique cafe so, hindi lang para sa mga student pati sa mga ibang trabaho kasi ang Manila Cafe is open for everyone also especially for the family Gutom ka na ba? Kasi alam mo ako personally, gutom na gutom na ako sa mga delicious food and unique drinks na nakahain sa atin today. I mean, just take a second to look at it all. Especially with their wide variety of drinks like their beautiful coffee, their milk teas, and the slushies. I'm sure na all of these refreshers are more than enough to quench our delicious taste. Tama ka dyan na. But aside from that, of course, they also have all these tasty and mouth-watering snacks like may pizza, meron tayong pasta, may snacks like corn dog bites, hot brown, mojos, fries, sausage cup. Like for sure, ay bubusagin talaga tayo ngayon. Nako Pao, let's not delay this any further because we also don't want to delay you any longer. Kumain ka na ba? Hindi pa. Kaya nga ngayon, titikman na namin to to let you guys know if Manila Cafe could be your next go-to cafe. Alright, let's get our first meal. Anong ating, titikman mo first? Ang pesto natin, of course. Alright, I'll take my first bite. Mm. Alam mo with our pesto, it's really really good. I like how full it is kasi usually with pasta, hindi siya puno. Pero ito, very crunchy, madami siyang pesto sa loob. Very good, huh? Ito naman yung, yung carbonara nila na pasta. Super creamy, pero yung pagkaalat niya, nababalance para hindi nakakasuya masyado yung pagka-creamy ng carbonara. Perfect. Wow. And as you guys just saw, I just tasted yung coffee natin, their signature. It's really good. I like how earthy it is, very barako, masarap, and it really helps you and jolt you up, you know, when you want to study for a long time. I recommend. Grabe to, Mac. Grabe yung pizza pasta nila. Unique. Lasa siyang pizza talaga, pero in a pasta way. Mm -hmm. I like the vegetable, yung capsicum. I like the pagka, pa, pagka lasa niya ng pizza. And mm, approved siya sa akin. I really like it. Mm. Now, Ito naman yung Spanish sardines na pizza nila. Spanish sardine pizza. Wow! I love the umami flavor. Nagpapantay siya with yung saltiness niya. Combo and mix in of flavors that never, you know, fails to be really good. Grabe tong fruit slush calamansi fruit nila. After kong kainin yung bowl pasta, na-clear yung palate ko, na-clear lahat. Grabe, matanggal lahat ng umay sa akin. I like it. And I think for my turn naman, I forgot to mention na may kasama silang bread palagi. Na may carbohydrates tayo para as a palate cleanser din ng mga pasta natin. I like the strawberry. Grabe, creamy siya, sweet. Perfect lang yung sweetness na hindi ganun masyadong nakaka... Kaya mo pa siyang ubusin talaga, actually. Refreshing siya. I like it. But this, guys, this is the lemon niya called fruit tea. This is my top one so far sa mga drinks natin. I'm a fan of sour drinks and this is super sour. Gising na gising ka and feels very fresh and hindi siya heavy to your stomach. Tondo pepperoni supreme nila. Ang sarap. Sumasabog yung flavors. I really like it. Grabe yung pepperoni. Parang may pagka roasted, may pagka sunog yung nalalasahan mo pa rin siya. I like it. And yung cheese. I love the cheese. Perfect. But this drink though, this drink is the matcha milk tea. Their matcha milk tea is very unique. It has matcha undertones, but the first thing you taste is the milk. Super creamy and like creamy talaga and not heavy at all your milk, but the matcha goes right underneath the milk and it's really good and goes for a really long time. Love it. So ako, next ko tinry is yung salted caramel nila. I really like it kasi yung sweetness din niya, just like the strawberry vanilla, hindi rin ganun ka parang nade-destruct yung mouth ko sa refreshing na parang vibe na gusto niyang iparating sa akin while I'm trying this. This naman, my information, is the Intramuros Manager's Choice Pizza. 
this is something crazy to describe. It has mushrooms, tomatoes, and dami. It's really good. It's a it's a it's a wonderful burst of flavor. And ang ganda pa ng pangalan niya. I think na this is something exciting if you want a really good surprise for your palate. Ito naman ang unit niya. Ermita Supreme Deluxe. Guys, nice. sumasabog din yung flavors just like yung pepperoni. I like that yung stuff ay yung crust niya. I like that yung crust niya, yung thin crust. Balance lang kasi yung flavors talaga na highlight dito sa Ermita. Mm. My Manilenos, we have the Pandakan Longganisa Pizza. This is my favorite pizza so far because ang sarap ang ang linamnam ng longganisa and grabe napapaalala ako sa mga mga products ng Manila and ng Pilipinas dahil this is our meat. Ito naman ang next kong tinry is yung matcha Oreo series nila. I really like it kasi lasa siyang lasang lasa mo yung pagka matcha di ba sa mga matcha lovers dyan medyo may pagka earthy may pagka dahon yung lasa niya which I like and yung Oreo niya Balanced din sa pagka-match niya. Ito naman ang kanilang strawberry latte. So, we're gonna travel a bit from Manila going to Baguio to give you a reminder of our strawberries. If you want something really sweet, something to jolt you up when you study for long hours and remind you of Baguio, strawberry latte. Ang next yung mong tinry is yung snack after all the drinks, yung mojos natin. Of course, I personally love mojos. And ito, perfect na perfect siya kasi hindi siya ganun ka-salty and very, 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 ang, ang sarap ng pagkaluto nila. Perfect. But if you want a protein snack or something quick lang to fill up your stomach, I recommend the sausage cup na Hungarian sausage. Meaty. Malinam nam and quick on the go. <laughs> Ato namo hash brown na lab. Very lasang lasang mo talaga yung pagka potato. And hindi siya ganun ka alat. Nalasahan mo yung pagka roast, yung pagka luto, yung oil and all that. Ang sarap niya. Hindi siya nakakasuya. Plus. Plus points, plus points. Love it. This is their Frias Matcha Cup naman. Now, if this is light, this is heavy, if you want something sweet with your matcha and my cream just to ask, go with your Frias Matcha. I like it. It tastes very good. Earthy then. Ako lang ang next to tinry is dalawa agad. Cookies and cream, Frias, and the fruit slush, kiwi fruit, and the kiwi fruit slush. Itong cookies and cream, for the cookies and cream lovers dyan, must try. You have to try this. Ang refreshing ng cookies and cream nila. And yung fruit slush, I love this kasi perfect lang yung pagka sour niya. And yung nakaka-refresh talaga siya. After lahat ng kinain mo, talagang may refresh ka. Just like this slush right here. Kalaman si, I love it. I love it. Pero alam mo pa, teka, nakita mo ba yun? Ay, akala ko shooting star because this cold brew salted caramel is simply out of this world. This is my favorite drink so far. To my fellow coffee lovers, I recommend their salted caramel. Barako, matapa, magigising ka. But also, may onting unique taste siya ng magandang combo sa coffee natin. Wow. Itong corn dog nila, corn dog bites cheesy. Yun pala, cheesy. Kaya pala lasang lasang or yung cheese. Perfect na snack ha, para kapag minsan gusto mo ng something to munch on, corn dog. Love it. But also, we have two fries. We have twister fries and we have our crisp cut fries. So, if you want to choose your different type of fries so, so you can go on the go and get your quick snack, I recommend this. Salty and it's really good, huh? And, mm. Vanilla cold brew naman tong next kong tinry. And personally, I love mga cold brew, yung mga ka coffee na hindi ganun ka pait. And this is perfect kasi siya, lasang-lasan mo rin yung vanilla, yung sweetness. Pwede na lalasahan mo pa rin yung pagka-bitterness ng coffee niya. Perfect match siya. I like it. And iced coffee. I'm a fan. But, are you just trying to chill with your friends, trying to enjoy your time? I recommend the Java Chip. For our chocolate and coffee lovers, chocolate niya grabe. 
super sweet and I feel like I could enjoy this just chica hang with my friends, you know? Nice! Frios! Java chips. Try mo tong bolognese na lang. Bolognese? Bolognese, yeah. Try mo yung bolognese na lang. Very, kung fan ka ng mga sour na pasta, this is perfect for you. And I also wanna try this. Mmm! Sour na! Very sour. Very Italian. It's giving Italian. Mm -hmm. Very, very, it's a, it's a good mix and a healthy mix of yung sour and yung umami flavoring mm, yeah. ng tomatoes natin sa bolognese. Grabe ano, Manila Cafe never really disappoints us with their delicious foods and drinks. And look at the ambience. Are you even seeing this place? Talaga, you can never go wrong with it. But how about you, Pao? I'm sure I'm not the only one who enjoyed today. So, let's give our dear Sumashans our final verdict. Oo, oh, Maki, hindi lang ikaw yung nag-enjoy. Ako rin. Enjoy na enjoy. At hindi lang enjoy, ah. Busog na busog. I'm all set for today. With all the foods and drinks na try natin, grabe, there is really no room for insufficiency. That is why we believe Manila Cafe deserves a... Saan tayo kakain? Approved sticker! Reason number one being, again, like I told you, the ambience, from the art to the cozy yet modern feel of this place, I am sure it gives you the best ambience you can find in UST. Ako naman maka, reason number two is yung distance from Gate 7 hanggang Manila Cafe itself. Super lapit lang, ang accessible. Grabe, perfect for those people who really loves reviewing sa cafes, chilling, and magchichikahan with your amigas. And reason number three, finally, Pau, why haven't we told them this until now? The food, from the plating, the serving, and the staff, the, re the food here really is really, really good. From the pizzas, the coffees that will sure jolt you up. Manila Cafe really came back stronger, ano? And they never disappoint with their food and drinks. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo, dear Sumashans? Come visit Manila Cafe in Pinoval near Gate 7. They are open from 9 a.m. to 12 midnight. See you again on another episode as we give you different choices for your next sweet salap food trips. Again, this is Pau Cruz. And this is Marquis Candelaria. Ngayon, alam na natin kung saan. Saan? Saan? Saan, saan tayo kakain? Hey, Sumashans! Back to school na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's ah! exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USD Tiger Radio
not everyone can become great or true teacher. So, pag sinabi kong great or true teacher, it means that number one, that teacher gives a part of him or herself to the students, to his or her fellow teachers. Number two, he or she follows the words of God, regardless of the discussion, regardless of the lesson. And most importantly, number three, it's the experience. I am John Christian C. Valeroso, and I am the current chair of the Secondary Education Department, College of Education. The Bachelor of Secondary Education is a four-year degree program that provides uh, future teachers with both academic and clinical preparations. For the actual teaching internship, we'll have the fourth-year BSE students. And at the same time, the teachers, sometimes they also have this observation in the junior high school, the USC junior high school. So before, parang we had this also in the senior high school. So it depends on the availability of the teachers. Kung saan natin mas may improve o mas mapagaling ang ating mga future teachers. I'm Gerald Trambola, currently a fourth year from the College of Education, taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Science. I don't know when it started actually, but I just remember one day I woke up and I was like, okay, I'm going to become a teacher one day. Ayan, mapagpalang araw sa lahat. Ako si Princess Angel Galono, o mas kilala ng mga estudyante ko bilang binibining jelly. Kasalukuyan ako ay fourth year Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Philippines. Nung una, sa totoo lang po, hindi ko po talaga gusto yung Bachelor of Secondary Education. Siya po yung least program na pinili ko dito sa USC. Nung pumasok na ako dito, kala ko nung una di ko magugustuhan. Pero yun nga, minahal ko rin naman siya at ngayon mas lalo ko pa siyang minamahal. At meron akong mga profesor na talagang uh, nagturo sa akin kung paano mas maging maayos na bata, mas maging maayos na estudyante, at the same time, mas maging maayos po na student teacher sa ngayon. So, most of the time, it's because of inspiration from my other teachers that I grew up with. They were great teachers, competent, and also very caring teachers that they inspired me to become one as well. Una pong task na ginagawa po namin bilang student teacher dito sa USD, yun po yung pagpaplano pagpaplano nung gagawin ng mga bata kung ano po yung mga dapat nilang lesson kasi siksik po yung weeks nila dito so dapat kung ano po dapat yung pinaka-importante nilang gagawin o yung pinaka-importanteng aralin na dapat nilang malaman pangalawa po nun ay yung uh, pag a -apply. una po i-a-apply namin sa sarili namin bilang guro pangalawa sa mga mag-aaral namin syempre at pangatlo po yung uh, pagawa na po mismo yung nung uh, mga gawain o yung mga lesson. Kasi yung sa tatlo pong yun na mga task namin, yung pag pagpaplano ng lesson plan, curriculum guide, mga peta nila, uh, madali lang po yun. Pero yung applying po, yun po, dun po yung medyo mahirap na parte. Kasi minsan po may mga hindi inaasahang pangyayari. Kaya minsan po yung mga napagplanuhan ng task, uh, minsan po parang nagugulo siya, i -re revise na naman ng i -re revise So, yun po yung uh, ginagawa po namin dito. For my classes, I usually just do tar papel. It's basically a tarpaulin made out of paper that I tape together just to simulate a tarpaulin because we can't use projectors or any type of gadgets during class to show uh, pictures. Uh, science is re reliant on these figures, so I did that just to have that uh, visualization for the students. For some, it's not just a printed picture. Some use a cartolina, manila paper, the ones we usually see when we're reporting when we were younger. But for me, my personal preference is just a tar papel and then board talk. So just the marker and the board for the concepts. So yung mga ginagawa ko pong traditional materials sa ngayon, yung una po doon, yung sa manila paper, halos manila paper po, cartolina, at minsan po yung tinatawag po namin board talk o sa whiteboard lang po kami magsusulat. Una po doon yung sa Manila paper. Siyempre, yun po yung pinaka-common na ginagamit ngayon ng mga student teacher. Kasi nga po, mas madali at mas mura po. Kasi alam naman po natin na dapat po yung mga bibilhin din po namin materials, budget-friendly kasi wala pa naman po talaga kaming trabaho. Kaya yun po yung unang materials namin. Sa cartolina naman po, siyempre, katulad po siya nung Manila paper, affordable, mura. Tsaka yung cartolina po kasi, meron siyang iba't ibang kulay. May white, may pink, kung anumang kulay. Kaya, uh, doon po kami kasi mas naaaliw yung mga bata pag uh, 
iba't iba yung pinapakita mo sa kanila, hindi isahan lang. At minsan rin po, uh, gumagamit rin po kami ng mga uh, flashcards, ganyan, para mas matuto sila at hindi lang iisa yung makita nila. Pagkat uh, makakatulong din yun sa kanilang pagkatuto o development skills po. I use the board talk uh, because uh, I see it as a way for me to practice more the concepts behind the topic. So because uh, for PowerPoint, for example, there's notes, there's presenter notes, so you have a guide, and also the guide itself behind the screen. But for board talk and then the, just the pictures, I train myself to become more competent, to become more uh, knowledgeable about the topic, so that when I discuss, it is correct in ways, without relying much on notes. The three uh, most important uh, competencies or skills that, that the practicing teacher must have is, of course, the curriculum planning. Napaka-important din ito. Of course, as a teacher together or being mentored by the supervising teacher, they need to plan their lesson properly. And at the same time, aside from curriculum planning, they must also learn how to deliver it properly. That's why instructional delivery is very important. And of course, assessment. Assessment after you deliver your lessons, after you provide the, the knowledge to your students, you will have, of course, you need to assess your students if they learn something from your class. Ngayon po, yung pakiramdam ko bilang isang free service teacher, sobrang full feeling niya po, lalong-lalo na pag alam mo sa sarili mo na pinagkakatiwalaan ka ng mga mag-aaral mo, hindi dahil sa pinilit mo silang pagkatiwalaan ka, kundi dahil sa nakuha mo yung tiwala nila ng kusa. At uh, yun po yung isa sa parang pinaka gusto ko sa ngayon bilang isang free service teacher. At parang nakikita ko sa araw-araw na pag oras ko, masaya sila. Ah, Pilipino na, ganyan-ganyan. At yung naririnig ko sa kanila na parang nagiging pahinga nila yung Filipino. Hindi naman pahinga na wala silang ginagawa, na parang nakakahinga sila sa akin kasi nakakapagsabi po sila ng kanilang mga problema o kung ano paman. Kaya yun po yung isa sa pinaka natutuhan ko o pinaka gusto ko ngayon bilang isang free service teacher. I think people should choose to be a Tamashian educator because we are emulating what the school is promoting. So, becoming a competent, committed, and compassionate teacher that um, goes beyond the four walls of the classroom. So, becoming a teacher is not easy, but after the four years of formation, when they enter uh, the College of Education, they'll come out as those uh, competent, committed, and compassionate teachers of tomorrow, of the next generation. The three C's, the uh, committed, compassionate, com and competent teachers are needed in the Philippines because, first of all, fake news is prevalent in our society right now. So, by becoming that teacher, we understand that not all people consume information at the same time, at the same pace, in the same levels. So, as teachers, it is our duty to make sure that what we teach our students are the correct ones, are the correct information, what we teach our students are the ones that they're going to use in their daily lives. And what we're going to teach our students is the truth. So that's what's important in becoming a committed, compassionate, and competent teacher. Hey, Tamashians! Back to school na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock! As a New Yorker, Cheris! <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. Oh, 
host for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Drew This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio. I was a typical middle-class teenager uh, who do not know much about what's happening around me, especially in the country. Uh, nung naging uh, pumasok ako sa AB, I consider myself a rebel without a cause.
Well, marami kami nababalitaan na mga nawawala. Marami kami nabalata, nababalitaan na hinaharas. No? Pero yung isang konkreto kong uh, karanasan ay nung ako ay presidente ng Suran Council no? at uh, nagkaroon kami ng rally uh, laban sa Marcos Dictatorship, ay first time kong naranasan na matirgas. No? At uh, parang nasusunog yung balat mo eh. No? Uh, dyan sa Espanya, parang nasusunog. Sobrang sakit. Eh, ako, tumakbo ako sa taas ng mga, sa mga bubong ng mga kotse. Parang yun, yung panic mo, no? para lang makaalis ka, tumakbo ka dun sa mga, dahil yung uh, traffic na eh. No? Yun yung first time na nakaranas ako ng tirgas. At ganun pala talaga yung uh, karanasan na yun. Parang sinusunog yung iyong balat. Ikalawa ay, uh, nung ako ay presidente ng AB Student Council, inimbita ko si Malu Mangahas. No? Siya yung presidente ng UP Student Council then. Para magsalita dito sa uh, AB. No? Uh, on the way here, hinarang siya sa kanto ng EDSA at saka Quezon Avenue at siya ay hinuli. No? Without a warrant. So, yun yung personal kong karanasan na uh, ito yung martial law. Anybody can be arrested no? kahit walang warrant of arrest. No? Warrantless arrest. No? Nagkaroon ng uh, 1978, first year college ako, yung uh, election sa Batasang Pambansa. Uh, at doon mo nakita yung uh, mga pandaraya, yung mga harassment. Doon ko first time nakita si Chris Aquino. Batang-bata siya noong nagsasalita sa stage para kay Ninoy Aquino no? noong 1978. So yun yung aking introduction sa uh, politika at sa electoral fraud at saka political harassment. Well, nung uh, fourth year ako, nag, uh, nag-volunteer ako sa We Forum kay Joe Burgos, yung uh, sinarayan ng administrasyon at pinakulong si Joe Burgos noon. Nag-volunteer ako sa Philippine Times kay Romel Coro dahil yung uh, anak niya, si Raul Coro, ay uh, assistant editor ko sa The Flame, sa AB. No? So, nung, nung panahon na yan, ay uh, nakita ko first hand kung papaano hinaharas at isinasara itong mga opposition newspapers katulad ng We Forum at saka Philippine Times. No? Ang pinakamahalaga ay nagsimula kang makasalamuha yung mga mamamayan ng ating bansa na ni minsan sa buong buhay ko ay hindi ko alam na nandun pala sila. Nung ako ay nasa Barsitarian, uh, nagkaroon ng panahon na nagkaroon kami ng mass resignation dahil medyo nakikialam yung administrasyon sa pagpapatakbo nung, uh, nung ating dyaryo. So, umabot sa kasukdulan na kami ay nag-mass resignation. Tingin ko yun yung first and last time na nagkaroon ng ganong incident. Ikatlo ay uh, after graduation na, nung inassassinate si Ninoy Aquino. My feeling is we all have to die sometime. Now, if it's my fate to die by an assassin's bullet, so be it. But I cannot be petrified by inaction or fear of assassination and therefore stay in a corner. I, I have to suffer with my people. I have to, to lead them uh, because of the responsibility given to me by our people. Nung nangyari yung EDSA, o yung nangyari yung assassination ni Ninoy, ay madali silang kumilos sa mga demonstrasyon at yung tinatawag namin mga lakbayan. Lakbayan, ito yung mas mahaba na mga marcha at saka mga rally no? nung panahon na yan. So, Uh, yung mga tiga-UST, mga tiga-AB ay patuloy na nag-participate no? kahit wala na kami. No? Dahil merong mga sumunod na henerasyon na mga uh, student leader nung panahon na yan. Actually, nagulat ako sa EDSA. Eh. Inaasahan ko na matagal pa yung labanan. Inaasahan ko na hindi aatras si Marcos ng ganong kabilis. Inaasahan ko na hindi dadami ng ganong karami, dalawang milyon mahigit yung mga tao. No, in a way, kahit ako ay na, or naging organizer, very skeptical pa rin ako sa majority ng ating populasyon na sasama sa paghihimagsik. Pinatunayan akong mali ng EDSA People Power. Kaya very defining yung EDSA. Eh. Pinakita niya na isa sa pinakanotorious na dictatorship around the world, no, the Marcos Dictatorship, ay kayang pabagsakin, kayang paluhurin ng mga mamamayan. Naging defining yan, hindi lamang sa ating kasaysayan. Naging defining yan para sa ibang bansa. Yung people power ay naging parang icon sa ibang mga bansa na may mga problema sa kanya-kanyang mga diktador. Sa Latin America, sa Africa, no? uh, 
at ibang mga bansa around the world. So, ito ay napaka-significant na contribution ng ating bansa sa struggle against dictatorship, against authoritarianism. Hindi lamang dito sa ating rehiyon, kundi sa buong mundo. No? Kaya uh, EDSA was a celebration of people power. Kaya yung hamon sa inyo at sa inyong henerasyon is how to confront this deluge of disinformation, this revision of history, and recreate within yourselves, no? within your hearts and within your minds, yung spirit ng EDSA, which is about nobility, which is about sacrifice, which is about uh, the dream of a future, not only for your generation, but for successive generations yet unborn. That is the challenge. Hey, Sebastian's back to school na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. And congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USD Tiger Radio
Our sight is one of the most treasured gifts that we often take for granted. It allows us to see the surrounding beauty and tragedies of our world has to offer. With that in mind today, we'll be talking about the organ that makes all of these possible, our eyes. We hope that you watch till the very end as we look into the questions that will surely catch your attention. I am Jed Leano, your host for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Joining us today is Dr. Ito Sutanko, a physician and a board-certified ophthalmologist. We're glad to have you, Doc, here in our lovely... So, how is your day naman po so far? Yes, good afternoon. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. My day uh, has been okay. I uh, just came from the clinic and I'm glad to be here. Yes, and we are also glad that you are here with us today and we are honored that you will be able to share some insights with us here on Lifeline. So um, again, we are also thankful for taking us the time to enlighten us with today's topic. So to begin, Doc, let us start off by asking you to describe to us what is actually the human eye? How do we actually able to see? So the human eye as you said earlier, is one of the organs of our body, just like the heart, the lungs, etc. I would like to think that the eye is perhaps one of the most complex organs, yes. because even if it is small compared to the heart, the lungs, etc., it is very complex in that it requires a lot of physiological, anatomical, and chemical processes that need to integrate and work well in order for us to produce a crisp image. Mm, all right, so we definitely could see our that I, that our eyes are really is complex. So, at this at the doc, medyo curious din ako for this question. How does prolonged screen time affect our eyesight? Most especially now in the uh, now in this age, very exposed tayo sa mga gadgets. So, how does prolonged screen time affect our eyesight? Prolonged screen time, to a degree entails near work, prolonged near work. And as the modern world produces more digital devices, as we evolve, naturally, we have more screen time. Our body naturally adapts to our daily activities. And so if we have a lot of screen time, the eyes will naturally adapt to that and hence there will be, our eyes would result to being nearsighted. Mm -hmm. And that, this is why the children these days, according to studies, have increased prevalence of being nearsighted. Right, so Doc, are there any causes or factors that affect the deterioration of our eyesight? That's a good question. There are a lot of causes or factors that affect deterioration of our eyesight. And perhaps the most common and the, the uh, most inevitable cause or risk factor is aging. Mm -hmm. Because of course, as we age, the organs inside our body age as well, yes. and the eyes are not exempted from that. Other factors include systemic diseases such as hypertension or high blood, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and even as simple as infections can also lead to deterioration of our eyesight if left untreated. So, marami po talaga mga factors that affect the deterioration of our eyesight. So, um, Doc, is poor eyesight naman hereditary? If so, could you mention some of the preventive measures in order to preserve our perfect eyesight? In your question regarding if eyesight, poor eyesight is related Her, her, to... Hereditary. If or, it's hereditary. Yes. Okay. It depends if the systemic disease is hereditary as well. For example, mm -hmm. hypertension and diabetes are some of the conditions that are hereditary. Hence, those diseases can also lead to poor eyesight. With regard to being nearsighted, or the, the error of refraction, as we call it, 
it can also be hereditary. For example, if both your parents are nearsighted, there is a big chance yes. that the offsprings will be nearsighted as well. And vice versa. If they are farsighted, there is also a chance that the offspring will be farsighted as well. But this is not the only factor. There are other factors. Yes. So the perhaps the most or the best preventive measure is to have a regular eye exam. Eye exam. Because the, most of the eye diseases are undetected if, if the, no eye exam is done. Yes. Especially the early stages of eye, certain or some eye diseases. Yes. So it really is important to magpa eye exam na tayo if we we feel like there's some um we, we are starting to feel something in our eyes. So could you walk us through naman doc some of the common eye conditions since we've been mentioning um yung mga factors nito. Ano yung mga common eye conditions that are especially prevalent among people with advanced age? Perhaps the most common eye condition in the senior citizen among senior citizens is cataracts 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 happen when the lens inside inside our eye opacifies so when i say opa so the lens in, we all have lenses inside our eyes mm -hmm. the lenses just like the lenses in our camera they're supposed to be clear and transparent yes in order for the cameras in our phone to be clear okay mm -hmm. so Whenever the lens becomes dirty, whenever they, they become different in color, so like yellow, brown, white, sometimes black, th that's what we call cataracts. So cataracts happen most often in people within the advanced age. But there are also other risk factors for cataracts, like, again, hypertension, diabetes, trauma, and a lot of other diseases, which is why people develop cataracts uh, uh, at different uh, times or uh, in their life. So, parang doc, hindi naman siya necessary na it happens sa old age, pero e everyone can have cataract. Yes, some people develop cataracts earlier than others. Even babies can have cataracts, mm. depending on the risk factors. All right. So, uh, so super important talaga na meron tayong eye, na, 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 na nagpapa-eye exam tayo for us to avoid these kinds of diseases. So, thank you so much, Dr. Yutanko, for answering some general questions about our eyes. For our next set of questions, po, we will be focusing more on the symptoms and process of diagnosis on the common eye condition. of this global activity of spreading awareness against cancer. USC Hospital, together with the Tomasian community, is working together to educate our medical staff and patients to contribute in making this world a cancer-free place. Through this effort, may we promote healthy lifestyle, enhance awareness among Filipino people, and make a mark in reducing the global impact of cancer. We salute the men and women who continuously fight to survive and win this battle against cancer. Together, let's close the gap in the treatment of cancer care. The will to live is a natural desire for all human persons, especially those who are battling diseases just like cancer. The whole of the Martian community especially the University of Santa Tomas Hospital, through its Benavides Cancer Institute, omits itself in its fight against cancer. Together, as Tomasians, let us support those people who have dedicated their lives in terms of their research and study about cancer. Let us hope and pray for cancer patients that they may have renewed faith and hope that their health may be restored and that happiness may reign in their families. 
God bless us all. You guys are still here with us in Lifeline. So after diving into the generalities of the human eye, let us now see what are the symptoms, signs, and process to diagnose on the common eye conditions regularly experienced by most of us. So Doc, can you elaborate on why refractive errors or difficulties on eye focusing regularly occur? As I said earlier, our eyes are very complex. Mm -hmm. So all the parts of the eye needs to be in perfect condition in order to produce a crisp image. The lens and the cornea, the front part of the eye, are major parts that are needed to function properly in order to produce a crisp image. So if there is a problem in the cornea and the lens, yeah. there will be a problem in when it comes to producing a crisp image. And not only the lens and the cornea, the other parts of the eye contribute as well. Mm -hmm. And this is why whenever we examine the eye, we, do, we look at all the parts from front to back. Because anything that obscures the, the image yes. from getting into our brain would result to blurred vision. Mm. So... Now, Doc, how do the four primary categories of refractive errors, astigmatism, presbyopia, hyper, hyper, hyperopia, and hypermetropia, and myopia differ from one another? Okay, so we'll start. So myopia, hyperopia, and presbyopia are, are all errors of refraction. Mm. Like this largely involves the shape of our eye. So basically, if the, our eyeballs are long compared to normal, this, is my, we, this results to myopia or being nearsighted. If our eyeballs are, short, are shorter compared to normal, this results to hyperopia or far, being farsighted. And presbyopia happens in people over 40 years old, hmm. wherein their eyes are clear, they are 20-20 at far, but when, it, when they are reading, they require reading glasses. Mm. And this happens because as we age, especially among 40, people 40 years old and above, the, the, the muscles of their eye start to have difficulty in focusing. So people age 40 years old and above start to be reliable on reading glasses. glasses. Yes. Yes. All right. So uh, thank you so much for, for differentiating those, Doc. I mean, personally, this is my first time hearing those kinds of terms in terms of our eyes. So it's really important that we were able to listen what Doc has mentioned about the differentiation of these things. So, although considered as prevalent, gr grievances having dry, sore, blurry, and tired eyes are conditions that typically go away on their own. But how do we know when we need to consult a medical professional? Since very no, parang nagiging conception po sa atin yun na parang, ah, mawawala naman yan kapag, so hahayaan ko na lang. So, how do we know? The symptoms that you mentioned earlier, tired, dry eyes, those are Symptoms of eye strain, wherein the muscles of our eyes get tired because of prolonged focus on a single object. These usually go away on their own whenever, whenever we rest our eyes. Appropriate um, consult with an eye doctor is needed whenever they don't go away on their own because there is a chance that there is another problem. So, as you mentioned earlier, the, yes, they go away on their own. But if they don't, then consult is advised. Yes. So, and guys, so um, it's really advisable if hindi siya nawala ng kusa na magpa-eye consult tayo sa mga doctors natin. So, now doc, can you walk us through the process of how to diagnose an eye condition? What screenings or testings should a patient undergo when undergoing eye consultation? Okay, so a complete eye exam must be done in order to 
in order not to miss out any eye condition. And we usually start with the visual acuity. When I say visual acuity, this is the test being done in driving tests in order to see if you're 2020 or not. Mm -hmm. it, um, in visual acuity, this is when the examiner lets you read letters yes. from biggest to smallest. That's the visual acuity and that's where we start. After visual acuity, we proceed with the, what we call the slit tamp examination, wherein we use the microscope to examine the eye. Since the eye is small, we, rec we need we, a microscope in order to look at the eye. So just gross examination is not enough. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yung usual na whenever a, uh, someone would say na, ah, I have an eye problem. Tapos yes, gaganan nila yung eye nila. Mm -hmm. So pre we, gross exam is not enough. So the microscope is needed in order to look at the especially the internal structures of the eye. So after visual acuity, we look at the structures of the eye. We look for signs of infection, inflammation, abnormalities in the anatomy in the eye, up from the front, systematically up to the back, up to the optic nerve. The nerve is the structure of the eye that is located at the backmost part. Mm -hmm. inner back most part yes. the optic nerve is connected to the brain so any signs of inflammation in the optic nerve or abnormality we usually this is usually connected to the brain so depending on our findings we refer to a neurologist yes we refer to a cardiologist we refer to others special um, specialties depending on our findings also we check the intraocular pressure because our, our eyes also has pressure inside so if there is increased pressure in the eye mm -hmm. appropriate medication should be given we add additional tests we also check for the visual fields meaning the how far can we see yes. if there is tunnel vision or not? That's the visual field. Mm -hmm. Because there are also conditions that are related to visual fields. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, from visual acuity to the internal structures of the eye, yes. from front to back to the eye pressure, up to the optic nerve examination, visual fields. Um, we all, sometimes we also dilate the eye in order to look at the retina yes po. so basically we, we need to see all parts of the eye as much as we can in order to not miss anything out yes. so we definitely could see how complex our eyes are kaya napaka important yung mga processes na ina undergo natin in terms of our eye condition so now doc we've been talking about the processes in terms of consultation so what would happen if an eye condition was left untreated well the worst is a person goes blind because there are a lot of diseases that if left untreated would could result to blindness, blindness. yes blindness could be either permanent, mm -hmm. meaning irreversible, or it could be reversible. So there are conditions that are reversible. There are conditions that are irreversible. And other, aside from blindness, it other adverse effects if an eye condition is left untreated could um, examples include infection, inflammation. Mm -hmm and others so uh the dog made your curious question may this is there such a thing as eye cancer puba yes some parts of the eye result also have specific cancers mm. from the the conjunct conjunctiva which is the part of the eye that turns red whenever we have sore eyes yes, so that specific part can have cancer um the retina can have cancer as well the brown part yes. of our, the colored part of our eyes can have cancer as well. And also, not just the, the eyeball particularly, um, there could also be two more surrounding the eyeball. Yes. 
Alright. So, uh, are, so now that you've mentioned nga po itong mga diseases natin, are there any alternative home remedies such as utilizing different food or herbs to help an individual's eyesight? Just like other systemic conditions, healthy food, the generally healthy food that you know, vegetables, avoid excess food that are rich in fat, etc. So generally, just, just vegetables uh, to keep our eyesight healthy. Carrots, Carrot. vitamin A. Yes, po. Those, uh, those are some examples of uh, healthy food. Yes. Alright, so guys, if you want to take care of your eyes, eat healthy, have a great lifestyle, of course, eat vegetables, yun yung paalala sa atin ni Doc. So, thank you so much, Doc. Everything that had been said by Doc. Yes, but Doc. Yes, I forgot to mention in order, a healthy lifestyle, as you mentioned, is also important. Especially if people have certain conditions like, mm -hmm. again, like hypertension, diabetes. So, it's important to control the blood sugar and the blood pressure. Those, the it's important to control the systemic conditions as well because those systemic conditions can affect the eyes. Yes. All right. So thank you so much again that, um, for that, Doc. You know, again, we'd like to remind everyone, to all our viewers out there, to eat healthy and have a healthy lifestyle. So everything that had been said by Doc Aitas Yutanko truly opened our eyes to clearly see the importance of the windows of our souls. I spy with my little eye, treasures and wonders of the world. That is why it is always a must to take care of it. Despite having technologies enough to combat it, prevention is still always better than cure. With that being said, this has been Jed Liano for Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. Santayo kakain. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so exhilarating. Ah! And congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
Our sight is one of the most treasured gifts that we often take for granted. It allows us to see the surrounding beauty and tragedies of our world has to offer. With that in mind today, we'll be talking about the organ that makes all of these possible, our eyes. We hope that you watch till the very end as we look into the questions that will surely catch your attention. I am Jed Leano, your host for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Joining us today is Dr. Ito Sutanko, a physician and a board-certified ophthalmologist. We're glad to have you, Doc, here in our lovely... So, how is your day naman po so far? Yes, good afternoon. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. My day uh, has been okay. I uh, just came from the clinic and I'm glad to be here. Yes, and we are also glad that you are here with us today and we are honored that you will be able to share some insights with us here on Lifeline. So um, again, we are also thankful for taking us the time to enlighten us with today's topic. So to begin, Doc, let us start off by asking you to describe to us what is actually the human eye? How do we actually able to see? So the human eye as you said earlier, is one of the organs of our body, just like the heart, the lungs, etc. I would like to think that the eye is perhaps one of the most complex organs, yes. because even if it is small compared to the heart, the lungs, etc., it is very complex in that it requires a lot of physiological, anatomical, and chemical processes that need to integrate and work well in order for us to produce a crisp image. Mm, all right, so we definitely could see our that I, that our eyes are really is complex. So, at this at the doc, medyo curious in how for this question. How does prolonged screen time affect our eyesight? Most especially now and there now in this age, very exposed tayo sa mga gadgets. So, how does prolonged screen time affect our eyesight? Prolonged screen time, to a degree entails near work, prolonged near work. And as the modern world produces more digital devices, as we evolve, naturally, we have more screen time. Our body naturally adapts to our daily activities. And so if we have a lot of screen time, the eyes will naturally adapt to that and hence there will be, our eyes would result to being nearsighted. Mm -hmm. And that, this is why the children these days, according to studies, have increased prevalence of being nearsighted. Right, so Doc, are there any causes or factors that affect the deterioration of our eyesight? That's a good question. There are a lot of causes or factors that affect deterioration of our eyesight. And perhaps the most common and the, the uh, most inevitable cause or risk factor is aging. Mm -hmm. Because of course, as we age, the organs inside our body age as well, yes. and the eyes are not exempted from that. Other factors include systemic diseases such as hypertension or high blood, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and even as simple as infections can also lead to deterioration of our eyesight if left untreated. So, marami po talaga mga factors that affect the deterioration of our eyesight. So, um, Doc, is poor eyesight naman hereditary? If so, could you mention some of the preventive measures in order to preserve our perfect eyesight? In your question regarding if eyesight, poor eyesight is related Her Her to hereditary. If it's hereditary. Yes. Okay. It depends if the systemic disease is hereditary as well. For example, mm -hmm. hypertension and diabetes are some of the conditions that are hereditary. Hence, those diseases can also lead to poor eyesight. With regard to being nearsighted, or the, the error of refraction, as we call it, 
it can also be hereditary. For example, if both your parents are nearsighted, there is a big chance yes. that the offsprings will be nearsighted as well. And vice versa. If they are farsighted, there is also a chance that the offspring will be farsighted as well. But this is not the only factor. There are other factors. Yes. So the perhaps the most or the best preventive measure is to have a regular eye exam. Eye exam. Because the, most of the eye diseases are undetected if, if the, no eye exam is done. Yes. Especially the early stages of eye, certain or some eye diseases. Yes. So it really is important to magpa eye exam na tayo if we we feel like there's some um we, we are starting to feel something in our eyes. So could you walk us through naman doc some of the common eye conditions since we've been mentioning um yung mga factors nito. Ano yung mga common eye conditions that are especially prevalent among people with advanced age? Perhaps the most common eye condition in the senior citizen among senior citizens is cataracts 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 happen when the lens inside inside our eye opacifies so when i say opa so the lens in, we all have lenses inside our eyes mm -hmm. the lenses just like the lenses in our camera they're supposed to be clear and transparent yes in order for the cameras in our phone to be clear okay mm -hmm. so Whenever the lens becomes dirty, whenever they, they become different in color, so like yellow, brown, white, sometimes black, th that's what we call cataracts. So cataracts happen most often in people within the advanced age. But there are also other risk factors for cataracts, like, again, hypertension, diabetes, trauma, and a lot of other diseases, which is why people develop cataracts uh, uh, at different uh, times or uh, in their life. So, parang doc, hindi naman siya necessary na it happens sa old age, pero e everyone can have cataract. Yes, some people develop cataracts earlier than others. Even babies can have cataracts, mm. depending on the risk factors. All right. So, uh, so super important talaga na meron tayong eye, na, 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 na nagpapa-eye exam tayo for us to avoid these kinds of diseases. So, thank you so much, Dr. Yutanko, for answering some general questions about our eyes. For our next set of questions, Paul, we will be focusing more on the symptoms and process of diagnosis on the common eye condition. part of this global activity of spreading awareness against cancer. USC Hospital, together with the Tomasian community, is working together to educate our medical staff and patients to contribute in making this world a cancer-free place. Through this effort, may we promote healthy lifestyle, enhance awareness among Filipino people, and make a mark in reducing the global impact of cancer. We salute the men and women who continuously fight to survive and win this battle against cancer. Together, let's close the gap in the treatment of cancer care. The will to live is a natural desire for all human persons, especially those who are battling diseases just like cancer. The whole of the Martian community especially the University of Santa Tomas Hospital, through its Benavides Cancer Institute, commits itself in its fight against cancer. Together, as Tomasians, let us support those people who have dedicated their lives in terms of their research and study about cancer. Let us hope and pray for cancer patients that they may have renewed faith and hope that their health may be restored and that happiness may reign in their families. 
God bless us all. You guys are still here with us in Lifeline. So after diving into the generalities of the human eye, let us now see what are the symptoms, signs, and process to diagnose on the common eye conditions regularly experienced by most of us. So Doc, can you elaborate on why refractive errors or difficulties on eye focusing regularly occur? As I said earlier, our eyes are very complex. Mm -hmm. So all the parts of the eye needs to be in perfect condition in order to produce a crisp image. The lens and the cornea, the front part of the eye, are major parts that are needed to function properly in order to produce a crisp image. So if there is a problem in the cornea and the lens, yeah. there will be a problem in when it comes to producing a crisp image. And not only the lens and the cornea, the other parts of the eye contribute as well. Mm -hmm. And this is why whenever we examine the eye, we, do, we look at all the parts from front to back because anything that obscures the, the image yes. from getting into our brain would result to blurred vision. Mm. So... Now, Doc, how do the four primary categories of refractive errors, astigmatism, presbyopia, hyper, hyper, hyperopia, and hypermetropia, and myopia differ from one another? Okay, so we'll start. So myopia, hyperopia, and presbyopia are, are all errors of refraction. Mm. Like this largely involves the shape of our eye. So basically, if the, our eyeballs are long compared to normal, this, is my, we, this results to myopia or being nearsighted. If our eyeballs are, short, are shorter compared to normal, this results to hyperopia or far, being farsighted. And presbyopia happens in people over 40 years old, hmm. wherein their eyes are clear, they are 20-20 at far, but when, it, when they are reading, they require reading glasses. Mm. And this happens because as we age, especially among 40, people 40 years old and above, the, the, the muscles of their eye start to have difficulty in focusing. So people age 40 years old and above start to be reliable on reading glasses. glasses. Yes. Yes. All right. So uh, thank you so much for, for differentiating those, Doc. I mean, personally, this is my first time hearing those kinds of terms in terms of our eyes. So it's really important that we were able to listen what Doc has mentioned about the differentiation of these things. So, although considered as prevalent, gr grievances having dry, sore, blurry, and tired eyes are conditions that typically go away on their own. But how do we know when we need to consult a medical professional? Since very no, parang nagiging conception po sa atin yun na parang, ah, mawawala naman yan kapag, so hahayaan ko na lang. So, how do we know? The symptoms that you mentioned earlier, tired, dry eyes, those are Symptoms of eye strain, wherein the muscles of our eyes get tired because of prolonged focus on a single object. These usually go away on their own whenever, whenever we rest our eyes. Appropriate um, consult with an eye doctor is needed whenever they don't go away on their own because there is a chance that there is another problem. So, as you mentioned earlier, the, yes, they go away on their own. But if they don't, then consult is advised. Yes. So, and guys, so um, it's really advisable if hindi siya nawala ng kusa na magpa-eye consult tayo sa mga doctors natin. So, now doc, can you walk us through the process of how to diagnose an eye condition? What screenings or testings should a patient undergo when undergoing eye consultation? Okay, so a complete eye exam must be done in order to 
in order not to miss out any eye condition. And we usually start with the visual acuity. When I say visual acuity, this is the test being done in driving tests in order to see if you're 2020 or not. Mm -hmm. it, um, in visual acuity, this is when the examiner lets you read letters yes. from biggest to smallest. That's the visual acuity and that's where we start. After visual acuity, we proceed with the, what we call the slit tamp examination, wherein we use the microscope to examine the eye. Since the eye is small, we, rec we need we, a microscope in order to look at the eye. So just gross examination is not enough. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yung usual na whenever a, uh, someone would say na, ah, I have an eye problem. Tapos yes, gaganin nila yung eye nila. Mm -hmm. So pre we, gross exam is not enough. So the microscope is needed in order to look at the especially the internal structures of the eye. So after visual acuity, we look at the structures of the eye. We look for signs of infection, inflammation, abnormalities in the anatomy in the eye, up from the front, systematically up to the back, up to the optic nerve. The nerve is the structure of the eye that is located at the backmost part. Mm -hmm. inner back most part yes. the optic nerve is connected to the brain so any signs of inflammation in the optic nerve or abnormality we usually this is usually connected to the brain so depending on our findings we refer to a neurologist yes we refer to a cardiologist we refer to others special um, specialties depending on our findings also we check the intraocular pressure because our, our eyes also has pressure inside so if there is increased pressure in the eye mm -hmm. appropriate medication should be given we add additional tests we also check for the visual fields meaning the how far can we see yes. if there is tunnel vision or not? That's the visual field. Mm -hmm. Because there are also conditions that are related to visual fields. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. From visual acuity to the internal structures of the eye. Yes. From front to back to the eye pressure. Up to the optic nerve examination. Visual fields. Um, we all, sometimes we also dilate the eye. In order to look at the retina, yes, po. so basically we, we need to see all parts of the eye as much as we can in order to not miss anything out. Yes, so we definitely could see how complex our eyes are, kaya napaka important yung mga processes na ina undergo natin in terms of our eye condition. So now, Doc, we've been talking about the processes in terms of consultation. So what would happen if an eye condition was left untreated? Well, the worst is a person goes blind because there are a lot of diseases that if left untreated would could result to blindness. blindness. Yes, Blindness could be either permanent, mm -hmm. meaning irreversible, or it could be reversible. So there are conditions that are reversible. There are conditions that are irreversible. And other, aside from blindness, it other adverse effects if an eye condition is left untreated could um, examples include infection, inflammation. Mm -hmm and others so uh the dog made your curious question may there's is there such a thing as eye cancer puba yes some parts of the eye result also have specific cancers mm. from the the conjunct conjunctiva which is the part of the eye that turns red whenever we have sore eyes yes, so that specific part can have cancer um the retina can have cancer as well the brown part yes. of our, the colored part of our eyes can have cancer as well. And also, not just the, the eyeball particularly, um, there could also be two more surrounding the eyeball. Yes. 
Alright. So, uh, are, so now that you've mentioned nga po itong mga diseases natin, are there any alternative home remedies such as utilizing different food or herbs to help an individual's eyesight? Just like other systemic conditions, healthy food, the generally healthy food that you know, vegetables, avoid excess food that are rich in fat, etc. So generally, just, just vegetables uh, to keep our eyesight healthy. Carrots, Carrots. vitamin A. Yes, po. Those, uh, those are some examples of uh, healthy food. Yes. Alright, so guys, if you want to take care of your eyes, eat healthy, have a great lifestyle, of course, eat vegetables, yun yung paalala sa atin eh, Doc. So thank you so much, Doc. Everything that had been said by Doc. Yes, but Doc. Yes, I forgot to mention in order, a healthy lifestyle, as you mentioned, is also important. Especially if people have certain conditions like, mm -hmm. again, like hypertension, diabetes. So it's important to control the blood sugar and the blood pressure. Those, the it's important to control the systemic conditions as well because those systemic conditions can affect the eyes. Yes. All right. So thank you so much again that, um, for that, Doc. You know, again, we'd like to remind everyone, to all our viewers out there, to eat healthy and have a healthy lifestyle. So everything that had been said by Doc Aitas Yutanko truly opened our eyes to clearly see the importance of the windows of our souls. I spy with my little eye, treasures and wonders of the world. That is why it is always a must to take care of it. Despite having technologies enough to combat it, prevention is still always better than cure. With that being said, this has been Jed Liano for Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. Santayo kakain. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so exhilarating. Ah! And congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Brutal. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USD Tiger Radio
It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authority. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! Katatapos ko lang magmisa. O wag nyo kakalimutan, Ash Wednesday na ngayon. Simula ng Lent. So fasting and abstinence, ha? Ialay lahat sa pagmamahal sa Diyos at kapwa. See you soon. Bye! Ash Wednesday. Simula ng Lent. Simula para sa ating mga Katoliko ng fasting, abstinence, penance, and sacrifice. Marami kayong katanungan na uukol sa Ash Wednesday. At syempre, pati na rin sa Lent. So tingnan natin, ano ba ang pananampalatayang Katoliko na tunay na nakadikit sa ating practice ng Ash Wednesday at ng Lent. FAQs Father Answers Questions Bakit Ash Wednesday Father? Bakit hindi Ash Monday or Ash Tuesday? Anong kahalaga ng araw ng Miyerkules? Magandang katanungan yan. Ang simula lagi niyan ay ang bilang ay mula sa araw ng muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon or Easter Sunday. From Easter Sunday, magbilang ka patalikod at makakaabot ka for 40 days tungkol sa simula ng lahat. Teka, bakit 40 days? Bakit hindi 30 days? Bakit hindi 20 days? 40 days dahil length means lengthened from an old English word that means prolonged. 
preparation. At sa Biblia, mahalaga ang 40 days o may kahulugan ng 40 days. Una, 40 days ang preparation na ginawa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo bago niya sinimulan ang kanyang ministry. Meron ding 40 years na pag-ikot ng mga Israelita sa parang, sa desert, bago sila nakapasok ng lupang pangako. So para sa ating mga Kristiyano at mga Katoliko, Easter is that entry into the promised land. So we count 40 days from Easter. So Holy Saturday, and then Good Friday, pabalik. Hindi kasama ang Sundays of Lent. So makikita natin, starting from Ash Wednesday, 40 days. So, bakit hindi Tuesday? Bakit hindi Thursday? Hindi Monday? 40 days ang bilang. Kasalanan po ba kung hindi ako malagyan ng abo sa noo kapag Ash Wednesday? Required po ba talaga ang duminya kasing tignan? Nakakasira po ng Get Up Father. Kasalanan ba kung hindi ka malagyan ng abo? Hindi, hindi siya kasalanan. It is a symbol. When we put the ashes on our foreheads or on our heads, na tayo ay nagsisimulang mag-ayuno. We are starting as Catholics the period of Lent. Hindi siya kasalanan kung may dahilan na hindi ka makapunta sa simbahan para malagyan ng abo. Required ba talaga? Hindi rin. Pero it is advice for all of us as a sign for ourselves and for the Christian community. Remember, lagi tayong membro ng Christian community. We are signs to one another. So we have those ashes, hindi para magpakita, makita ng walang dahilan, kundi to remind one another as we belong to the one church, to the one community, that we are starting the period of Lent. Pero yung Pangalawang question, ang duminyang kasing tignan, yung comment na yan, nakakasira po ng get up ay maling intention. Hindi yan ang intention yan. Part and parcel ng ating buhay kristyano ay sacrifice. Take up your cross and follow me. So sa mga pagkakataong kailangan nating magsakripisyo ng ating get up sandali lang naman yan eh bakit tayo mahihiya may nagbanggit po sa akin na taga ibang sekta wala naman daw po sa Biblia yang paglalagay ng abo sa noo ultimong nung panahon ni Jesus ay dito ginagawa di naman daw tayo maliligtas kapag naglagay ka ng abo sa noo Totoo po bang, Father, ang biblical practice at useless tradition ang ginagawa natin ito? Nema! May masabi lang. Wala sa Bible? May Google. I-Google yan. Search mo lang yan. The use of ashes in the Bible. Isang hilera yan. Ang dami. Halimbawa, sa storya ni Esther, nung nalaman ni Mordecai na papatayin, ang mga Hudyo, lahat sila sa kaharian. Ang ginawa ni Mordecai ay nagpalit siya ng damit, put on sackcloth, and put on ashes. Tanda ng pagdadalamhati at doing penance. Si David din, si Haring David, nung sinabihan siya na siya ang kanyang anak ay mamamatay dahil sa kanyang kasalanan, he put on sackcloth and ashes as a sign of penance. At ang Panginoong Heso Kristo mismo sinabi niya, kung maalala niyo, nang kinriticize niya ang Bethsaida at Chorazin, kung saan siya ay gumawa ng mga milagro. Sabi niya, Woe to you, Bethsaida. Woe to you, Chorazin. If the great things that have been done to you were done in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, they would have already repented in ashes and sackcloth. Ibig sabihin, Klaro sa mga Hudyo ang use ng abo. Ngayon, hindi naman about maliligtas tayo kung maglalagay ka ng abo eh. Again, mema lang yan. Sino ba nagsabi, 
na ang, na ang mga katoliko, hindi lang sinasabing maliligtas ka pag naglagay ka ng abo. Hindi natin sinasabi yun. Kung sino man nagsabi dyan, imbento lang para lang manira. Pero that's wrong. This ashes is a sign of penance and repentance for us, for our Christian community. Sign lang siya. Hindi siya magliligtas. Bakit po yung abo na nilalagay sa noo ng kaibigan ko maliit lang habang yung sa akin ay malaki? Depende po ba yan sa laki ng kasalanan yung nilalagay na abo ni Father? <laughs> Nakakatawa ng question niya, maliit o malaki? Walang kinalaman yan. Nga kasi sabi ko nga eh, yan ay sign lamang. Ngayon, minsan si Father gustong mag-joke. So yung lalagyan niya sa noo, maliit o malaki. Kung gusto mo, bulungan mo si Father bago ka magmisa. Father, gusto ko po malaking malaki yung krus na ilalagay sa akin. Mula noo hanggang bibig. O, oh, matutuwa ka pa, di ba? Ang malaking malaki kasi ayaw mo ng maliit eh. Pero pwede rin namang maliit. Maliit. So depende ba sa laki ng kasalanan yan? Hindi. Kasi ang sinasabi sa atin, pag tayo nilalagyan ng abo, dalawang options. Man, remember that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. Pinapaalala sa atin, upang tayo lagi magpakumbaba sa harapan ng Diyos, na tayo nagmula sa wala, at tayo babalik sa wala, kung wala tayo sa Panginoon. Or, repent from your sins, and believe in the gospel. Because the gospel of Jesus Christ is life. Kaya, pag nilagyan tayo ng abo, kung ano man ang sasabihin ng pari, isa loob natin. Nagmula tayo sa wala, babalik tayo sa wala, kaya dapat tayo lagi magpakumbaba sa harap ng Diyos. At tayo'y manalig sa magandang balita ng Panginoong Heso Kristo para magkabuhay na walang hanggan. Totoo po bang hindi dapat akong maghilamos ng mukha kapag nalagyan na ng abo ang noo ko? Sino nagsabi niya? Mga matatanda? Pakilala mo sa akin yung matandang yan at nang masabihan. FAQs Father Answers Questions Ang gaganda ng mga tanong ninyo, natutuwa ako kasi ibig sabihin talagang interesado kayong malaman ano ang tamang paniniwalang katoliko tungkol sa Ash Wednesday at sa Kwaresma? Ito pa isang katanungan. Totoo po bang hindi dapat akong maghilamos ng mukha kapag nalagyan na ng abo ang noo ko? Mababawasan daw kasi ang biyaya kapag nagtanggal nito. Hindi totoo yan! Maghilamos ka! Maghilamos ka! Hindi mawawala ang biyaya. Tanda lang yan. Yang abo na yan, pag uwi mo ng bahay, maligo ka. Tapos. Kasi kailangan internalize. Internalize ang meaning ng Lent. At lalong-lalo na ng Ash Wednesday. Hindi lang siya panlabas, kundi panloob. Kahit tanggalin mo yung abo na yan, sa loob mo, ikaw pa rin ay nag-aayuno, doing penance, at nagsasakripisyo dahil mahal mo ang Diyos at ang iyong kapwa. And speaking of Abba Father, bakit po kailangan galing sa sinunog na palaspas? Di ba pwedeng simpleng uling na lang ang gamitin? Katamad-tamad mo naman. Bakit gusto mong simpleng uling lang? May meaning kasi yun, syempre. Palaspas. Blessed palms. So connection ng practices ng mga banal sa mga bagay-bagay na banal. Using holy things for holy purposes. So, bakit hindi pwedeng basa uling lamang? Walang meaning yung uling lamang basa-basa eh. Kasi, meron siyang prayer in the use and blessing of ashes. So, yun ang mahalaga. Holy things for the holy people of God. 
Bawal daw kumain ng karne kapag Ash Wednesday dahil abstinence. Kaya yung inihain po naman sa bahay ay mga mamamahaling seafoods. Di naman karne yon Father, di ba? So okay lang. Valid reasoning po ba yun, Father? Mali. Dahil ang purpose ng abstinence is sacrifice. We deny ourselves with the pleasures that usually we experience in life in order to, one, be in solidarity with the poor na nakakaramdam ng gutom at ng kakulangan sa buhay. At pangalawa, yung sakripisyong yan ay ginagawa natin dahil mahal natin ang Diyos. E eh, kakain ka ng mamahaling seafood, mas mahal pa sa baboy, sa manok at sa baka. Ano yan? Joke? That's putting an insult. Maghahanda ka ng mamahaling isda for Ash Wednesday? Does not make sense, di ba? Kailangan po ba talagang mag-fast and abstain kapag Ash Wednesday, Father? Hindi po ba pwedeng ibang corporal acts of mercy na lang? Bigyan kita ng analogy. Sabihin mo sa asawa mo, hindi kita iti-treat this Valentine's, ha? Pwede bang mo na lang? Yung bang chipipay lang? Hindi. When we abstain on Ash Wednesday or when we fast, the motivation is always love of God. Because without love of God, lahat ng ginagawa natin, walang saysay. Pag nagmamahal ka ng tao, lahat ng sakripisyo ginagawa mo. Nagbibilang ka ba? Gagawa ka ba ng substitute sa para sa mahal mo sa buhay? Hindi eh. Kasi you want to give the best for them. In the same token, ano ba yung maiaalay ko sa Diyos sa araw ng pangingilin? What can I sacrifice for love of God? At binibigyan tayo ng simbahan ng guidelines kung ano pwede natin gawin. Abstain from meat and fast. But when we fast, hindi ibig sabihin na nagda-diet tayo. Kasi yung diet, iba ang dahilan yan eh. When we fast, we abstain from eating in order to pray more. Yun na nakakalimutan natin. Praying more. Alam nyo, pag busog na busog ka, aantukin ka pag nagdasal ka, di ba? Kaya pag medyo empty ang stomach mo, mas nakaka-focus ka. Pag kumain ka, lalo na dito sa Pilipinas, mainit, kumain ka at nabusog ka, mamaya tulog ka na. But when you are fasting and you're abstaining from meat, you are actually lighter in many ways. And even your disposition would be lighter. So, ngayong kwaresma, Lent, huwag tayong minimalist lang na kung saan tayo magpa-fasting and abstinence lang pag Ash Wednesday. Yun ang obligation natin bilang katoliko. Pero hindi ibig sabihin, ibang araw hindi tayo pwede mag-abstinence or fasting. We can. And Lent is the best time to pray more, to do sacrifice more, to fast and abstain for love of God. Happy Lent sa inyong lahat. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. And congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! 
the front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio. It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. 
start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! Liwanag at buhay. Yan ang kahulugan ng Holy Week para sa ating mga katoliko. Si Kristo ang ating liwanag at ang ating buhay. Kaya maganda na sagutin natin itong mga katanungang ito na natutuon sa mga practices natin tuwing Holy Week. FAQs on your answers questions. Bakit daw tinatawag na good ang Good Friday? Hindi po ba dapat bad Friday, dahil namatay ang ating Panginoon. Gusto kong sagutin yan, we see it as bad Friday sa mata ng tao. Pero sa mata ng Diyos, it is good. Bakit good? Kasi naganap na sa kamatayan ng kanyang buktong na anak na si Yesu Cristo, ang buhay na walang hanggan na ibinibigay niya sa pamamagitan ng kamatayan ng kanyang anak. Kaya good. Ang good, maraming meaning sa Tagalog eh. Ang kop, tama. Kaya pag sinabi natin Good Friday, ibig sabihin yan, naganap na ang kaligtasan ng tao. Salamat sa Diyos. Totoo po ba na kapag Bierne Santo ay humihina ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos habang lumalakas naman ang mga kampon ng kadiliman. Kalokohang yan. Kaya nga, Diyos na mga kapangyarihan sa lahat eh. Hindi humihina ang kapangyarihan yan. Imbento lang ng mga tao na kunyari humihina. Meron ba namang Diyos humihina ang kapangyarihan? Ano yan? Ever ready? Charger? Huwag kayo maniniwala dyan. Bawal po ba talagang maligo tuwing Biyernes Santo? Lalong lano na kapag sasapit ng alas tres ng hapon. Patay na daw kasi ang Diyos, sabi ng mga matatanda. Sino matatanda yan? Sabi mo nga sa akin, sino matatanda yan? Hindi ka maliligo? Hindi mag-aamoy lupa ka? Pwede kang maligo. Walang kinalaman yan sa Biyernes Santo. Sinasabi lang nila yan bilang siguro sa 
kanilang paggunita, eh, huwag ka munang maligo kasi ang pagligo sa atin, ang meaning niyan ay para kang nagsasaya. Masarap na mga namang maligo, lalo na pag mainit. Tapos kumakanta ka pa habang naliligo, ay sasabihin ng mga matanda, huwag kang kumanta kasi patay si Kristo. As a sign of respect, siguro pwede, pero walang kinalaman niya sa ating pananampalataya. Mga kapatid, Walang kinalaman sa Biyernes Santo ang hindi pagligo. Kung gusto nyo maligo, maligo kayo para presko, para nakangiti kayo habang nagdadasal. May kaibigan po akong taga-ibang sekta na tinatanong ako bakit daw po ang Diyos nating mga Katoliko ay taon-taon na lang namamatay at nabubuhay. Yan ang katanungan ng mga lasenggo. Bakit? Namimiloso po. Pag birthday mo ba, lagi kang pinanganak? Pag nagse-celebrate ka ng monthsary, weeksary, anniversary, ibig sabihin ba, lagi kang ikinakasal? Pinapanganak? Hindi. Tayo mga tao, mahalaga sa atin ang paggunita. Mahalaga ang memory sa atin. Pag wala ka ng alaala, napakalungkot kaya niyan. Kaya nga, sa isang taon, ginugunita natin ang ating kapanganakan, anniversary ng ating magulang, pati na ang anniversary ng kamatayan ng ating mahal sa buhay because it allows us to remember. Hindi ibig sabihin, pag ginugunita natin ang kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon, eh taon-taon na mamatay o tabubuhay. Yan nga ang sabi ko. Iyaan ang katanungan ng mga tambay sa kanya. May mga kamag-anak at kakilala po akong nagiging panata na ang magpapako sa krus at latiguhin ng sarili tuwing mahal na araw. Pakiramdaw daw po kasi nila na doon nila nararamdaman ang pagpapatawad ng Diyos sa kanila. Ito po ba ay kinikilalang tradisyon ng ating simbahan? Kinikilala? Hindi. Magpapako sa krus? Hindi. Latiguhin ng sarili para makita ng mga tao? Hindi. Para sa atin, ang pagpapakasakit ng ating Panginoon sa krus, ang kanyang kamatayan, ginawa niya para sa lahat. Once and for all. Kaya hindi natin matutumbasan yung kanyang ginawa. Kung tayo nagpepenitensya, mabuti ba yan o masama? Mabuti. Pero sabi nga ng Panginoon, pag gumagawa tayo ng mga ganyan, hindi para ipakita, hindi parang lumabas na parang palabas. Kasi pagpalabas yan, gusto natin purihin tayo ng mga tao. Pero kung tayo magpipinitensya, we do it in secret. Where our Heavenly Father sees all things in secret. Hindi palabas, hindi drama. Wala po bang bawas ligtas point sa langit kung sa mga beach resorts ako gunitain ang mahal na araw? Bawas ligtas points. Ngayon lang ako nakalinig ng ganun na. FAQs on your answers questions Bakit kadalasan po ay munggong ulam naming tuwing biyernes? Lalo na kapag mahal na araw, ano po ba ang meron sa munggo na at biyernes? Buti pa kayo, munggo. Kami, beans. Pero siguro, pwede natin bigyan ng kahulugan ang munggo. Dito sa Pilipinas kasi, komo ng munggo eh. Sabi ng Panginoon sa Ebanghelyo, unless the grain of wheat dies, it does not bear fruit. But if it dies, it grows and becomes a plant and bears fruit. Siguro yung simbolism ng munggo ganyan, it's a seed. And we eat it during Good Friday because Christ died in order to give us life. Like a seed that dies on the ground and then bears fruit as it grows. Yan siguro ang simbolism na yan. Pero kung hindi ka kakain ng munggo, okay lang. Gusto mo galunggong? Sige, go ahead. Gusto mo brown rice? Sige. Walang kinalaman yan. Hindi ka parurusahan ng Diyos kung hindi ka kumain ng munggo. Naging tradisyon lang yan sa ibang lungkwa at siguro sa Pilipinas. Pero sa amin nga, sabi ko, hindi munggo kinakain namin. Delatang beans. Sana pork and beans, no? 
wala yung pork beans lang. Aprobado po ba ng simbahan ng mga senakulo at yung mga tinatawag na reenacted stage plays na ginagawa tuwing sasapit ang mahal na araw? Siyempre naman. Yung mga stage plays na yan, basta accurate ang portrayal, makes us aware. Retelling of a story. Tayo, mahilig tayo sa ganyan. Ikwento mo nga ulit. Hindi lang yung bibig na kwento, kundi nakikita. Kaya mga sinakulo, yung mga reenactments na yan, maganda yan. Because it puts us in a situation na hindi lang natin naririnig, nakikita pa natin ang kwento ng ating kaligtasan. Nung bata pa po ako, madalas ako pagalitan ng lola ko dahil naglalaro at ang lakas daw ng boses ko gayong Bienes Santo. Bawal po talaga tayo maging masaya at tumawa tuwing Good Friday. Mahirap na sagot yan kasi siyempre ang bata, laro ng laro sa kalye. At yan pa yung panahon na mainit na mainit at bakasyon. So maglalaro ka sa labas, lalo na nag-uuwi ng mga tao sa probinsya. Pero siguro mahalaga natin tingnan kung anong kahulugan talaga ng Good Friday para sa atin. Bakit holy ang Good Friday at part ng observation natin in the commemoration of the death of our Lord is tatanggalin natin lahat ng signs na parang ordinaryong araw lang siya. Kasi nga, ang focus natin ay yung pagpapakahirap ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. And by pausing for the day of the usual things that we do, nire-recognize natin na itong araw na ito ng Biyernes is a special Friday because we remember our Savior suffering for the love of you. Bawal bang ngumiti? Hindi naman. Bawal bang tumawa? Hindi naman. Pero wag sobra-sobra at yung parang isa kang baliw na tawa ng tawa. Hindi naman ganyan. Wala po bang bawas ligtas point sa langit kung sa mga beach resorts ako gunitain ang mahal na araw? Yun lang po kasi, Father, yung mga araw na wala akong pasok sa eskwela at opisina. Bawas ligtas points. Ngayon lang ako nakalinig ng ganun na. Pero nasasabihin ko, pag meron bang pumanaw sa inyong pamilya, pupunta ka sa beach? Siyempre hindi, di ba? We respect and love and do things or make sacrifice for people that we love. Kung yan ay totoo na ginagawa natin para sa mga mahal natin sa buhay, bakit hindi natin pwedeng gawin yan para rin sa ating Panginoon na nagmamahal sa atin? So, observing Holy Day, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, tahimik tayo sandali to pray, to recall what the Lord has done to us, ginagawa natin yan dahil mahal natin ang Diyos. Kaya pag nagpupunta tayo sa beach resorts at doon sa beach tayo magtatawanan, magkakantahan, magiinuman, magsasayawan, and you are a Catholic and you know what day that is, para yatang may off. Ano parang may off? Parang nga sabi ko nga sa inyo, hindi kayo sumasayaw dahil may namatay sa pamilya niyo. Hindi ka rin naman nagluluksa. Pero you're just remembering as the day your Lord and Savior offered Himself to us that we may have life. Sign yan ng pasasalaman. Kung hindi nagtaksil si Judas Father, walang magaganap na pag-aresto kay Jesus. At kung hindi po na-aresto si Jesus, wala pong magaganap na hatol ng kamatayan. Masasabi po ba natin na ginamit ng Diyos Ama na kasangkapan si Judas upang para ni Jesus ang kanyang pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay? Hmm. Nakarinig na kayo minsan may nag-comment, bakit kaya ginawa ng Diyos si Eva? E di kung hindi niya nilagay si Eva sa kasama ni Adan, hindi sana nagkasala si Adan. Yan din ang katanungan ng mga taong lasenggo, sinisipa Diyos. Hindi. Ang tamang pananaw ay ganito. Si Judas, inisip niyang ipagkanulo ang kanyang Panginoon. He chose and decided to betray his Lord and Master. So yung action niya yun ay action niya. 
na ginamit iyon ng Panginoon upang maisakatuparan ang kaligtasan ng tao ay circumstantial. Ibig sabihin, ipinagkano lang siya ni Judas pero walang kinalaman yun sa Diyos na pinilit si Judas na gawin. It was Judas's decision to betray his Lord. Pero syempre, ang misteryo ng Diyos He is able to use everything for His divine plan. Sabi nga ni San Pablo, All things turn out good to those who love God and are called according to His purpose and decree. Magandang lesson yan para sa ating lahat na kahit yung hindi magagandang nangyayari sa buhay natin ay sa pananaw ng pananampalataya sa katalinuhan ng Diyos, maari nating makitang may maidudulot na kabutihan. By hindsight, gano'n naman lagi, di ba? Yung na-experience natin ngayon na sasabihin natin hindi maganda. Pero eventually, in the future, pag binalikan natin, kung hindi nangyari yun pala, hindi ako matututo. Ano? So, many times in our life, our lessons, we get them from the hard lessons in life. Natututo tayo sa mga pangyayaring hindi maganda. Dito, sa katanungang ito, It was Judas who decided to betray the Lord. But yes, the Father used that in order to save the human race. That even if we betray God, God is still able to do something good for others who hope and trust in Him. Ganda ng mga katanungan ninyo. Katanungan kailangang namnamin ng namnamin. Mga katanungan minsan nakakatawa, nakakainis, pero kailangan natin sagutin kasi may matututunan tayo. Salamat po sa inyong katanungan. At nawa, ang mahal na araw na ito, magdala sa atin ng tunay na liwanag at buhay. Dahil si Kristo ang ating liwanag at ang ating buhay. Hey, Sebastian's back to school na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. Congratulations! Host for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Grutan. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
the nations back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! Congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say. The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed up for souls, and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, immeasurable divine mercy, covered the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which flowed up from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Jesus, King of Mercy, we trust in you. Amen. Back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's ecstatic. so exhilarating. Ah! Ariel, congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your. You died, Jesus. But the source of life flowed up for souls. And an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, Immeasurable divine mercy covered the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which flowed up from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Jesus, King of Mercy, we trust in you. Amen. Hey, the nations, back to school na naman! 
Texas Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. Congratulations! Oh, Post for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go. The front runners. First in line, legacy through time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USD Tiger Radio It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar. USD. 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 Tiger Radio. You're extraordinary extrovert. And this is Tiger Chocolates, your wondering darling, from the only station where you hear the roar. USC Tiger Radio. Hello, Elise. Kamusta ka naman ngayong araw na ito? 
Grabe, parang pagod na pagod ako. Ramdam ko na feeling ko ngayon. Kakarating pa lang natin dito. Feeling ko ngayon nag-compile lahat ng naipong pagod ko the whole week. Totoong totoo. I think yun rin yung nagiging sentiments ko lagi tuwing every Friday. Kasi tayo rin yung last show for the entire week eh. Welcome to the weekend guys. Literal eh. Kami yung weekend nyo eh. Kasi like if you're going to start off your, if you're going to start off your Tiger Radio week with Hello Anyong, kami naman, take care Tiger. Kasi take care naman dito sa ating susunod na weekend na paparating. We're here to take care of your mental health, guys. Especially now, natapos na tayo sa isa na namang panibagong school week. Pero, welcome to the month of March. Totoong, totoo nga pala! Yes, it's March! Hindi ko napansin. Para nalimutan ko, akala ko March 2 na eh. I forgot that yesterday was a leap year, actually. Yes, it's a leap year. And speaking of that, hello din sa ating mga lip year babies. Shout na, out, shout out yes. sa mga iba dyan. May nakita ko eh, na is, uh, fifth birthday niya raw kahapon. <laughs> na parang, wow, congratulations po. I'm actually po. curious about that, kung paano nila sinaselebrate yung mga birthdays. Ayun nga eh, parang nagsaselebrate yeah. ba kayo ng February 28 or ng March 1? Or hindi na talaga? Oo. Oh, oh. Siguro grateful yung magulang sa mga lip year na baby kasi hindi na sila nagsaselebrate. <laughs> Di ba? Tipid na lang sila. <laughs> sa ating mga lip year babies na viewers natin ngayon sa TikTok Live na, Natin. Do comment kung paano nyo sinaselebrate ang inyong mga birthday. Totoo, totoo. Happy birthday rin ulit. Yes. At see you in the next four years na siguro. Yes! <laughs> diba? Pero ayun nga, hindi lang rin kasi ngayon, na, uh, dahil nga kasi na March na, yes. nag-uumpisa na rin ng tag-init dito. Yes, Woo! ramdam na ramdam sa four corners of the Royal and Pontifical University wow, of full. <laughs> full, full youthful title. <laughs> Tapos, yes. ang tawag dito, yung masasabi ko lang talaga dyan, na parang nasanay ako, nung, na parang siguro nakasanayin ko ng January tsaka February mm-hmm. natin. Sobrang lamig, na sobrang January. hangin. January pa- literally. Parang tagal-tagal ng January Totoo. this year, no? Parang, I think parang, lagi naman ganun eh. Parang kada bangon ko, January pa rin? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pero parang kahit na February feeling ko, wala, January pa rin, oh, oh, di ba? Oo, isang nakakalito pa rin, lalo na pag you need to take down kung anong month na parang nasusulit ko pa rin January. Ayaw nga pala, ano na, it's a different month na. Totoo. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad that January is done. <laughs> Kasi, I think mas nasabi ko, mas masayang February ko eh. <laughs> oh, okay. True. <laughs> Good for you, Tiger Jock Crab. Masaya ang February 14 natin. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of done, our episode last week, was also done na syempre it was last week and <laughs> we talked about oh. um, resilience tama and we talked about resiliency and how you can get over your problems and how we can bounce back from the things yes. that we've experienced the trauma the challenges mm-hmm. lahat ng hurdles na binapoto sa atin ng buhay diba yes. and I think it's important to parang reiterate na lang rin kasi mm-hmm. well, sobrang importante na lang rin ng resiliency pagdating sa ating bilang mga Pilipino mm-hmm. na napakarami nating problema ngayon talaga <laughs> yes. na within the country within the problems within this natural disasters lalo parang din talaga lumalabas yung resiliency yes and speaking of resiliency as students then and your personal lives hindi ba meron din tayo mga moments na need natin mag bounce back from the challenges that we are facing yeah but I think I want to talk about let's go to the topic that we're actually going to talk about yes. today since ayun nga we talked uh, yung kanina pinapag-usapan din na Tiger Jack Sandy pati na rin na Tiger Jack Finn mm-hmm. tungkol sa culture dito sa UST or pati yes. na siguro sa culture na rin within the sports scene mm-hmm. and yung Parang similar lang yun, parang similar rin kasi yung topic natin ngayon eh. Because our topic right now is about diversity. Ooh, Ooh. about embracing differences. Yeah, okay. ayun nga eh. Since, I think yung pagdating rin doon, like siguro i-relate ko na lang rin doon sa topic ng off the court kanina, mm-hmm. na dito sa UST, melting pot kasi ito ng mga iba't ibang mga cultures. People here are from mga iba, mga taga-probinsya, iba within ah, yes. mga iba't ibang mga lugar sa Metro Manila. Meron pa tayong mga foreign students, hindi ba? Oh, from different colleges. Mga exchange students pa. Mm-hmm. I think uh, dumadaan ako dun sa Benavides building doon. Tapos nakikita may mga Korean and mga Japanese students rin. And parang, yes. oh, okay. Ay, grabe na parang dito napaka dun, diverse talaga eh. And dito din sa BG Pop parent time mga foreign students actually. Ooh. From our college. Ah, sa CTHM. Yes, we have um mga Korean students din as well. Hello. Mm, okay, shout out sa mga fellow exchange students natin dito sa ating university. Yes. But I want to ask you na rin siguro na mm. Para ma-introduce lang rin natin yung topic na to, is what are your ways of contributing to create a more inclusive environment dito sa UST? Oo, siguro. Oo. Sige. Go lang. Siguro ito na lang din si pag-welcome sa kanila with open arms the way you'd um, greet somebody that or you'd treat somebody you're familiar with. Yeah. Yung people, you treat them like family, treat them like friends because 
they're still human beings. What makes them different from that? Totoong diba? totoo. And speaking of family, speaking of friends, I want to give a huge shout out para sa ating mga TMN oh, volunteers hello. at sa ating TMN advisor na si Ma'am Faye na nasa New York City right oh, now. Grabe. The cold city of New York. Totoo, literally. Kaya ayun, shout out po Ma'am Faye. At po. good luck kasi ngayon ata ang IBS Broadcasting Awards. Oh. So, sana naman makuha niyo yung mga trophies. Let's get the bag, TMN. Let's go, Tiger TV, yes. Tiger Radio. Congratulations in advance na agad. <laughs> so, we hope to see you guys soon. Balik dito sa Combu. Sa Combu, siguro next week na rin. Kaya, yes. good luck. Pasalubong, ma'am. <laughs> Best of luck to our TMN family. Totoo. Yes, And, ayun nga. I think yung pagdating rin lalo dun sa US, eh. Mas maraming mga iba't ibang mga cultures dun. Ibang mm-hmm. ibang mga nationalities. Ayun, napakaraming mga Pilipino rin sa US ngayon. And, it's important na rin na they would feel welcome na rin dito mm-hmm. sa dun sa bansa na yon. In the same way that we should do it in UST as well. Kaya maganda rin nga yung sinabi mo kanina on yung mga friends and families embrace their differences na rin eh. Yes. And um, in relation na rin sa ating TR off the court kanina, es- uh, especially when you're working in a team na alam mo yon very active like when you're playing sports, hindi ba very important na Uh, magkakasundo kayo pare-pareho So, embracing your differences Is really important Especially when you're working in a team Yeah <laughs> And I think that's super important right now Lalo na pagdating nga sa ating work as a student yes. But speaking of students I want to give this opportunity To promote our Famash and Artists of the Week Ooh. So, yeah, of course Siyempre mm-hmm. na nasa USC tayo <clears throat> Nasa USC tayo Napakarami natin mga talented in the Famash So, we're gonna move on to our first song break This is Bright Stars by G JO Music on the only station where you hear the roar, roar. USC yes. Tiger Radio. Hey, Samashans, back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for USC. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! Congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar, USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USC Tiger Radio
awful. And you're still tuned in to the only station where you hear the roar, UST Tiger Radio. Hello, hello, hello. Once again, this is Tiger Jock Trav. And this is Tiger Jock Elise. And time check, it's currently 3.20 in the afternoon. Good afternoon, Thomasha. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. So if this is how you're spending your Friday afternoon, well, sana naman na mag-enjoy kayo kasi marami pa na tayo mapapag-usapan dito. Once again, we are talking about inclusivity. So and that's our topic for today. And nasan nga tayo? We are in hashtag Take Care Tiger. Oh, hindi pa ba natin nababanggit? Oh. Yeah, once again, this is Take Care Tiger. So, Tigers, take care. And sa mga Tigers na gusto yes. dyan mag-alaga ng te- fellow Tiger, andito mga Tiger Jack na pwede niyong alagaan. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> Mag-usapan anyways. na natin yung topic natin. Tama na maging, ma- tama na maging maharot ni Tiger Jack, Trav. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go back to the topic. That Once again, we're talking about diversity. We're talking about inclusivity. Yes. And I think that's one of the issues that we need to bring up right now. Mm-hmm. That, di naman an issue but something that we should promote more here in UST yes. and in the whole world actually it's so something to be talked about more totoo. and let's go on to move on to our talk point right now so I want to ask you Elise mm-hmm. what is diversity to you what do you think is the meaning for it um, I think diversity talks about the differences among people and their experiences because syempre, um people without experiences is nothing in right? in our daily lives we experience something new experience something different so we're talking about the different people and their different experiences. How about Ooh, you different you people and different experiences. Diversity to me is hmm, medyo mahirap na tanong. I think it's it's a, it's a bit hard to put to pinpoint what it could really mean to me, but Siguro <laughs> 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 I want to go back to that example of USC being a melting pot since I want to Okay, para lang siguro ma-relate ko na yung definition ko. It's a boiling, it's a melting pot or a place where different uh, people, where different people with different backgrounds can belong together. Napeta sa lang magsama, where there's no judgment, there's no discrimination, yes. and there's no people being left out behind for who they are. And since sabi nga ni Elis kanina, iba iba tayong mga tao. We aren't all born the same. Yes. Na it's either whether it's our race, it's our skin color, or kung sino yung, re- yung religion man natin. I think what we need, I think with diversity, we need to become more welcome. We need to become more, we need to welcome more people into our lives. So, yeah. And um, I think I'll state na rin yung isang quotation from one of my favorite sh- Ooh, uh, TV shows. Ano yung TV show yan? If everybody else is the same, the world would be completely boring. Parang familiar yung quote na to. Diba? Sino yung quote? E. <laughs> hey, bought it! If I remember it correctly, I think it's ano... I'm not sure. Is it from Gossip Girls? Ooh, okay. Yeah, no. But basta it's an American TV show na uh, I've heard this um, quotation from. And it really uh, got stuck in my brain. Na parang, ah yeah, that's true naman. Parang, if we're all the same, kung our manner of dressing, our manner of speaking, and acting is completely the same with each other, anong aabangan? Ayun nga eh, totoong totoo yan. Kasi kung pare-parehas lang tayo dito, it's boring. It's gonna be boring. And I yes. think with meeting new people, with seeing all of the different cultures and mm-hmm. nationalities and all of the things that the world has to bring, mm-hmm. it gives you more thrill into exploring, into meeting yes. new people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, let's go straight into what this definition that we got here on our, on, <laughs> based on our research, research, research says. So, diversity yes. refers to the presence of a variety of different elements or qualities within a group, community, or society. So, it encompasses the recognition mm-hmm. and acceptance of the diverse range of characteristics, experiences, and perspectives that individuals bring to a given setting. So, mm-hmm. anong nakuha mo dun sa definition na yun, Elise? So, thank you for that wonderful oh. question. Wow! wow. This universe! <laughs> <laughs> but it's kagaya nga ng shinare natin kanina ng own perspective natin about diversity. It's about welcoming the differences or the varieties of Ooh, variety. people and the, and the society that we're living in. Totoo! Mm-hmm. And... Yun nga, kasi pagdating lang talaga sa mundo, why mm-hmm. would you... Napakaraming tao sa mundo na to, ba't natin sila huhusgahan ng kung sino lang sila, di ba? Well, in, kung parang you wouldn't want... <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. We need, <laughs> ayun. You don't you, like you. <laughs> excuse me, bro. <laughs> you wouldn't want people doing the same thing to you just because you're different. So why should yeah. you do that same to them? And with that, yeah, it's important, really, since it brings together individuals with mm-hmm. different lives, with different experiences, with different yes. perspectives, and it fosters a more creative and a more diverse environment. 
Kasi nga, life's too short to hate. <laughs> Ayun nga. Yeah. Life's too short to hate people. Life's too short para manghusga. Pare-parehas lang tayo ditong tao, mm-hmm. pero hindi tayo pare-parehas kung sino tayo as a person. And I guess you can feel bad about um, being different from somebody else. Na parang hmm. There will be, syempre, disagreements on your opinions with other people. But you should never hate because hate is such a big word. I, I hate is not just a big word. It's a, it's a big emotion. Yes. Hmm. Very true. And speaking of that, why are we even talking about diversity right now? Well... Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think one way, I think one of the reasons why, and sobrang recent lang rin niya. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if it was yesterday or I think it was two days ago when I was on li- I was live on Tiger Rush. We were yes. talking about uh, National NGO Day and Ooh. National Non-Governmental Organization Day. And yung isa sa talaga sa mga naging topic namin dun was diversity and inclusivity. Mm-mm. And we were able to guest um, the vice president of the na- of the Fashion Guild of Speducators na kung saan yung topic nga nila or yung advocacy nila is to promote the inclusivity of persons with disability here in oh, USD. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Meron pa lang ganun. Meron nga ganun eh. You're going to be surprised with the amount of organizations that really promote inclusivity here in the campus as well. But I think we might go over that in a bit later on. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Medyo may... Ako dito, nagbabago talaga yung panahon eh. Hindi ko na kaya ngayon eh. But yeah, maging inclusive naman kayo sa aming mga jack na paos. <laughs> so yeah. And like, I think we... Ayun nga, dahil nga kasi National NGO Day a few days ago. I think we should just bring it whenever we are. Kahit na wala namang special occasion para maging inclusive tayo. Para mag-promote tayo ng inclusivity. Para mag-promote tayo ng diversity within the four walls of these campus. And I think I can also relate it to the episode of Tiger Rush last Wednesday where we talked about the inconvenience yourself day because syempre diba when you're trying to understand another person you're trying to adjust to their um, way of living should I say yung ganong tipo so parang instead of being in your comfort zone along the way mm. ito yung oh I have to learn kung ano nga ba yung ano Ano nga ba yung gusto niyang gawin? Anong gusto niyang matutunan? Ano yung parang manner of, let's say, living niya? Yung ganong tipo, kung paano niya hinaharap yung mga bagay-bagay. Oh. Yung ganong tipo. So. Ayun nga eh, marami kang matututunan sa mga tao. Like, mm-hmm. you're going to see how different these people handle it from based on sa kultura nila, di ba? Yes. Kasi, kumbaga, kung sa Pilipino, ganito tayo mag-handle ng problema, ganito mm-hmm. tayo na mag-handle ng mga bagay-bagay. Baka sa mga ibang national sa mga ibang nationalities or sa mga kahit naman siguro sa mga yes. tagaibang probinsya iba naman yung siguro yung way of handling nila doon and the way that we handle the way that we interact with people it's such a special thing that we should take in, that we should take into consideration not just mm-hmm. as Pamasians but as Filipinos but not only as Filipinos but as people in general and speaking of Bars. Um, <laughs> and speaking of you know, differences within the different nationalities I think it's a very good thing to uh, state na rin na us Filipinos kasi we're very close-knit sa mga families natin. Mm. So alam mo yon yung parang mas um, ready tayong umintindi sa iba't ibang mga tao na nakakasalamuha natin on the Totoo, daily ayun nga eh. Hindi ba? Um, compared to let's say other nationalities na medyo mas let's say I'm not sure is it the right term lenient ba? Or mm. yung mas um, parang hindi sila ganun ka-close with the people around them. So, Ayun nga eh. Medyo Ayun. mahirap umintindi yung ganun. I think yun talaga yung mga isa sa mga mm-hmm. pag- the challenges when it comes to facing diversity is close-mindedness. Ayun nga eh. Kasi lalo na if parang wala kang interaction or you weren't taught that there's other people with other nationalities as well. Parang mga culture shock na meron palang ganito. Yeah. So what we, really need, what we really need to do is to have an open mind about these kinds of topics. Mm-hmm. So yeah, pagdating nga dyan, just welcome these people with open arms. Yes. Don't open go, arms. Ay, yeah, open arms. <laughs> Don't go straight into the hate way, into the hate train. Mm-hmm. Chill lang muna tayo. Because our destination isn't supposed to hate. It's going to go to love. Yes. And syempre, hindi ba, parang we want other people to treat us na with love. Yung ganun tipo. So, of course, we'd uh, we should also treat them with love. Totoo, totoo. And embracing diversity is a key component of creating inclusive and mm-hmm. equitable environments. And it ensures that everyone, regardless of their background, has an equal opportunity to contribute and succeed. Kung baga dito sa USD, iba-iba tayo mga nationalities, iba-iba tayo mga tao, iba-ibang mga probinsya, iba-ibang mga pinanggalingan. Pero 
kung kita natin kung gaano ka-inclusive yung USC ngayon, lahat mm. tayo may opportunity para sumaksid after natin gumraduate. Yes, and speaking of inclusivity, we also posted on our IG stories, that's at, what's your IG? At LT Recacho. And at Father Marabanera, a question for you, our dearest Lamashans, and that is, what is your own way of tolerating other people's differences? Ooh, yeah. yeah. So, pwede ba kayo humabal sa mga IG questions, yes. sa mga sagot ninyo dyan, at... And you can follow us on our Instagrams to keep up with that. Yes. And of course, other social media accounts of UST Tiger Radio. That's Tiger Radio UST on X, IG UST Tiger Radio, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, UST Tiger Radio, and Mixler, Mixler.com slash UST Tiger Radio. And of course, we want to open you guys with different music types. So here's... Oh... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> By Shea Universe, only on the station where you hear the roar. UST Tiger Radio. So hey, the Nations, back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! Congratulations! Post for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USD Tiger Radio
filling meal and some refreshing drinks is truly one of the best ways to hype up your day. Kaya on this episode, we... Welcome back to the only station where you hear the roar. UST Tiger, Tiger Radio. Radio. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. This is Tiger Jock Trav. And this is Tiger Jock Elise. Welcome back to Take, Take Care, Care Tiger. Tiger. Oh, tigers, nalagaan nyo ba yung sarili nyo today? Sana oo. Sana oo. Kasi Pero kung hindi... <laughs> May kadamay kami. <laughs> Ayun nga. Ano ba? Siyempre hindi. Bilang mga host nyo dito sa Taker Tiger, we mm. take care of ourselves too, Tigers. Yes. Siyempre kailangan eh. And Wala nang choice eh. <laughs> Ay, kung walang nagkahalaga sa inyo, Tigers, we're here to take care of you. True, true, true. Siyempre, bago ka, bago ka mang alaga ng ibang Tiger, alagaan mo muna sarili mo, Tiger. Yes! Perfect! Hindi <laughs> yun naman sinusundan advice ko eh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to the topic. Ayun nga, once again, we are talking about inclusivity and promoting inclusivity yes. here on the four corners of the Pitan US of the Pitan Espana Laxon and Noval. Yes. Well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 Medyo na ko dun ah. Medyo nalito ako dun sa four corners kanina ha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Pero um earlier we talked about um why inclusivity is important in our lives. Bakit nga ba ulit? Hmm. hmm. Let's give a, re- a quick recap lang muna. Short description of what diversity is. According to what we talked about early. May pagaman! According, <laughs> according to Rabanera 2024. <laughs> It's about accepting and embracing the differences of each one of us, including the experiences that everyone else has garnered around us. Ayan nga, since every, uh, since maraming ang tao dito sa mundo na to, we have 8 billion people living in this little yes. ball of water and land. At napakarami mga tao dito, why should we um, alienate other people that, na nakadira lang rin sila dito eh, parang parehas lang silang namubuhay dito. Parang boring yun naman, parang napaka... Eh, na parang iyo. <laughs> Don't yeah. be a hateful person, guys. And kung may karapatan tayo sa mga sarili natin to exist in this world and to enjoy life, we should also give that opportunity to other people. Truly talaga. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, let's go on into moving into what inclusivity really entails and how can we promote it more here in our campus, here in our communities, and of course, kung nasaan man tayo sa mundo, kung nasa New York man tayo dito sa Manila, <laughs> diba? Shout out. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Yemen. Anyway, so inclusion is the key to unlocking the full potential of a specific environment when everyone is included, where everyone is included, and we create an environment where everyone can thrive. So, what makes you feel included ba, Elise? Oh, Especially as a student, mm-hmm. kapag ito yung wala ka pang group for Ay. specific activity, Ooh, tapos okay. lang lalapit sa'yo na, Uy, parang may group ka na ba? Do you want to join us? Lalo na when it comes from somebody you're not close with. Ayun nga eh. Diba? That's one of the things that I try to do pagdating sa klase ko. Mm-mm. Like, lalo na sa mga, kasi marami kami may irregular na, na mga kala, nakaklase nun eh. And yes. syempre, it's hard fitting in Mm-mm. sa class, sa classroom kung saan magkakabati na sila. They have their own friend group. So, Para to make them feel welcome na rin, na parang inimbita ko sila, ay, may partner ka na ba? Sama ka sa amin dito. Ayun. Do and, not make them feel alienated naman, hindi ba? Totoo. Hmm. And like, with those small things na ginagawa mo sa classroom, kaya mo pa siya gawin outside the classroom na rin. Yes. Outside the four walls of UST. Since you can really just show your love and appreciation for someone that doesn't feel that they're welcome. And parang yung isang gesture lang na yun, kahit maliit na gesture lang yun, di ba? Na parang yes. gusto mo sumama sa amin. Di ba? That, that can make somebody day na and that can mean so much to them especially if there's somebody na alam mo yon um siguro speaking on personal experiences na rin, especially when I was a freshie ito yung mm. yung parang I feel so alone so when somebody approaches approaches me like that and talks to me yung parang Ay, okay. I belong naman ba? Oh, okay. And I think, mm-hmm. ang hirap nga rin ng ganun dito kapag lala kapag freshie ka. Kasi, mm-hmm. with UST, hindi naman tayo lahat ng galing sa UST Senior High eh. Yes. And parang galing, galing tayo sa mga iba-ibang mga Senior High mm-hmm. sa probinsya, sa Metro Manila. Yes. And parang it's back to square one as a freshie. Mm-hmm. And having a group of friends na rin na mm-hmm. feel ka na welcome ka, sobrang nakakapanibago nun eh. And yes. yung kita mo na pinili ka nila and they want to be your friend, hindi da at hindi kayo nusgahan sa kung sino ka nga ba na kung nanggaling ka dito kung nanggaling ka dyan kung eto, kung eto ka nga kung eto ka ba na tinatanggap ka nila ng buong buong and I think that's what inclusivity is really about understanding and acceptance and I think 
think it feels so lonely, lala na sa laki ng campus natin. Ayun nga eh. To be just roaming around all alone, hindi ba? Yung parang, Totoo. yung iba, pag nakita mo sa dapita, yung mga, oh, lalaki ng tropa nala. And then there's me, naglalakad palabas ng gate, kasi wala naman akong friends. So, mm. even just the smallest types of interaction can make you feel included sa, sa student life mo, hindi ba? Totoo. And it's, um... I think I would really say that having friends that accept you is much more reaffirming pagdating sa purpose mo talaga eh. Yes. And having people that understand you is what can make this campus life, these four years of college, much more better. And in connection to that, of course, empathy and understanding build connections and fosters a sense of belonging among individuals in terms of learning from each other's perspectives. Totoo. And kailangan mo talaga na maging understanding sa mga nararamdaman ng mga tao. You need to be understanding of their differences. You're, and you have to empathize with them na rin eh. Kasi kung kitang-kita nga natin na napakaraming problema ng mga dinadanas ng certain community ng mga tao na ito. And ang best na you can do to help them is to understand them. Understand their side, understand where they're coming from. Even if medyo opposing yung differences nyo, like mm-hmm. parang nagka-clash siya or parang hindi siya sang ayon sa kung yung pananiniwalaan mo, keep an open mind, guys. Napakadami nating oras dito para maging open mm-hmm. na hindi natin kailangan isarado yung utak natin pagdating sa mga ganitong mga bagay-bagay. If hindi naman siya trip, if hindi mo naman trip yung ganun, huwag ka manghusga or don't plainly hate just because kung ano man yung nasa false na dogma, false na nasa isip mo, Try to keep an open mind when it comes to these kinds of things because we have so much time to love. We have so much time to appreciate the people around us. Eight billion tayo dito sa mundo. Bakit tayo magpipili na mahumusga na lang, di ba? Yes. And kagaya nga nang sabi nila, no man is an island, di ba? Oh, Parang, same. Parang, eto si, you try to interact with other people then not just your usual circle, di ba? To give mm-hmm. other people an opportunity to prove themselves to you din naman na o oh, baka akala mo kasi hindi tayo magkakasundo because ganito yung um, kinalakihan ko yung type of society ko tapos as it turns out ay magka-jive pala tayo ng mga likes natin sa buhay yung ganun talaga yun eh like you're going to feel kasi meron mga ganyang incidents talaga eh mm-hmm. hindi mo kakalain na hindi na makaka-vibe mo pala yung tao na to yes. but when you really take the initiative to really try and venture out of your comfort zone na gusto mm-hmm. mo nga silang kausapin na kahit na medyo magkaiba kayo like hmm. it's either you feel intimidated or you feel weak when yes. you see them or parang baliktad or sa tingin mo na medyo mababa sila pagdating sa'yo huwag niyo yan gawin and yeah. tas nung pagkapag kinausap mo naging close kayo dun mo talaga mafe-feel parehas lang pala kaming tao dito sa mundo Mm-mm. we're just one of the 8 billion people that live in this world yet etong connection namin napakaganda Mm-hmm. And I think that's what inclusive that's what inclusivity is about. Making people feel welcome, making yes. them feel welcome in your life and making yourselves feel welcome for them as well. Since ang pagdating nga sa napakaraming mga problema nating hinadlang, kailangan natin mag-create ng safe space para sa mga tao. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It um, provides a supportive environment for individuals so they can express their identities out of you know, the feeling of comfort na rin dun sa mga tao na nagbo-welcome sa kanila. Because, let's be honest, we have these tendencies of being judgmental, mm. especially when we see a person for the first time. Totoo. <laughs> Ayun <Totoo. laughs> I think hindi naman mawawala yun eh. Hindi yeah. naman mawawala yung pagiging judgmental natin mm. sa mga tao. Don't overdo it na lang siguro. Yes. Or wag mo masyad. Guys. Yeah, let's limit it. So, parang chismis, ganun. Mm. I think para map- nagiging normal siya. Mm-mm. Siguro wag lang na parang to the point na sisiraan mo talaga yung buhay ng tao. Oh. That's and, bad. <laughs> nga. But once again, just keep in mind, guys. Just keep an open mind. Ayun nga. So, create a safe space for people. Napakarami nating mga pwedeng gawin pa sa mundo na to na makasamang mga tao to love and care and appreciate the people around us. And I think that's what I'm trying to promote here on Take Care Tiger. That's what we are trying to promote here to take care tigers. So, How yeah. about you guys? How do you promote a safe space, a comfort space for other people? Don't forget to um, reply them on our IG stories. That's at LT Ricacho and at Fata Marabanera. Yes, 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 yes. And yes. we'll be reading your responses on air later on. Right, right, right. And let's go to a quick song break with another one of our fashion artists Ooh. of the week. So, this is Hambing Lambing by Benchfly on the only station where you hear the roar, UST Tiger Radio. Hey, Fimashians, back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. 
stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. Oh. Congratulations! Oh, for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go set! Go set! Go set! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USD Tiger Radio
fulfilling meal and some refreshing drinks is truly one of the best ways to hype up your day. Kaya on this episode, we will be bringing you to another cafe that I'm sure you've missed. This cafe has finally made its comeback and I am just super excited for the Tamashians to get a glimpse of what Manila Cafe has in store. Especially for us students who need a new place to hang out and chill. And by the way, I am Pau Cruz. And I am Marquis Candelaria. And kami ang magbibigay sa inyo ng sagot kung saan. Saan? Saan? Saan, saan tayo kakain? kakain? Take care, Tiger. Take care, Tiger, indeed. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back to Take Care, Tiger. This is Tiger Jock Trav. And this is Tiger Jock Elise. And you're still tuned in to the only station where you hear the roar. USC Tiger Radio. Welcome, welcome back, Take Care, Tigers. And Tigers, take care of yourselves. So, once yes. again, we're going to recap of what we are talking about today. Of course, we're talking about diversity and inclusivity. Making people feel welcome. Making people feel accepted. Mm. Dahil yan yung kasama kailangan talaga natin ngayon dito sa USD, dito sa buong mundo in general. And I think it's part na rin ng trait ng mga Thomasians and uh, siguro ng mga, should I say, rules ng USD, it's to create a healthy and supportive environment for everyone. Yeah, and I think one way that we can really do that here in USD is by joining organizations. Yes! Meron tayo mga iba't ibang mga organizations dito na nagpo-promote na rin ng inclusivity and diversity. At itakil natin yan ngayon dito kasi I know, we've heard a lot about these organizations. Siguro napakinggan na natin yung mga, Thomas, yung mga, orga- yung mga organizations na to for quite a bit but do we really know about how they're advocating for, how they're advocating for inclusivity in general? So, and I think this is a perfect um, parang opportunity for our fellow Thomasians na alam mo yun, hesitate to join organizations because they find yes. it intimidating to actually learn more about these organizations that may, they may be vying for and you know, have the courage to be part of them. Hashtag mm. work with TMN. Tama, tama. Pero mamaya pa natin yung TMN. Because we have yes. a lot of organizations that really tackle on inclusivity and diversity as an issue and to promote it here on our campus. So yeah, let's start off with one that I'm really, really a big fan of. Pero I haven't heard much about them lately. But ito yung isa sa mga organizations... Ito yung isa sa mga... Bulol eh. Pero ito yung isa sa mga organizations na gusto ko talagang salihan nung una akong sumal... Nung una akong nag enroll dito sa UST Anyong Tomasino. What is it all about? Well, Anyong Tomasino is the multicultural organization in the University of Santo Tomas which focuses Ooh. on Korean culture. Kaya nga Anyong Tomasino wow. eh. Para lang siyang hello Anyong dito sa Tiger Radio. Eh. Ah yes, every Monday, di ba? Hello. Tamang Anyong. tama. Yeah, and hello Anyong kasi bilang as a siguro nung I think nung pumasok nga kasi ako ng fresh dito sa UST mm-hmm. na sobrang wala, yung K-pop face ko. <laughs> na sobrang hilig ko talaga sa K-pop dati. Na kita ko, wow, itong organization na to, sobrang active nila noon pagdating sa K-pop or pagdating sa Korean culture in general. And I wanted to vibe with people, with Tomasinos who had that same interest, with the same music taste, with the same love for Korean culture. Alam mo yun, yung parang gusto mong makasama, magkasama yung pagkatapos ng klase. Oh, I'll be honest, hindi kasi ako, um, hindi ako fan mm. ng mga K-pop. Pero I have a lot of friends. Ito. <laughs> <laughs> Nakik out po ako agad. Hello. Pero I have a lot of friends who mm. love watching K-dramas, listening to Korean music, and I think this is a perfect organization for them. Yeah, okay? so... I think if Anyong Tomasino is still alive and kicking and if they have if they're going to kick off recruitment anytime soon you should you guys should join kasi kung mahilig na talaga kayo sa K-pop baka pwede niyo pang buhayin lalo and promote Korean culture here in UST and of course to interact with other um, Tomasians na mahilig din sa ating K- Korean culture mm. and of course we also have Tomasian Nihon Kyukai ooh ano yan ooh. That organization is the official student organization in USD that promotes traditional and modern Japanese culture. Of course, we have the Korean culture. Now we have the Japanese culture. 
I think para may mga organizations mm-hmm. dito sa USC na mas nagfo-focus sa Asian culture eh. Yes. Pero para keeping in mind na rin eh, kasi Philippines parang nagbo-border siya ng mga iba diba, mga mm-hmm. Asian countries That's tulad right. ng mga to eh. And sobrang sikat talaga ng mga ja- ng Japanese culture pa- or para patok na patok talaga siya sa, sa mga Pinoy eh. Anime, oh, yeah. anime, J-pop, mm-hmm. ganun. Like marami talaga mga mahilig sa interest na yan. And in turn, kasi parang siguro gusto ko lang rin na yung idagdag dito na mm-hmm. yung mga itong mga pop culture na to like K-pop and anime yes. na parang overtime na dahil nga kasi sobrang hilig ng mga tao sa ganitong mga media na to mm-hmm. nas, mas nagiging involved sila sa, sa culture mismo ng bansa na yan eh mm-hmm. di ba? and I uh, maliban nga sa uh, mga K-pop and K-dramas kanina I also well I have my cousin who's a huge fan of mga animes mga reading mangas so Ooh, okay. parang medyo parang familiar ako but not well um, knowledgeable about it pero it's nice to hear na meron ganitong type of organization malay mo nasan ba yung pinsan mo pwede natin enroll sa USC tapos sumama siya sa Kyokai graduate <laughs> <laughs> na siya ay sorry <laughs> hindi pabalikin natin isa pa diba pabalikin po natin ng four years pa four years pa <laughs> ay okay ayun pero speaking of outside the Philippines mm-hmm. meron pa rin tayo mga ibang mga organizations that focus yes. on cultures such as USD Scarlet Central Ooh. which is the official Filipino Chinese multicultural and social civic organization here in the university Steve mm-hmm. Santa Tomas. Have you heard of, Have you heard of Scarlet, ba? Oh, I have a blockmate, na member ng Scarlet. So Ooh, I okay. heard about it, and um, <coughs> a friend of mine is also a member of Scarlet. So I know about it, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So sa ating mga um, Samasians na member ng Filipino Chinese community, of course, this is also a nice avenue for you guys to meet um, your fellow Filchi <laughs> members, and oh. you know, just. Um, interact with them, hindi ba? Ayun nga eh. And, hindi, and marami akong mga kaibigan sa Scarlet and mm-hmm. hindi mo kailangan na maging Filipino-Chinese or merong lahing Chinese para sumama dito. So, oh, I thought it was... Hindi siya exclusive. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Hindi siya exclusive. So, if you want to help, if you want to enhance your knowledge on the Filipino-Chinese community, you can join Scarlet Central. Kahit na kung pure Filipino ka or kahit naman may pure, pure na ibang nationality, mm-hmm. you can also join Scarlet Central. That's actually a nice learning na hindi True, siya parang siya exclusive for mga Filchi. Oh, okay. Kasi nung isang, okay. I think sometime this week, nagturo rin sila ng Mandarin lessons eh. Mm-hmm. Dito sa mga iba't ibang mga gustong interesado. Kahit na hindi sila parte ng Scarlet. But I think we can move on to our mm-hmm. the next organization over here. And our next organization is UST UNESCO Club. This organization focuses on transforming lives through quality education, cultural diversity, and inclusive knowledge societies. Doon ako medyo nagulat eh. Kasi syempre UNESCO, mm-hmm. napakalaking organization yun sa buong mundo na yes. tumutulong sa mga iba't ibang mga kultura na I think, wala, it promotes culture. And yeah. Parte siya ng United Nations eh. Na parang kaya nakagulat. Wow, sa loob ng USD may, may ganito. May local version pala tayo ng UNESCO here. And if I remember correctly, there was one episode of Tiger Rush na meron tayong Guinness <laughs> na member ng UNESCO. Hindi eh, ba? Was that us? Yeah, uh, I think that was your episode for I think, Tiger um, That was my episode eh. Yeah. That was airing with Margo Ata or mm-hmm. kalimutan kung sino na. But yeah, <laughs> oops. <laughs> well, this week lang yun eh. Yeah. Ayun nga. But... Ayun nga, it promotes culture na rin within it And nakakamaganda dyan, merong tulong pagdating sa United Nations na rin mismo Within the UNESCO itself But let's, huwag na tayong lumayo masyado, andito na tayo eh So, meron pang isang Grabe, organization na Well, yun. hindi na siya, oh, yun nga eh <laughs> Hindi siya organization, but technically the official broadcasting arm of the University of Santo Tomas That really promotes culture and diversity here in USC None other than USC Tiger Media Network Shout out, yes. shout out, shout out Once again, shout out sa mga nanonood sa New York dyan. Congratulations in advance, diba? Yes! So, yeah. So, what is Tiger Media Network all about? It's under the supervision of the Communications Bureau and is the official, kagaya nga na sinabi ni Trav kanina, the official broadcasting arm of the University of Santo Tomas. Its service is made possible by student volunteers like us who are actually, um, you can actually work um, kung kayo ay mga tipong public speaking na mga lovers na tipo ng students you yeah, can be students. tiger jocks like us like me and tiger jock trav and if you're more into writing you can 
um, join the news um, department of hey, Paddle Paper. Eh, tama yan. Can you believe that? Maraming mga parte, maraming mga iba't iba. Like, yes. maganda nga dito kasi it's university-wide. Anyone can be a student volunteer mm-hmm. here in TMN. Whether kung nasa, kahit nga mga pharmacy students, yes. mga AB students, mga psychology students, mga mm-hmm. iba't ibang mga colleges. We don't discriminate here and we have an open door, yes. an open opportunity for anyone from different colleges, from different strands, from different grades na rin. Pagdating yeah. sa kung gusto nila sumama dito, we're going to make you feel welcome. At lahat ng mga tao, this is from my own experience, mm-hmm. mafe-feel mo talaga na welcome ka palagi pagdating sa mga productions, sa mga events, sa lahat ng mga ganap. Kaya ang tugon, hashtag work, work with, with TMN. TMN. <laughs> And working with TMN does not require you to have prior um, experiences na rin with, you know, with being a jock or being a talent. Kasi... TMN helps you improve that talent na hindi mo alam na meron ka pala. Kasi kung makikita naman ng TMN that you have a passion for storytelling, a passion yes. for entertaining people. Mm. It becomes an avenue where for the skills. The story, the totoo nga eh. Mm. It becomes an avenue for people to really promote themselves and to help the promote and to help the fashion community to enjoy yes. these large scale events that we produce. So, mm. at hindi sila pumipili kung sino nga ba yung mga kinukuha nilang mga talents dito mm. or kung sino yung kinukuha nilang mga production staff. But yes. yeah, nakaka-adore talaga yung TMN and lahat ng mga volunteers nila. And I think it's time that we move on to our next song. This is Harry Styles with their song, yeah, Adore You on the only station where you, you hear, hear the, the roar, roar USC yes. Tiger Radio. Hey, Samashians! Back to school na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! Congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
A fulfilling meal and some refreshing drinks is truly one of the best ways to hype up your day. Kaya on this episode, we will be bringing you to another cafe that I'm sure you've missed. This cafe has finally made its comeback and I am just super excited for the Tamashians to get a glimpse of what Manila Cafe has in store. Especially for us students who need a new place to hang out and chill. And by the way, I am Pau Cruz. And I am Marquis Candelaria. And kami ang magbibigay sa inyo ng sagot kung saan. Saan? Saan? Saan, saan tayo kakain? Hi, I'm Marcos, Marketing Specialist of Manila Cafe. Manila Cafe, especially is for the students. We always tend to listen and accept uh, criticism and suggestions ng mga students. We always welcome them to uh, come here, not just a coffee shop, but like a second home para sa mga students na sineserve namin. Ang goal kasi namin is maging part ng routine ng students everyday. So, kung after class, they, they are looking a place to stay, to study. Manila Cafe is uh, inviting students to go here para maging part sila. Not, not just uh, a, co- a coffee shop na pupunta lang just to drink coffee. We always want to welcome students, even other guests. So we are inviting students, Tomasians, to come and visit Manila Cafe to experience a unique cafe. Uh, hindi lang para sa mga students, pati sa mga ibang katrabaho kasi ang uh, Manila Cafe is open for everyone. Also, especially for the family. Wow! Gutom ka na ba? Kasi alam mo ako personally, gutom na gutom na ako sa mga delicious food and unique drinks na nakahain sa atin today. I mean, just take a second to look at it all. Especially with their wide variety of drinks like their beautiful coffee, their milk teas, and the slushies. I'm sure na all of these refreshers are more than enough to quench our delicious taste. Tama ka dyan na. But aside from that, of course, they also have all these tasty and mouth-watering snacks like may pizza, meron tayong pasta, may snacks like corn dog bites, hot brown, mojos, fries, sausage cup. Like for sure, ay bubusugin talaga tayo ngayon. Nako Pao, let's not delay this any further because we also don't want to delay you any longer. Kumain ka na ba? Hindi pa. Kaya nga ngayon, titikman na namin to to let you guys know if Manila Cafe could be your next go-to cafe. Alright, let's get our first meal. Anong ating, titikman mo first? Ang pesto natin, of course. Alright, I'll take my first bite. Mm. Alam mo with our pesto, it's really really good. I like how full it is kasi usually with pasta, hindi siya puno. Pero ito, very crunchy, madami siyang pesto sa loob. Very good, ha? Huh? Ito naman yung, yung carbonara nila na pasta. Super creamy, pero yung pagkaalat niya, nababalance para hindi nakakasuya masyado yung pagka-creamy ng carbonara. Perfect. Wow. Tiger, you USD Tiger Radio. And welcome back to the only station where you hear the roar. UST Tiger Radio. It's me, Tiger Chocolates, your wondering darling. And this is me, Tiger Jack Trav, your extraordinary extrovert. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Take Care, Tiger. Tiger. So let's go back to where we capped off our previous discussion. Once again, that was Band Nikat with their song, I Want Her to Know, one of our fashion artists of the week. Napagaling, napagaling. We saw her at the Tiger Radio caravan during Valentine's Day. So shout out, shout out. We hope to see you soon here in Tiger Radio. Yes. And previously, we've talked about the different organizations here in UST where you can feel very much in, uh, no, included in. Toto. And yeah, and one of those organizations, well, hindi siya organization once again. <laughs> Siyempre, the official broadcasting arm of the University of Santa Tomas, Tiger, Tiger Media, Media Network. Network. Kung saan lahat ng mga tao dito, regardless of your background, regardless of your experience in the media, and of course, regardless of your college, pwede ka sumali dito. Kung meron kang passion sa production, with hosting, with all of the things included, napakarami natin mga pwedeng gawin dito. But, speaking of pwedeng gawin, oras natin para basahin natin yung mga IG questions natin. Ooh. And, 
speaking of that, ano nga bang tanong natin sa ating IG question today? Our IG question in relation to our topic of inclusivity and diversity is, of course, what is your way of showing your... Wait lang, isa pa. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> what is your own way of tolerating other people's differences? Ooh. Ayun. So, siguro bago na lang tayo, bago natin isabak yung mismong question na yan, mm. tayo muna sumagot siguro, Elise. Right. Sige. So, para sa'yo ba, what is your own way of, of tolerating other people's differences? I think ito yung putting myself in other people's shoes. Ooh! Ano it's, size? Size 7? <laughs> <laughs> Pero ano kasi, kidding aside, ito kasi si, um, you'll never know what a person is going through without actually seeing their perspective of life. Yeah, Ganun. totoo. And, and having that um, parang experience or opportunity makes you realize na, oh, I should be more understanding. I should be more welcoming with this person or with other people as well. Kasi, you don't know what they're going through. Ayan nga eh. Siyempre, hindi mo talaga alam kung yung mga yeah. pinagdadaan ng mga tao. And to really embrace those differences, you have yes. to keep in mind that tao rin sila. Mm-mm. Diba? Oh, Oops! Natamaan ko yung, <laughs> yung microphone ko. But yeah, and I think para sa akin, what I really do, and panina ka pa rin siya inuulit, is to just keep an open mind. Yes. Iba-iba tayo mga tao dito, and to just really keep in mind that napakarami tayong tao dito sa mundo. We're all just living here in this, we're all just living temporarily here in our little ball of earth. And, ayun, let's give an opportunity na rin para magmahal na mga tao kaysa sa mga husga, di ba? Yeah, that's true. And now, let's read about the thoughts of our dearest Tomasians about our question for today's Take Care, Tiger. Let's go! So, sino nga ba ang una na? Oh! Ooh. Can I read this? Ah, yeah! <laughs> Familiar siya eh. Kitang-kita ko agad eh. Parang kilala po namin to. Oh, nandito siya sa studio ngayon eh. <laughs> nandito siya sa booth ngayon eh. Black hair. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so, eto nga pala, galing kay Colleen Hufanda, her own way of talking. <laughs> Tolerating differences is by accepting the fact na I'm different too and I deserve to be respected as well. Oh, yeah, ano po masasabi niyo, Colleen? <laughs> Pas, ano na lang po dito? Paki-request na lang po siya. Bilis, pasok dito sa mic. Paki-zoom out. Nishoke lang. Pero totoo, totoo. Sabi nga yes. ni Colleen yun, lahat nga tayo differ- dif- different. <laughs> We're all different in our own ways and to accept yourself as different and accepting other people as different, it really... Um, doon mo talaga may realize that you really do reserve the, distre- the respect that you deserve mm-hmm. and the, dis- the respect that other people do as well. Ito si love begets love, respect begets respect, diba? Yeah, You diba? only take back what you gave off to other people. Ayun nga. So okay. you should be very careful of your words and actions, guys. Totoo. Kasi you can never expect other people to treat you right mm. if you don't treat them right. Totoo. And our next response is from Nico underscore Lacido. <laughs> this is very relatable actually. This is a very <laughs> honest <laughs> response. Ito si, reklamo muna bago acceptance. Pero ano? Reklamo muna bago acceptance. I mean, tama naman. Tama. Ito yung magbumukbuk muna ako, gugulong-gulong muna ako sa sahig bago ko ma-realize na, ay hindi. Okay, so I should be open-minded and then accept na, ay oo, oh, magkaiba kami ng opinion. So, ah, yes. okay. Tama naman. Hmm. Kasi, of course, parang sasabihin mga muna, well, of course, sabi ko mga kanina, lahat naman tayo meron onti pag judgmental pagdating sa atin. Yeah. But, I think yung una nga, just don't be vocal pagdating doon, <laughs> but just keep an open mind na nga rin. Of course, kailangan mo rin isipin yeah. yung mga thoughts mo pagdating sa disagreements or sa differences na yun. But as you understand those differences that other people have, doon ka talaga matatauhan na, ah, kaya pala nalang naisip yung ganun. Bago ka makapag-tolerate ng difference ng other people. Yeah, it's normal to feel bad, lalo na kapag hindi siya tumutugma or nag agree doon sa feeling mo, tamang opinion mo. Mm. Pero, you shouldn't parang hold grudges about it. Diba? Kasi, kagaya nga nang sabi namin kanina ni Tiger Jock Trav, hate is such a big word and yes. such a strong emotion. Ayun. So, you should never actually let that get the better of you. Yeah, and I think, nung tulad ng sinabi dito ni Tiger Jack Toby na mm-hmm. nag-reply dito sa story ko, is their way of tolerating other people's differences is through listening. Yeah. This is not talaga eh. Actually, nag-reply sa akin eh. <laughs> <laughs> same pa. Same. It's the same answer. Ayun, but it's the same answer. So, ayun. Kasi kapag makikinig ka lang naman para sa, sa sinasabi ng mga tao, mm-hmm. parang doon ka matatauhan talaga na ah, kaya pala nila naisip yung ganito. Mm-hmm. Like, just keeping an open mind because kung pipilitin natin na magsara na lang tayo ng utak natin sa mga ideas ng ibang tao, mm-hmm. it's not fair. Kasi kung yung mga ibang tao 
hindi kung yung mga ibang tao nakikinig sa yo, bakit ka hindi makikinig sa kanila, 'di ba? And I also think that it's very important to meet halfway with other people kasi nobody's perfect. So, hearing other people's opinions, their thoughts about some certain topics makes you realize na ay oo, oh, oh, may point siya and posible ko pala siyang mai-apply sa sarili ko din. Totoo. So, you really have to apply it to yourselves mm-hmm. and to apply it to other people. So, what else do we have over here? So, Another response is actually related to the first one na binasa ko. It's, hindi ko siya ina-embrace, inaaway ko lang. Chase. Wait lang, kanin na tagaling? It's from Hannah Veron. Oh, okay. Hello so, to my doormate, my 501 I, girlies. Thank you so much for the very insightful responses. Meron akong similar na sagot dyan eh, pero hindi ko siya pwedeng banggitin eh. Galing kay Tiger Jack Garen eh. <laughs> But kidding aside, her... Her real response is keep an open mind and always give everyone the respect they deserve. Oh, tamang tama yan. Ayun nga, we've been talking about respect earlier since yes. today and with being inclusive to people, that's one of the ways that we can show this this no, not disrespect, but <laughs> this respect this. that they deserve pagdating sa kung sino nga ba sila. <laughs> okay. Ayun, I want to move on. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Yes. I want to read this Go. one. Uh, dito si Tiger Jack Aria Shout out, shout out Nung sinabi nga ni Dito That she wants uh, For her own way of Treat or tolerating Other people's differences Is to treat others the way That you want to be treated Yung golden rule nga Don't do unto others What you don't want them to do unto you yes. And if yung gusto mo nga talaga Na marespeto ka ng mga tao mm-hmm. You have to learn how to respect them as well To treat them with love You're going to get love in return na rin Yes Kaya nga nang sabi ni Tiger Jock Santi dito sa ating responses, respect on top. Yon, syempre. Yung respeto talaga yung pinakakailangan natin pagdating sa mga diferensya natin. Because of course, not every person in the world is the same. Napakarami natin mga pinag-iiba dito, dito mm-hmm. sa ating mundo. And I think with that, thank you sa lahat na mga sumagot ng IG stories namin. It was yes. very insightful. It was very, very informative mm-hmm. pagdating na nga pagdating sa inclusivity and the diversity that we as Tomasians, we as Filipinos, and we as the people, as uh, and we as people ourselves really do deserve. Yes, and let this set as a reminder for ourselves na rin, to be accepting of other people despite their differences from our experiences and their opinions. Tato, and I think that's pretty much how we've encapsulated this entire yes. episode today. So maraming oh, salamat sa lahat ng mga nakinig. Oh, yeah. My gosh. And inclu- ayun, parang medyo natauhan nga rin ako dito sa episode na to eh, na to really really do na Well, I've had this mindset na rin bago ko dumating dito But I think it just grew more na parang Mas napaalala ko lang sa sarili ko na Iba't ibang tao nga pala tayo dito sa mundo na to yes. Hindi tayo pare-parehas lang At dapat na kung gusto nga natin marespeto At kung gusto natin na mamahal ng mga tao Na ma- sa paligid natin mm-hmm. Kailangan na rin natin ibalik yung ganun sa kanila yes. Kahit na magkakaiba tayo That's very much true And that actually ends our episode For Take Care Tiger This Friday afternoon. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank yes. you, thank you. Once again, you can follow USC Tiger Radio at Tiger Radio USC on X, Instagram at US Tiger Radio, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. Salamat naman ang kikinig jen sa TikTok ngayon. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for listening, USC Tiger Radio and Mixer.com slash US Tiger Radio and, for our lives. Yes, and before we actually forget. TR is celebrating its 15th year. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, yeah. So, happy anniversary yes. sa ating USC Tiger Radio. Yes. Magiging 15 ka na. Ano yung regalo yung gusto mo? Ibibigay ko sa inyo. <laughs> but, yeah. But, unfortunately, we're going to be off air for two weeks. Oh. Dahil sa moratorium. Dahil sa prelim season. Kaya, uh, ayun. If you're... N- Good luck. <laughs> sana nga, na, ta- dahil take care Tiger to, Sana maalagaan pa ako sa prelim season na to, sa exam season. But yeah, and with that, we want to say thank you and thank you. And <laughs> thank you for listening to Take Care Tiger once again. This is Tiger Jock Chag, your extraordinary extrovert. And this is Tiger Jock Elise, your wondering darling. And you, why not kick off this last song? So introduce mo nga. Oh, this is what? This is from one of our favorite OPM bands. This is Upuan by Ben and Ben, only here on the station where you hear the roar. USC Tiger, Tiger Radio. Radio. Hey, Tomashians! Back to school na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock!
As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain! Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's ecstatic. so exhilarating. Oh. Congratulations! Oh, for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USD Tiger Radio Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. Congratulations! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
more savvy. We are more than just content creators. We are storytellers. We tell the Tomashian story. Stories of victories. Stories of inspiration. And the story of unending grace. We are 360. You can be found here, here, and here. We have industry standard equipment and facilities for hands-on use. These equipment also enable us to service people by producing a myriad of content. We don't just share stories, we engage people. We are professionals who take our craft seriously by transforming crazy into impressive side by side with our student volunteers. We hone, we cultivate, we are committed to truth and kindled by love. We are the USD Communications Bureau.